Hello? Ah, oh, yeah. Good way to start. Hey, everyone. Good way to start today. <sighs> Let's go ahead and fix that webcam. It does that thing where it likes to focus. There we go. Uh, we're joined today by Senor Elmo. He is cat. We love him. He's a good boy. So you might be asking, hey, Pat, why are you starting the stream so early? And before that, why did you wake up so early? Why did you wake up at 10 a.m.? Well, because I wanted to log in, figure out a way to beat the AFK timer, which I did. And I'm not going to tell you how. Um, it's my secret. And, uh, you know, log in so I didn't have to get kicked by the queue. Well... About that. Oh man, the game is going nuts on my end. That's just great. I have a black screen. I have, a, I have I, I'm not even joking, I have a black screen right now. Not not even not even a joke. My TV decided to go absolutely fucking apeshit, crazy go nuts. The instant I loaded up NY, that's just great. That's just super. Let's go ahead and... Yeah, for whatever reason, a reason I cannot for the life of me figure out, uh, N. Walker does not like... It aggressively dislikes G-Sync. And if I run into that problem more, I'm just going to turn it off. So excuse me. i got to do a quick typey here to log in. So what I was saying was that I wanted to get in early and log in and, you know, not have to worry about... <laughs> You know, getting kicked off or AFK'd or what have you. There we go. That's much better. Um, only to run into a silly, silly problem, which you'll see shortly. First of all, hey. That's a good title screen. G-Sync has major issues with 14 lately. Turned it off and saw huge improvements in stability, especially with multiple screens. Is it lately? Hmm. You can't see? I don't believe you. I'm on the wrong screen? Oh no. <gasps> oh no, I'm an idiot. That should do. There we go. So. I think the funniest thing. Vindicator says it took you an hour and a half to queue in. Are you on Aether, Vindicator? Elemental? Oh, damn. 43. <laughs> Primal's lit. <laughs> ah! mm. So let's thank it to Peepo while we log in. So, for example, many people to thank right now. Tysuru subbed uh, with a story speculation that he made about 12 hours ago, which I don't think is a spoiler, but hey, who knows? Boo -doo. Thanks, Tysuru. Vitalis subbed. Jin Bapo kicked in a sub. Hello. Super excited for the Ed Walker streams. I'll be watching as I catch up all the way for Heavensward. Hope you have a wonderful day. Keep up the amazing work. Thank you. Appreciate it. Crimson Goddess asks, why so early? I thought I was going to have to beat the uh, the queue. 
Turns out Q is normal. Stability is normal. Somebody's being fancy on my screen. I can't believe it. Hooded Lefty kicked in a sub. Can't stay long because I want to level Sage before I do the MSQ. But I'll stick around for the pre-show. Why, thank you. Yeah, yeah. It was too cold and now I'm too hot. Isn't it nice when you play an MMO on the day that it comes out and you just play it like it's a normal game? Creepy Porpoise has been playing since 4.27 this morning. <laughs> Last I checked with her, she was level 82. Good for you, Quick Peg. You too. Color of the Iris kicked in the sub. Thank you. Coming up on three years. Thanks for all the laughs along the way. Thank you for your support. Also, uh, you might notice that there's no uh, dog here. And there's no page. There's a good reason for that. They're asleep. Luckily, Paige and the dog can sleep through anything. But when the dog gets up, I will have to take him pee-pee. It's just one of those things. Birdie Galore sub. Thank you, Birdie. Hey, Pat. Thanks for getting me and so many others into 14. Now, go bust those moon ghosts. I'll do my best. Emperor Dread sub. Thank you. MMOs aren't for me, but happy Endwalker Day to all you fellas. May your cubes be short and your numbers huge. Why, thank you. R. Gavis kicked in a sub. Hello, is there any chaos in here or just the moon? I don't. Th I think we're not going to have to deal with chaos. We dealt with him back in the back in the day. Megboy Manuel kicked in a sub. Thank you, Med. Appreciate it, man. Pat just dropped and say, I hope I... By, 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 by the way, I'm tired. I don't know if you could probably tell. I only slept about four hours. Because I tried to get into the queue to dodge the thing earlier. And then just went to bed and then woke up and found out that the queue was nothing. So, ha ha Pat just dropped by to say, I hope you have a good time with Endwalker. I've had a really bad week, so I'm looking forward to this X-Pack making things a whole lot better. Much love to you and Paige. Thanks, Meg. Hope you have a better week this week. Potato, potato, or kicked in $5. Hey, potato, or... And Walker's here. Here's Fantasia money so you can finally embrace the Lalafell you are always meant to be. You say you hate them, but we know how you really feel. Embrace the Lala. Become the Lala. Uh, I'm actually interested to see how uh, Bunny Mans look with their gear. And if the Bunny Mans uh, have their weapons clipped through themselves. Right? Because that's the issue of the Aura have and the Bunny Girls. JD Lars kicked in a, a sub. Thanks, JD. Have fun with N. Walker. Here's the bad pun. Did you hear about the dog who swallowed Scrabble tiles? His next trip out to the yard spelled disaster. Yet another brony kicked in a sub. Thank you, brony. Finished another Pokemon ROM hack in 30 days. This one's called Mo Magical Altering Gym Menagerie, if anybody wants to check it out. Fun fact, during development, a typo in the AI made opponents gay. Sorry, made opponents Pokemon gay as they attempted to attract on same-sex Pokemon. It's <laughs> funny. I accidentally gayed my Pokemon. Bike and play stuff kicked in us up. Thanks, Bike. Ah, uh, yep. See your problem. Moon's haunted. Got all kinds of nasty spookums on that moon. Gotta throw a whole thing out. New moon time. Party on new moon. Good luck, Pat. Thank you. New moon, huh? I don't think we're gonna get rid of the, this moon. This moon's a little big. Red Graver kicked in us up. Thanks, man. Red Graver of TikTok fame. This is a nice person who handles me and Willie's TikToks. Thanks, man. Jumping on the FF14 trial since Halo Infinite is starting to frust me, frust, frustrate me with the weeklies. Hopefully 14 is worth more time than Halo. It is! It is. 38 Bandit sub. Thank you, 38 Bandit. Coward Man kicked in 1350. Thanks, Coward Man. Reaper so goddamn cool might become my main after screaming that I wanted a Gunblade class since I first tried the game in 2014. Have fun with Endwalker. Um, as much as that, uh, you know, I want to tank it up. 
And my love for Dark Knight seems like it'll segue pretty clearly into Reaper. You know, all my edge love. Just, just move over one, you know? Surium J sub. Thank you, Surium. So Tim Bob kicked in 500 bits. Thank you. Hey, Pat. Can't believe you're going to stream Endwalker until completion. Sorry for it. Teen is my thing, so I'm not going to watch. But you have fun. Thanks, man. That's appreciated. I appreciate the kind words. Retinal Gaming kicked in a sub. Hype for Endwalkie streams. Me too. Vindicator sub. And so to end Evergreen Dream. Thank you. Shero kicked in five bucks. Thank you. Hey, Pat. Just got the game. Currently Gladiator thinking of going into Paladins. Got any tips for a fellow tank? Read your tool tips. Read your tool tips. Also, when you're tanking mobs, don't spin the mobs. Don't move the mobs unless absolutely necessary. Stop moving the mob. Become a tree planted in the floor. Dreams of Cheese is kicked in a sub. Thanks, Dreams. Hey, Pat. I've been on and off of 14, but thanks to you and some pals. I'm up to Stormblood right now. I'm excited to see what's come. Have a good stream. Thank you. You notice I'm wearing my, my, my FF6 shirt because I love it. Evil Emu kicked in a sub. Thank you. So excited for Endwalker in your streams. Your Shadowbringer streams got me into the game two-ish years ago. Yes. Doing it. Xeno Sweater kicked in a sub. Thanks, Xeno Sweater. Sorry. Wait. Xeno Sweater. Yeah. Big Natural Man 59 kicked in 59 months of subs. Thanks, Big Natural Man. Says, when's FF11? Uh, FF when's, when's FF11? When's FF11? Says Big Natural Man. When is FF11? When when would FF11 be? It's free if you pay for it. How about when it's never, never? I'm never gonna play it. Struggle Punk kicked in a sub. Thanks, Struggle Punk. Volt Lizern sub. So did Argavas. Thank you. Sorry if I botched your name there. Scarna who kicked in a sub. Let's race towards that sound at the end of the end of the world. Coming back to the VOD since I missed last stream. Two more months until three years pondering the orb live. Been a wild ride. Well, welcome back. Thank you. <sighs> Reckonom subbed. Says they just got their COVID booster. booster, And it's currently disassociating from this plane of existence. Can't play Ann Walker. Fuck. Also play Lisa. Lisa is on the uh, Mind Goblin list, actually. Uh, go take a nap, dude. Uh, Mimichu kicked in a sub. Thanks, Mimichu. And Bo kicked in a sub. Recently gotten to Tim Rogers. On his Last of Us review, I now see that you and meant you and Wooly meant about his tangents. He's amazing. Have a great stream and enjoy and Walker. Yeah, Tim Tim's just a meandering He's the fucking He's the Tom Bombadil of conversations. He's just gonna take the fucking conversation and go. And just wander boot the forest with it. And an Irish papaya kicked in a sub. Thanks, man. Curious about this whole 14 thing. Played New World for a while. But, man, that was rough. Hoping it gets better. But in the meantime, here's a Coveted Prime sub. I can tell you right now. You just start playing FF14 instead of New World. The game is, the game is a mess. I'm not going to say it's trash. But I am going to say it's a mess. It's a mess. All right. Boop. And by the way, if you are a usual viewer and for whatever reason cannot talk right now, I have uh, deleted my bookmarks to Twitter and have put this room into uh, one month follower only mode and am no longer checking my email for about a week. <laughs> I'm not taking any chances. And Shadows of Pain kicked in 500 bits. Thank you, Shadows of Pain. Hope you have fun at Endwalker. I'll watch as far as I personally got into and then watch the rest of my VODs. Have some bits for animals. Thank you. Animal appreciate bits. And Janunu sub. Husband played at 5 in the morning. Q was over 5,000 on Gilgamesh. Q was like less than 50 when I started. Like, I got in like, in what? In one refresh of the Q? Boop. Oh, an Emphysi sub. Thanks, Emphysi. Boop. 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 
All right. Has everyone gotten into their end walkies? Who wants to see the stat squish? This used to do 60 to 90k. It now does 12. I'm in the neighbor's yard because I feel like it. Hey, Panda. All right. Oh, hold on. Whoop. I would like to reset the M M and T, please. By the way, apologies if I don't get to all of your uh, sub messages quite quickly. I'm a little bit excited to play my video game. Obviously, I'm in a slightly different layout. That's because underneath me is the chat. Shocker. Well, shocking no one. Off to the Rising Stones, which I'm going to really... I'm going to put this as my free location. <laughs> Home point. Free destination. How the adaptive triggers on the new PS5? I didn't even know. Hold on, let's go check a second. Wireless controller. I don't know. I don't think it's recognizing it as a PS5 controller. I don't particularly care, honestly, though. I hate that adaptive trigger shit. You play this on controller? How does it compare to mouse and keep? Oh, an Irish papaya! I know you know better. Apparently, the haptic feet. Well, 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 I don't have a. Uh... Yeah, doesn't, doesn't think that I have a PlayStation. Oh, do I have to enable the vibration? I didn't... I didn't do anything. Yeah, I, I'll be honest, I don't... I don't play with vibration anymore. <sighs> hey, Graha. Not only did the members of the forum intend to adhere to their long-standing policy of non-intervention, they made a point of sending Master Fortune Alt here explicitly to be a bitch. Yeah, but you can't do infuriate, um, you can't do infuriate, uh, out of battle, so I couldn't do it. <sighs> Wait, I got a piece of gear? Well, I don't need a 515 item, but okay. Pat, you got some time to talk? I do, Alfie. I'd like to gather everybody in Dawn's respite and together assess the situation in which we find ourselves. Thanks, Sheriff Burnout. Let's take stock of the facts, shall we? Christ's hand began with the sudden appearance of ominous towers in a multitude of locations throughout the world. If since learned that said structures were brought in being by an organization known as the Telephoroi. The Telephoroi's stated purpose is to recreate the final days, an apocalyptic event that would result in the destruction of all we hold dear. Already these towers have been the cause of untold suffering. Countless innocents kidnapped and imprisoned, their faith perverted for primal summoning. And unless we find a way to deal with the corruptive aura surrounding the spires, we can't even get close enough to rescue anyone. Oh, listen to that. Ooh, that's a good motif. Oh man, it's so good. God damn. 
Though shielded with the blessing of light, seem to be able to resist being tempered, at least. But after what happened to Ehrenveld and Fordola, we need to be very, very careful about how we proceed and keep the ability to walk, or else we could get end walked. Yeah, while these threats close to home are of paramount concern, we mustn't lose sight of the situation in Garlemald. As you know, the Telfaroi are under leadership of Van Daniel and one other delightful fellow. Xenos the dickhead. To date, he's reclaimed his old body, murdered Varus, and plunged Garlemald into an eeper, even deeper pit of chaos. Hey guys, is it possible that you didn't play the game for like five months since 5.5? .5? Well, here you go. Capital's seen the worst of it. For a good while there, it saw the bloodiest fighting in the War of Secession, but that has since changed and in troubling ways. Aye, during our reconnaissance, the air was not once rent by the barking of cannons or the cries of discord. Twas an eerie fog of silence which did the blanket ruin the that ruined the city blanket. Doth. Thanks, thanks, sir. The inhabitants seems to have been tempered. With nary a word spoken, did they labor to transform the palace into a soaring edifice born of nightmares. Thanks, Sir Yasha. If they were indeed made thralls, it seems safe to assume these events, too, were orchestrated by the Telephoroi. An army of primals is awful enough, but in the recent developments, I fear it's only a prelude to an even greater catastrophe. We need to devise a means to counter this threat, and quickly, before our allies are overwhelmed. Yeah, I'm sure that's gonna go great. I watched the launch trailer. We'll find a way in Charlayan. I'm sure of it. I'm sure they'll be extremely helpful. Master Fortune Alt's comments regarding the final days were curious, to say the least. The forum knows more than it's letting on. Sorry to interrupt! It's the good one. We just received word from Kryle. She says that arrangements for your visits have been finalized. You're to head to Limsa Luminza and board the next ship bound for Charlayan. Right now. And on arrival, present yourselves as the associates of the students of Baldesian. Come to assist the Order's restoration. Oh man. Oh, I forgot! Oh, a seed vient avec you, avec nous! I can't tell you how fun it is that Estenian's name shortens to a seed. Why, a seed, là? It's fini avec les dragons, hein? The, the, arrangements, <laughs> the arrangements may be settled, but what are your thoughts? They must race at the prospect of returning home after so long. I'm eager to see it, of course, but uh, we should set off at once. His goddamn problems. He had bad problems. I have not been using Angriest Pat on Twitter for uh, like uh, two years. Transatlantic villain. Then I'll come to you to the docks. You'll need at least one person there to wave and cry and wish you a safe journey. This is the job action trailer theme. Elmo, you look fucking busted. I love you, cat. That's a great coat. Thank you. I tried really hard to make my look pretty. That's the Crystarian boots. Uh, some generic taped hands. Both rings from Palace of the Dead. The Baja coat. And the Sky Pirate Beret of Aiming hat. Also, I hope they fix this. Because, um, in the current state, your eye level's all fucked up. What's that over there? Is that... <gasps> Sage! Oh, don't look. Click the Aetherite. Huh? If 
You take off and then re-equip an item. Oh! Weird. Oh, that's much nicer. That's much big nice. Oh, I like that. That's highly big nicer. Is that a bunny? That's not a slouchy bunny. Yeah, sure enough. I wonder if this is where I have to go. Maybe I should take a screenshot of my quest. Everybody's here. Which is good, because I've already paid for your passage and the fee is non-refundable. Ship for Charlene should be pulling into port soon, so please follow me and have all your luggage. I only really got what I carry on my back, and my chocobo saddlebags, and my inventory, and my four tabs, and my armory chest. I actually carry a lot. <sighs> Come to think of it. Hey, look! It's those two we saw in the launch trailer! Finish loading our cargo. We should be ready to depart right on schedule. Or so I'm told. Thanks, Stankred. Excellent. It is nice to have a smooth beginning to one's journey, at the very least. Oh god damn it, Elmo! Not right now! Excuse me. Do a pee pee. I had to open up his his poop closet. It's funny. Master Louis Soir came here on a ship very much like this one. Yeah. And now, years later, the street urchin he befriended that day is bound for his mentor's homeland. With his mentor's grandchildren, no less. Aye. It is upon reflection that every twist of time's river and fate's winds are brought into sharp relief. Shut up. <laughs> thou hast matured much in the intervening years. Wert thou not caught attempting to relieve Master Louis Soir of his purse scant moments after he made landfall upon this dock? Oh, really? Now that's a tale I'd like to hear. Because he's a thief. What's well, very quiet? Will this be your first visit to Charlian, Sir Estinian? I got audio, right? Yeah, I got audio. Character speech. Probably have to turn it up. Sir Estinian? How about we do that?
Are we strangers newly met? Why this stiff formality? I, uh, merely meant it as a professional courtesy, since we are now colleagues in an official sense. Take another shower, stinky. I'd rather you dispense with the sirs, especially in private company. Or I'll be forced to respond in kind, little Lord Alphano. Oh, no. I can hear... Fujoshi's around the world, scribbling furiously. You've made your point, Astinian. Painfully well. <laughs> Better. Why word, tired? little buddy? You seem positively distraught. Distraught? Me? Don't be silly. I think it's lovely that they get to see their homeland. But... It's just... We're trying to thwart the schemes of an army hell-bent on destroying the world. And the sky's not even on fire. That'll probably only be on Sunday. And, once again, I have to stay behind and worry that this is the last time I'll get to see my friends. Nah, it'll be fine. Don't worry about it. It'll be totally fine. Come on. I'll hold you to that. Ah, oh, good. You're still here. Yes! Yes! We're to assist the Maelstrom and the Cobbles with a Lunar Primal operation, so we thought we'd see you off before heading to the tower. Hori has not spoken since, like, 2.0. Flamine and the others wish you all a safe journey, and promise that they'll look after things here until you return. We will too, of course. Aye. We, your fellow scions of the Seventh Dawn, will do our part to ensure the end of the world won't happen on our watch. This is a great... This is great. This is great. I'm so glad I went and did all my job quests. I know Hori's not a job quest guy, but just seeing these fuckers finally come back in after seven fucking years... We set the sail! All aboard for Charlian. It's time. Everyone is here. Then we must delay no longer. We will contact you the moment we learn all to value. Wish us luck. Everyone is here. Have a safe journey, and please, please, be careful. What a good potato. Oh, I'm so glad Hori and Kultanet showed up. Oh, man. And so you venture forth unto the unknown. A fate beyond the horizon that cannot be divined. The future undefined and in flux. In uncertain times, naught but the simplest words of wisdom will suffice. Who said that? I don't remember who that is. That which lives is destined to die. Love leads to loss. Every beginning has an end.
treasure every moment, every step of your descent. Oh, you gonna hit me with the title? And there, in the depths where souls and stars rest, find your truth. Oh, thanks, Dexala. Elmo. This is just like the start of 2.0. Yeah. Chair? The day has barely dawned, my fellow earlier riser. We don't even get beds? Though we're hardly alone in that. Envious of those still sleeping soundly, no doubt. Ah, oh, look at those nerds. Oh no, my shoulder's covering my own face! Called out to you, you say? Hmm. I've heard nothing myself. In any case, I dare say the sea air will do you good. Why not join the others on deck? Charlian should be coming into view at any moment. If he can't see my eyes, he won't see my boner. You know what I'm talking about. Ah, oh, there she is. Is you. I am glad. Uh huh. Hear, feel, think. Hey, Vanna. And thus do we meet face to face at last. Or my warrior of light, guided I did by not the expect crystal. that name title. Yeah, why now? Also, maybe I can't trust you a little bit, cause uh... You're probably mind controlling me. You have visited the first. You... Have every right to say that. It was significantly unlit down there, Heidi. You have gained an understanding of what I truly am. What Eidolon has always been. Actually, it was too lit. A You're right, Tizona. Zodiac 
was created to forestall the apocalypse which threatened the ancient world. And I was brought forth to bind him. Yet seven times now, those who would orchestrate a return to that bygone era have rejoined a shard to the god I had sundered. The greater his strength grows, the swifter does mine own diminish. The power to draw your mind into the rift betwixt is no longer mine to wield. Great. You're weaker than ever. Excellent. Yet though it taxes me sorely, I dare not leave these words unsaid. Even bereft of my guidance, you and your companions have accepted the burden of this star's troubled past. A conjunction has begun to form, an intertwining of your time and mine. Wheels shudder and turn. Conflict looms. Monumental. Which will decide the fate of this world and all life upon it. Cool. It's gonna go great, right? When you truly understand what is at stake, and your journey has prepared you to surmount the insurmountable, Then shall I honor the promise made in another time, another age. Which is? Cast your peepers to the fore, folks. Charlians, just over yonder. I will not keep you further. Your traveler's heart must yearn to behold this unfamiliar land. We shall meet again. Hey, excuse me. And I'm going to check on Elmo. He seems upset. Oh, I'll check on Elmo in a second. Elmo, what's up, Bubba? Stiff, though. Of course, now I can't. And a good morning to you, too. Taken a look at the island already? Then let's go. Let's go. Might still be room in the prow if we're lucky. I'm not going to mention this to anybody. Seems like an important detail. Anybody? Ah. The sleepers have arisen. <sighs> there she is. <laughs> Good old Charlian. Oh, I see it. Hey, look, it's that impossible fountain. Home. Home at last. Well. Maybe not in father's eyes, but we'll manage on our own, if we must. You do know you're not alone in this, don't you? Indeed, it is as Sir Estinian said. Forget not the comrades who boarded this ship at Lusa. Hey. I pray thee. Emma. Thank you, my friends. We are ever grateful for your steadfast support. Upon arrival, we will be disembarking into the heart of Charlian proper. There is no greater concentration of wisdom in all the world. I am confident that somewhere within that center of knowledge and learning, we will find the answers we seek.
It's the middle of the day! Charlia, the solitary island nation of the Northern Seas. Where under the watchful gaze of Thaliac, patron deity of scholars, academics hoard all manner of knowledge and secrets. Once, they deigned to accept foreign students into a distant colony maintained in the Dravanian hinterlands. How swiftly they abandoned it once the first Garlean boot set hostile foot on Alamegan soil. So averse to the prosecution of war, these men of wisdom, your would-be allies. And now it's night time! I thought they'd never let us off the ship. What's next then? Entry applications? Hey, hold up a sec. I gotta check on Elmo. He's been going nuts.
What is it about children where the instant you're doing something important, they start screaming and screaming and screaming they need to go to bathroom? <sighs> Paige, what happened? What thing? What was that? Paige says a thing fell down and it's fine. All right. Now, I'm not going to get AFK'd out of here. Hopefully they find no cause to deny us. Ooh. Hasn't Charlie in all but severed relations with foreign powers? Those of us without direct ties, myself included, may be refused outright. Why was Elmo asking for the bathroom? Because he didn't like the way his litter looked. Tis true that, as a nation, Charlian only forms trade agreements with a select few neutral countries. But from a practical standpoint, an island cannot afford to be overly strict with its borders. Especially not if that island's people are wholly devoted to the accumulation of knowledge. If one submits the proper paperwork, with satisfactory evidence of identity and intent, then foreigners may be granted entry. May. Right. Quite. So let us be absolutely clear on these points before we proceed. Are they going to make Estony and sit on the boat? The immigration officer will ask for your affiliation and your purpose of visit. Considering Charlian's views on intervention, I strongly suggest we avoid any mention of the Scions. Guys, I'm sorry. Elmo's freaking out again. I gotta check on him. It's not like him to go nuts like this. Oh. What? Okay. Never mind then. Because the dog could get out, Paige. Kral has laid the groundwork for us to act as associates of the students of Baldessian, and our ostensible reason for being here is to aid in their order's restoration. Was I? I was never part of that group. Grahatia, it might expedite our progress should an actual student be seen at the head of our little group. Would you mind leading the way? Of course. The immigration officers were this way, as I recall. Shall we? Greetings. We've just arrived and are eager to make our way into the city. 
Would you be so kind as to process our entry applications? Kegatide asks, this is an MMO, a lot of talking. Can it be skipped? I mean, yeah, you could watch a movie and skip just to all the action scenes. If you wanted. Certainly. I see by your mark you are an Archon. I am. Brahat here of the students of Baldessian at your service. I was assigned to an Aeorzean survey team, but have returned to assist with the reformation of my order. God, that was my so long ago. My associates here will provide additional support. Very good. I have paperwork detailing your group and its scheduled arrival for today. And it seems some few of your companions are also Archons. If you'll step forward, we can process those applications first. <sighs> Me and Astinian are the only one without loser face tattoos. Ishtola rule. Oh, and the kids don't have them. I guess that makes sense. See how it glows. That list is etherically linked with the citizen registry kept in the main repository. I've confirmed your status as Archons and amended your travel records accordingly. Welcome home. Now, who do we have here? This kid's got no last name. Alphano Leveilleur. And Alizé Leveilleur. Hey, buddy. Your applications have also been approved. Having said that, the streets are abuzz with talk of how House Leveilleur's lord disowned his young progeny. Owned. And while such personal circumstances constitute no reason to deny you entry, I urge you to avoid exacerbating your present situation. Times are quite troubled enough already. What a fucking asshole. Did he really just come back and be like, I hate my kids. I hate him. These last two are not Charlian natives, but you will find their credentials are in order. <laughs> An application was made in advance. We're like fucking foreign big deals, man. Hmm. Name and occupation? What is my... I'm definitely an artisan. I make gold. Indeed. Your profile describes you as an adventurer but one also trained in the rather more constructive pursuits of procurement and production. Army crafter! You get results! And you, sir? Estinian Valino, formerly of the Order of the Knights Dragoon in Ishgard. Formerly, at least. Varlano. And what, pray tell, is your profession now? Oh my god. Does... Does he not know? Is he a hobo? If you'll allow me... Estinian, are you homeless? My associate is a mercenary, hired for his strength at arms. Surely you are aware of the dangers we often face on our forays into the wilderness. Mistress Baldessian, if you insist on sponsoring his entry, then so be it. 
But while I appreciate that desperate times call for desperate measures, I find your choice of company concerning. Be advised that even oh, a would you single fuck off? misstep may have severe repercussions for your organization. I have every confidence in my chosen company, dear and trusted comrades that they are. But I thank you for your concern. Croyle, it is good to see you. Likewise, long voyage notwithstanding, you will seem none the worse for wear. There is much to discuss, but this is hardly the place. Let's be on our way, shall we? Oh! <laughs> Welcome, friends, to Charlian. Oh yeah, we're the only two people who've never been here. As your mercenary, I should hope my welcome includes a generous salary. Well, I had to say something, Sir Taciturn. Ah, oh, that guy. Oh no! Oh no, get away from me, freaks. Oh, it's nice and compact. Nice and calm way. I even just looking in the in the direction of those freaks. Look at my frame rate. It's just like, oh, a chugga chugga. Hey, how do you turn down the PC limit? in here somewhere. Game setting. Graphics setting. Other settings and system. Object quantity. Oh, that's much better. Look at that. Get out of here, freaks. <laughs> it's a bit of a nightmare. But, uh... Thought I spotted your ship coming into port. The officers are born bureaucrats and slickers for detail. Hey, relax. Take a moment to get your legs back. Give me my eye tone. Ooh, I'm actually going to turn it back on. To maximum. Yeah, give, give, me the, give me the grunge. Give me the grunge. Hey, you know what? There's a summoning bell over here. And you know what that means. First of all, get some money. And second of all, Paige, Elmo, Geef, you gotta get back on this. You gotta get back on that hustle. Alright, let's say what up. 
about as awkward as we expected? Yeah. Fine. Okay. Orianja, what do you got to say? Allow me to extend unto thee my warmest welcome. May the wisdom of my homeland doth en en endeavor you. Thanks, bro. I thought to launch directly in an explanation of what I learned and how we might proceed. This is Pat and Estinian's first time at the rest of you. It's a homecoming. You must have stuff you want to go to and people you want to see. So let's just chill for a bit. And you can all have uh, you know time to rest, recover, get your bearings. And once you settle in, we can meet at the annex. How's that sound? Is a foreign suggestion. We may not all be. I don't know. I'm not gonna do that. We may not be welcome at the levee or estate as such, but we'd like to nose around the neighborhood all the same. I'm equally untethered as worth. There's no particular place that my kin call home. Still, I wouldn't pass up the opportunity to reacquaint myself. Likewise, a quick tour of old haunts might even yield some useful gossip. The annex is west of the Aetherite, huh? I'll join you there anon. What the fuck? Talk normal, thank you. This does genuinely sound like Undertale music. What's up, Orianje? You you got places to go, buddy? Okay, bye, buddy. Doth. What about you, Estinian? Serves as a guide or used for the asking. Nah, he just wants to wander around. That won't be necessary until we reconvene. I prefer to wander around as the wind takes me. Okay, bye. But oh, oh, does she have a thing for Stenian? Oh my god. Get away from him. Well, Raha. She calls him Raha? Would you join us there? Been gone for quite a bit. Perfect way to refresh those dusty old memories. Oh yeah, he's been gone for like a thousand years in his head. Oh, of course, if you'll have me. Come on, let's go. Is this the part where they, they follow me? Not yet. G is his surname? Oh, that's weird. After you, more content to follow in your lead. Gratia will now hang out with him. You can leave Raha by entering a different area using the Ethernet or by putting too much distance. You can also speak to him. If you wish to have him accompany you again, talk to him. While he's hanging out, talk to Cryo. Oh, this is cool, dude. This is a great feature. This is dope. All right, let's go on our way. First stop will be the last stand. It's a cafe on the west side of the harbor. Lead your two companions to the last stand. While you're accompanied, you may encounter conversation points. Oh, man. Enter the glowing areas and speak with your quest companions to initiate these bonus conversations. Enjoy exploring your ship together. Oh, this is crazy. And they tell you where the spots are. Isn't that nice? Hey, losers. Talk about that big statue. Studium Valdesium it was usually quartered on the Isle of Val, but I would gaze upon the scholar's wise features every time I returned to the city. It's the Thalic Stoa, so named for the statue of the scholar. As you know, the Charlayan people prize accumulation of wisdom above everything else. That's why Thalic was chosen. It was more of a matter of pragmatism than belief, an alignment of principles as it were. They have honored him with a rather impressive sculpture, but our faith is not so restricted as they say the Ishgardians. Individual Charlayans can and do worship the divinities of their choosing. 
Well, that's nice. Can I go inside it? Let's find out. Bummer. Oh wow, they follow me good. Look at that. Here we are, the last thing. I mentioned this before, but our research into nutrition and food prep is extensive. The average Charlene tends to regard seasoning and flavor with a certain indifference. I gotta put this. The food's bland. As encapsulated by our infamous Archon Loaf, the prevailing sentiment towards the cuisine is dietary and taste second. There's one pupil of the student who could stomach the, couldn't stomach the meals lo any longer, so he quit his lessons and poured his savings into pro building a proper eatery. And so the last stand came to be, as its name implies, a sole dedicated outpost of fine dining in Sherlane, the one and only bastion of culinary arts in an aisle of otherwise mediocre fare. So you recall the burger being held as one of the most impressive items on the menu. Not sure I've ever eaten it myself. Because you were a typical Charlene when it came to cheap and convenient, Raha. Surely Tataru has taught you how to appreciate a well-prepared dish. We should stop in when time permits and sample the cafe selects. Alright. Cool. Somebody said I missed a, um... A talkie... What? Why are you so... <gasps> oh, no. <coughs> I missed something over here. A talkie bit. I don't see it. There's the fairy ticketer. Ooh. A lot of people in here. I'm chugging. It's too late. Damn it. Well, I'm gonna have to start over. Bummer. This is our new free destination. Oh, that music. Nice, good. Good, nice music. Alright, dweebs, what up? Unusual shape, isn't it? It sure is. It's a weird one. I'm sure you, however, it's perfectly functioning eighth right. Remember to attune yourself before we move on. I mean, the diligent tour guide that I am, I should make mention of the confluence of research facility located on this plaza. It's much vaunted discoveries and the reason Charlie and Saints at the forefront of teleportation technology. And deciphering the underlying principles of Alienitherites allows us to understand and reconstruct what is essentially a lost art. And off we go to the next destination. Our path leads to the northeast of the Agora, the marketplace. And this would be the confluence over here. -ish. The confluence, sure enough. Speaking of aetherites, those teleportation fees do add up for a while, which is why I tend to rely on cheaper ferries. I was pleasantly surprised when Tatar informed me that the science are reimbursed for transportation costs as part of their duties. But I find old habits hard to break. That I'd rather not be bothered filling out the necessary paperwork. Right, so that's that's why. 
That's the entrance. No doubt their expertise will prove useful, so I suggest you remember your way here. Can I get in? I can. Hey, the confluence. Yeah, NPCs following you around is like... Can I go down there? Damn it. It's like a cool... It's like a cool thing, man. Let's just go this way and grab that Aetherite. Braha. 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 Bra. Come on, bro. So this might actually have some market board competition for a bit. We got market board and summoning belt right there. Where's the mailbox? Where's the nearest mailbox? Retainer? Skywatcher. I do not see a nearby mailbox. Still not gonna beat Limza. And you cannot. You cannot travel to a different Aetherite. Sorry, different world from here. Let's take a look at some goddamn axes. Cool. <laughs> oh, it's that same model again. Oh, that's just the Okay. Ooh, but it's purple! Oh, that's just the Shire. Okay. Ah, those are pretty normal. Wait a second. Is that... Oh, it's a minion. It's a fucking minion. Oh. Uh, retainer Vocate. Gemstone Trader. Material Supplier. Material Vendor. Material Melder. To this. This is a fucking spot. Crystarium and Yulmore can go to hell. You mind if I browse the shelves? There might be some hidden gems. Only a moment. How optimistic. Feel free to browse. We won't wait around. Uh, maybe I'll come back. A little open air stalls are so unique to Charlay, and I always thought them a common sight until I visited elsewhere. Ooh, you know what else I can look at? Armor. Crondite top offending. That's the Neo Asgardian top! It's just the Neo Asgardian top! But not a total pain in the ass to make! That's just the Omega armor! That's just the god- Oh, that dies real good. That's just the Skalic armor! That's just the Shire armor again! That's just the Gimlet Dark armor! Sorry, not Omega. That's the PvP armor, probably. Well, 
Welcome to Agora, where you can find wares made in Charlene, as well as a wide selection of imported goods. They also used to sell questionable prototypes from the various research institutes, but I think that practice finally, th thankfully, died out for the most part. Otherwise, I can think of no better place to stock up for your next big adventure. Am I overselling it? Uh -huh. More serious note, the next stop on our tour is one which has a particular reference for our ultimate purpose. We must head to the Aetherite, follow the path north, and climb the stairs up to the big building. Not this big building. What a nice little... Nice little fountain. This kind of feels like a Greek version of um, of Kyoto. If anybody's been to Kyoto, maybe I'm nuts. Just like the winding paths. like Greek architecture. That guy looks like me. Water features. Little de the, these little decorative features are typical Charlene architecture. Aside from research wing, our headquarters on the Isle of Val were rather simple and rustic by comparison. Oh, you mean these water fountains? But how do they work? The Nymphanium, an area dedicated to the blessings of water. Charlene's water represents more than a life-sustaining liquid. It is a reminder of the great flood which precipitated the birth of our nation, as well as a symbol of the knowledge which flows from Thalic's divine ewer. That's the reason you see an abundance of fountains all over the place. A propensity for utilizing water is a decorative feature in our heart. Dude, can they go back and redo, like, A Realm Reborn and, like, Heavensward and Stormblood with this, like, level of fucking thematic detail? Just go, just go ahead and do that. Oh, dude, I'm so... You know what I'm really thrilled about? That I... I let's get the mouse in here. The chat's over here, and I can't accidentally... Nope, can't can't accidentally embiggen it. Can't can't be done. Can't be accidentally embiggened. Anymore. This grand structure before you is the Rost Rostra. Name refers to our original public platform. Upon which a form of elected debt would deliver to oration. Debate policy. Nanaki asks, you have say and yell turned off, right? The only way anyone can talk to me in Final Fantasy XIV is via the free company chat. It's the only way. I have nothing else turned on. So if I'm, if I'm running a party with normies and they're fucking mad at me, I will not know. Although the stage has evolved into council chambers, the nature of the forum and the duties of its members remain largely unchanged. Am I boring you were hot? You seem distracted. My apologies. From here I can see the entire city. The Vista put me in mind of my arrival on the first. Those who had gathered in the Crystal Tower asked me how they might go about building a new home. Naturally, my answers were all inspired by the knowledge of the finest settlement I could think of. Charlene. And bit by bit, those few buildings grew into a town. A community to Vistaria. I can almost see its echo. I see. We'll come up here whenever you like. I don't think the counselors would object to you enjoying the view. For now on, we've got to go on. Our spectacle of sightseeing concludes with the fitting lead name Journey's End. Walk down the stairs to the east and continue straight ahead. Well, you don't usually get many places where you can get the whole view of the, the whole city. Ishgard is, like, really weak for that, actually. And, all, and the, the 2.0 cities, you can't see shit. Kugane is the best. Yeah, you're right. Kugane has the best. It's weird they never... They, like, are there jumping puzzles here? Hobo Joe says I just got on with a 45 person queue. I think, I feel like, depending on my experience, 
I'm going to talk for like maybe 20 minutes about just how embarrassed every other MMO or live servants launch should be. Because Final Fantasy XIV, with the exception of Stormblood, has launched multiple extension expansions with zero issues. Shadowbringers was actually getting DDoS the, the fucking afternoon that it came out, and it was still completely fine. Last night was sketch, but only took about two hours to get fixed. So, real feel, that's the reason why they actually say that the real launch day is on Tuesday. So that they have the weekend in case it gets a fucky a wucky. Uh, but it is not fucky wucky. I logged in in like five minutes. It's a lot more natural looking than I expected. Also, what is that awesome bow? Oh, right. It's the, it's the Law's Order. We arrived at Journey's End. History tells us this is where, this is what, the, this, hmm. Tells us that this was where those who put ashore with Archine Nuncrip built their first homes. Hey, 2-Bit! I see you say you're number 5,000 in queue right now. Great. What data center are you on? I'm very curious. Hello, darling. Thank you, darling. I'm doing fantastic. I'm, 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 I'm glaring at Elmo for screaming big pee pee times. I'm so sorry that oh, it's fine. You don't control the dog. The dog, the cat's piss muscles and his finickiness. He... No, no, absolutely not. I just he. I mean, Paige, the cat, the cat yelled. Uh, that being said, I have great news. What's the news? Uh, my data center is uh, having cues of up to. 40 people, maybe 50 people to log in. Oh. Whereas the European and uh, maybe Aether... Oh oh, if European and the other North American one are like thousands. How many? Thousands. So it takes like hours to come in. Because everybody on the East Coast is still at work? Yeah, maybe. Also, I lost a rubber band around here. Yes, um. I mean, that's fine. This is a location they actually talk about very early. It's just, it took a while to get here. There's a lot of fountains and Greek stuff. You tried to log on on Zalera and there were 29 people. I was at 1400 on EU Chaos. Yeah, it's definitely a factor of work hours. Right? It's Friday after all. What the fuck is he doing? Sangeef! You're fat. You are not, and I love you. But even if you did get fat, I, am, I would I still am, love you. I am fat wise. Even if you got big fat, I would still love you. Why is he looking at you like that? I don't know. Paige has a video of the dog beating off now. Her first reaction to the dog, like, grunting and slapping his penis was to giggle and take a video. It's horrible. Yeah. I sent it to Eli. Yeah. Then Eli... Eli's like, ugh, what a freak. Like, it was so weird. He just starts batting at it and, like, kind of moaning. And, 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 and foaming grunting. at the mouth. Foaming was so awful. No, you can't put it on Twitter because you can see the rug. Your hands are fucking cold, Paige. Yeah, I went outside. Oh, no, I don't think that has anything to do with it. Also, I have poor circulation. What do you mean, what's wrong with me? I'm helpful. Well, I mean, your, your organs and stuff. Oh, oh. 
Anyway, in the present day, it's the presidential district. For the important officials and old Charland families. You see that one mansion. Ah! Unplug this. Start counting about 20 minutes ago. Yeah, I know. Oh, did you, did you Yeah, I've been out? shitting my pants. Uh, Paige, I'm sitting in poop. Because I was saying to Pat last night, I was like, how are you going to stream this much without farting? Without let out all that hot air in your balloon. Well, I'm going to be talking a lot. Ha <laughs> 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 Elmo looks so suspicious next to that cup. Yeah, I'm sitting in poop, and the poop muffles. <laughs> you see that one mansion's clearly bigger. It's Alfie's house. Oh, I'll get the extra depends. Thanks, honey. And with that, we bring our little tour to a close. I hope it's been proven entertaining and enlightening. And let's go to the annex. You remember the way, don't you? Let me think. We head down towards the harbor, cross the bridge, and then follow the path to the Aetherite. After you. Didn't you used to? No, you didn't. I don't. I don't. Wh why? I don't know. She's like, she's like, take the squeaky away from the dog. But right before I place it. I don't blame you. Dude, this feature rules. Characters finally follow you around like in a Final Fantasy game. Nope. It's an MMO, man. It's a weird technical issue. Hey, look, it's a screenshot fountain. <laughs> it's a fountain for taking screenshots in. You know that's why it's there. I ate a little bit of soup, but uh, I would actually still go for some breakfast. French toast would be fucking sick ass. Hey, you guys want French toast? Do you guys want any French toast? Paige can make enough French toast for zero of you. Hey, look! I found this thing. Journey's in. Charlene, oh my god, the cat's little. Charlene's full of educational research institutions, but they're still professors who prefer their own established private practices. Not that I ever intended the exclusive schools they run. Perhaps the twins could tell you more about them. Cross this bridge here. Stick to the path. Be careful not to end up back in the Aetherite Plaza. What if I want to, Graha? What a cool location, man. What a pretty spot. Like, look, at this, look, look at this little halfway screenshot gazebo. I got it. Man, this is so chill. Can like as a start to the expansion that's about the fucking apocalypse just chilling looking at fountains and shit oh, he sounds goddamn well. well that's the last one over by the studio as the joyous look on Ross's face is undoubtedly for you this is the annex if you continue up the hill, you'll arrive at the doorstep of Phenomenon. I think we've explored enough John Travolta movies that are underrated for one day. I really like the John Travolta movie Phenomenon, even though it's terrible. I love Phenomenon. Yeah, remember when he breaks the window? Yes. And then he's like, and then the wife is like, oh. I'm so, did you ever see Michael? 
Uh, yeah, but that one I was like half asleep like many, many years ago. It's pretty all right. Though that being said, you always got to remember when Travolta or Cruz are in a movie pretending to be a religious figure, it's actually Scientology propaganda. And you're like, ha ha ha, oh, they really believe what's happening is real and not a movie. If you continue up the hill, you'll get to the Phenom. We'll take you another time. Inside with you then. Tom Cruise's teeth freak me out. Is it because they're actually mandibles? Hey, I brought Pat and Raha with me. A lot of Lollafells in this place. You're right about the ship then. Hey, Graha. Nice to see you again. And it's a pleasure to finally meet you, Pat. Heard many a tale. Yeah, I've done a lot of shit. I'm all level 80s. Oh, gee. Whoa. Hey, do you want to give this one a shot? Huh. The name? Ojika Sunjika. That is a weirdly hyper Japanese name for a potato. Yeah. Allow me to introduce Ojika Sunjika, administrative officer for the students of Baldesian. He oversees the day to day business of the annex. You may recall his meeting his cousin, Ajika. Oh my god, I was just thinking you looked like that shithead! I can't believe it! hate his shit-headed brother! I've read the arena short reports. Quite a shock to hear what's become of the Isle. Do take care if you have the opportunity to rejoin the expedition. This place is like a second home for the students. The Isle of Val served as our main headquarters, of course, but we still have the occasional visit to Charlayan. Whether they make use of the city's research, attend conferences, or procure supplies from distant shores. And the annex here was built to provide lodgings for our members while we engage in such activities. Ever since our former headquarters, along with the island itself, vanished, the annex served as our base. It feels so empty. With so many lots to us, our organization is a shell of its former self. Well, we can all move in, bruh! See the students rise again? Yeah. Yeah. But first, we gotta fuck up the Telephoroi. <laughs> fuck him up. Zangief, you just threw your own toy to the floor and I'm now barking at it. Why are you like this? Hey, toss it this way. Um, num, 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 num. Ooh. Um, ooh, do you want it? Ooh, it's so delicious. <gasps> Is he already tired? Oh, like it's a dick? Through that door on the left is the main hall, where we can discuss our options moving forward. <sighs> Suss has been playing since 4.30 this morning. <laughs> Once everybody arrives, that is. You'll have time to rest before our discussions begin. I've had private quarters prepared for you in the Andron. Private quarters for napping. Didn't mean to give you the wrong impression. The chambers are quite well appointed. Far more so than some cheap roadside inn, you might be assured. So simply, we are so often busy with research or exhausted from journeys abroad that we slip into the Andron just to steal a few winks. And thus, they became known to the students as nap rooms, even if such naps may last well until the following morning. Say the word, and I'll be happy to show you to your chamber. I would love to see my Baldesian fucking room. I love this architectural style. I wish I could have gone and lived in Idleshot. Zangief, get back. Get back! Zangief. Fat. Holy shit. Into the new instance zone, which will replace the rising stones. This is obviously a replacement for the Waking Sands and the Rising Stones. 
There's Garuda. There's Eorzea. There's the big new map. There's some crystals, and I don't know what that is. That's the Agrius. Don't know what that is. That's some cool Moogle shit. Oh, this isn't the in room? Alazul? Oh, it's not. Thank you. Bruh. This is the nicest in room by far. Look how nice this is. It's even got concept art on the screw on the walls. Well, that is obviously a piece of concept art for Ifrit. <laughs> Do you have papers pasted on the walls of your room? Just not unusual for occupants to pin up notes or documents. Then forget to leave them. Sometimes it was deliberate. You might see complaints to address other members. Or a thank you card. Love a tradition that I should know better to dwell upon. Where to create a future for the students of Valdesia. You must look to the days ahead. Feeling refreshed and alert? Our colleagues should be wandering in soon. So I suggest we stay here and wait for them to join us. Pray forgive me. I was delayed. Yeah! It's fine, Moriange. We're all here now. Let's get down to business then, shall we? Come what may, we must prevent the Telophoroi's plans from coming to fruition. At present, I see two paths for gathering the information which may aid us in achieving that goal. The first involves an investigation into the change which has come over Charlian. Not to mention the recent inscrutable behavior of the Forum. They're acting like bitches. As most of you know, the 99 members of the Forum are elected from the general populace. This alone guarantees a plethora of opinion with regards to foreign policy. The Bibliotheques, for example, are a group of conservatives which would have Charlie in focus on recording history. Bibliotheques? That's just library in fucking the French. Of it. And at the other extreme, we have advocates for proactive diplomacy and direct intervention. My grandfather Gallif was one such member, as was Archon Louisois. Yet despite our diverse factions and philosophies, the recent vote to deny Eorzea's request for assistance was unanimous. Thank you. Even more concerning was the fact that many cited other more pressing Thank duties as justification for their recalcitrance. Fortuno's refusal in Gridania had those same undertones. It was as if, having stared unblinking into the face of impending doom, it simply turned away to pursue something more important. But what could that possibly be? A mystery indeed, and one which I ask for your help to solve. Our future may depend on it. As for our second potential path, it concerns a request made directly to the students of Baldessian. Hello. Our organization was founded primarily to study strange and unexplained phenomena the world over. Mysterious Oh my god, they're a bunch of cryptid hunters. I didn't even realize so it. Forth. Oh, this whole fucking time. Compared to our more isolationist Charlie and colleagues, we have strong connections overseas. Namely with scholars and academics who share our passion for the unknown. Ah, uh, there's the Savnir. in question comes from one such acquaintance, Nadana, 
An alchemist residing in distant. Zoom in on that low-res texture. Zoom in on it. Her missive describes That's the what you want. appearance of a tower, and the subsequent summoning of what I can only assume is a lunar. Zoom in further. In response to this threat, the satrap of Rads at Han, the individual who governs the city-state, has instructed the alchemists to find a means to deal with the spire. The artisans of that land are heirs to an ancient tradition, one rather unlike that of their Uldan counterparts. It is possible, nay, probable, that they have gleaned truths unattainable by Eorzea or her Far Eastern allies. They do, in fact, appear to have a strategy in mind, though it will require further research. To that end, they have requested an introduction to a capable warrior shielded by the blessing of light. That's me. Assuming we divide our forces to pursue both of Kral's lines of inquiry, then having you join the group heading to Thavnair would seem the obvious choice. Hey, Pedge. Realmforge is watching me clean the dog. He says, Geef looks like he's going to put on a bowler hat, smoke a cigar, and rob a bank in the 1940s. He 100% looks like that. He looks just like that. Feel free to Photoshop that. But the investigation in Charlian is of vital importance as well. Equal, I think, to the Thavnarian one, given that the fate of the world may hinge on the results of both. Yes, it is quite the quandary. Though it is a great imposition and an altogether too common one, our efforts would be more likely to succeed were you to lead the charge on both fronts. Got it. One nod coming up. Oh, that old fucking thing. You are indeed our champion. As to which task to tackle first, we will defer to your decision. Let us next decide how everyone else might best be assigned. As for myself, I shall continue what I've begun in Charlian. Shirtle, you I fucking like skipped a cutscene? What are you doing, bro? And thereby gain access to a greater range of reading material. I will help with that. I'm Allow me to I'm offer working. my assistance. I have some small amount of experience in the field. It's best to work it. Alize and I would also like to Hey help, guys. If you would have us. I have a I have a advice for y'all. You find yourself a woman who put up with you uh, wasting your life on video games for a week cuz you're going to know life your MMO and then that w is willing to believe that it's technically work. Find yourself one of them. They're our keeper. Anything to understand even a fraction of what our father and the forum might be thinking. Salty Azteca asks, you mean it's not work? Well, as long as you subscribe today, it technically counts as work. So it's really in, in your hands. Why, why do you want to subscribe to me? <laughs> hey, did you know if you give me a lot of money, Paige will be really mad? <laughs> Right. The rest of us will make the journey to Thabna. I'll buy you a pretty Christmas present. Thoughts? Objection. I'm going to do what I want. I'm on my way to infiltrate the Empire. And though I'm not qualified to give a guided tour, I did gain a sense of where things lie. I'll be happy to have you along then. So for this group, it will be you, me, and Uriange. Dude, I want to go hang out in Thavnir. I want to hang out with Stinny and Uriange and talk about doths and dragons and vows. Consider this hall our rendezvous point once our respective tasks are complete. May our investigations prove fruitful. Yeah, the dads are going to India. Yeah, yeah, that's about right. And the children and the women's 
and one cat boy are staying behind at school. Hey, Queequeg! I appreciate the advice of Duthavnir first. Here's my advice. Suck my dick. I'm gonna pick whichever I like. No. It is polite. Sometimes you don't want to be polite. I gotta be real, there's certain characters that I'm way more likely to talk to during the MSQ than others. Graha, Alphano, Alizé, and Uriange are the absolute top of the list. Look at the poster to the left of the wall. You mean this one, or this one? Because that's like... Is that the, the, your, is that from Eureka? Is that the big titty moth GF? After Pazuzu? Queen Quag responds with, it's okay, I'm an Irish Catholic. I'm used to being berated. Ah, this guy. Ah, this guy. Look at this Moogle shit. That's great. I love it. Hey, you're Angé. What do you got to say? Though I've read much on the subject of ads at hand. This visit will be my first. It'll be interesting to see how the Hanish... Hanish? I like that. Need to contend with the tower, different as their magical and technological disciplines are. Hitting the books gives you a foot. This gives you a food. Time to hit the books, fuckers. An unsettling change has come over Charlayan, but together we'll define the underlying cause for the form's callousness. As I mentioned before, questioning the counselors directly is a fruitless endeavor. They seem to have come to a consensus as to what and how little they're willing to divulge, which is why I began sh scouring Charlene's archive of historical records for any hint of a connection to the final days. Suffice to say, the progress has been slow. There are only so many dusty pages one can skim in a day. And now that I have this band of willing reinforcements, the search could go all the swifter. Let's reconvene outside the Numenon. Oh, dude, I love that quest accepted. Oh, it's good. You know, I might as well pick up the fucking quest before leaving. Oh, there's a cutscene! Oh, no! I've crossed instructions. If you're ready to set out, then so are we. Hey, have you been to Navnair before? I can travel by Aetherite, but what about the rest of you guys? Another sea voyage would waste time we don't have. Kryle has already secured the aid of the good folk of the Confluence. We'll take ourselves there. What the fuck, Ryoshi? The confluence thou sayeth. Afraid so, buddy. I kicked the dog in the butt. Thou wilt recall the hunt for Iceheart. Wow! I'm glad I skimmed over that shit last night! Until whose sanctuary we delivered thee owing to the knowledge of our comrade Mon Brita. She's an authority on aetherology, a field of study she did embark upon in pursuit of her parents' example. Both are authorities in their own right, and both are researchers at the confluence. Oh no! You haven't gone to see them in this whole time? Oh no! You fucking pussied out? Bro, you gotta do that. As it happened many times, I thought to reach out to them after sending that faithful letter. Neither time nor introspection have revealed unto me the words I should speak unless I've kept my silence. Now you're gonna go in and you're gonna go to her old room. It's gonna be like a fucking, like, workout room and it's gonna be awkward. God damn it, Uri. Whether you come with us is n or not, it's your choice and yours alone. It's been years. It's been at v VHGS. It has been at least one year since, like, 2.4. 
or 2.5. Like, a lot has happened. Thou art kind to say so, but I have no intention of forsaking our cause. I'll go to the confluence, and I shall face what hath been long overdue. If it's settled, then let's be off. When we arrive, we should look for researching in Kite. That's how I'll get Wooly in! There's kites! Huh? Ah, kite jokes. Huh? No, nobody, not all. Oh, Paige is ignoring me on purpose. And I love you for it. The last time you told me to bite you, I ran over and bit you, and you were like, ah! You're very spookified. Yeah, well. It is much more your style. Like, way more Paige's style to just bite somebody. Hey, what the fuck are you doing over there? You just being a weird idiot? Yeah, he is. Yeah, Paige. That's why he called, they called you Bitey back in the, the, in the war. <laughs> you know, back during the war. Ah, oh, there comes Bitey Peach, the peach that bites back. <laughs> Careful, she'll get you with her chompers and infect you with the wolf disease. I'm getting too, like, I'm too many layers up on this stupid joke. Yes, Paige has lycanthropy. It's a secret. Shh. It's a lupus joke, you fucking idiots. All right. Also, she's a furry. She's not a furry on stream. Shh, shh, shh. Except for all that shit. Shirtle says you may have discovered a bug. I can't get into a city. It's very likely that there are too many people inside it. Wow, Charlene has some really well-placed Aetherites. Hey, look at those quests I'm not gonna do for like an entire year. Also, what is that blue one? Oh, the hunt, the new hunt one. Thanks, Shadows of Pain. This. This looks real familiar. I just got blasted with some Amarot fucking layout. It's not even doing anything. Elmo is a dramatic baby. And Zangief is a dumb baby. Why are our babies so stupid? He's not even doing anything. He's licking Elmo. Ooh, I like this triangle. Hey, hey Gra Grile? Mm. Directions were easy enough to follow, I hope. No, I just used the way marks, dude. In, ca in any case, if you stand now before the doors of Numenon, the big books, big book zone. Elmo does this thing where he decides that he wants to hang out in a place specifically to antagonize the dog. He's like a, a long... He's like a long border. You ever see a long border driving down the street with their long board not getting hit by cars? What a bunch of assholes. You ever seen a long board? It's a really long and wide skateboard. A skateboard for travel. Everyone who I've ever seen on a longboard, I'm like, God, I hope you fucking get hit by a car right now. And they'll put a white longboard in the spot. <laughs> and then people can come and turn the longboard yellow. <laughs> With piss. With piss on it. Sat Champ says, I've eaten shit on a longboard. 
Mr. Pylon, I'll piss on that longboard's grave. Wait. You know what that is the total thing a longboarder would do? Break the longboard and then put a, a white longboard in the place to memorialize the longboard's death? Anyway, the building's only an entrance. For the archives go way under the ground. The vast halls of the Great Google Library pale in companion to the endless maze of subterranean chambers. Any citizen of Charlene is free to enter and peruse the shelves. Well, most of its shelves. Only Archons are afforded access to the certain dank, dank vaults. You stole them, Raha, are gonna investigate those. Meanwhile, wait, you're, s wait. You're sending Ishtola to read a bunch of books? I hope they have magic braille. Your status is a problem. As a non-citizen, you can only go to the first floor. Even there, even so, there should be a bunch of cool books in there. Find and study relevant books. I promise you, your working knowledge of those subjects will make it better to get clue. Let's be about it. All right, we're starting the end, uh, the end of the world expansion. So let's go to the library. Also, Paige, this might be of interest to you. Some of the the the, the lay motif in this, right? The Endwalker lay motif. It actually sounds extraordinarily Undertale-y. Yeah. Can I go down into the cool book zone? I cannot go down into the cool book zone. Brightly colored book. The story of Charlian. Long ago, on an island in Northern Sea, there lived a Roganin man by the name of Nunclep. He was a student of astrology, and he divined that a flood would fuck up the ship. So he built a big-ass ship and set sail for the Imperiled Realm. Wait, is he the guy who made the fucking ship that's hanging out in, in the uh, the peaks in Alamigo? That fucking weird techno green ship? Fuck yeah! I can't believe I remembered that shit! The flood arrived, and to their horror, the strangely churning waters drove the people toward the ocean. It was there, however, that the crew hauled them aboard his ark, and the danger had not yet passed. A big-ass wave was gonna smash the ship. Only moments to spare, he did a big old teleport, and shifted the entire ship to safety up top of Balablapia's spine. The refugees from the surrounding regions huddled there alongside them, but it was not long before disputes over dwindling food led to violence. Saddened by that shit, he gathered to him his crew and his grateful passengers and abandoned the Ark to those reddened peaks. They journeyed to the coast where they built a new ship, intent on going north. They landed on the beach of an island and settled on that very spot. That settlement prospered and grew, and in time became Charlayan. Well, that was a nice little story. Here's a red book. Rose of Old, the Colony. Many years ago, on the banks of Thaliac and the Duranian hinterlands, the Charlayan colony once thrived. Settlement was originally established as a mere outpost to study the Ethereal Sea in the year 1311. Scholars dispatched to the Orzia found the facilities wanting, and their demands encouraged a gradual expansion in structure and services. As rumors spread, the growing community of academics, the area was further inundated with the Orzian students hoping to share in the renowned wisdom of the Charlayans. Fifty years later, the forum passed a motion to recognize what had become a flourishing town as an official colony. The Orzian residents took to calling the colony itself Charlayan, which led to no small amount of confusion when discussions turned to the subject of the motherland. In response, some Charlayan inhabitants of Press for Name would simply refer to it as the Emporium. Following it be uh, the fucky wucky with the dragons and all that shit, goblins and treasure hunters claimed it and called it Idleshire. Following chapters go on to introduce the most prominent features of Idleshire. The book, however, does not contain in additional information on the forum or cover the history of the motherland in greater detail. Idleshire was the goat and a uh, final city until we got to Charlayan. Idleshire is definitely the goat. I love it. Leatherbound Tome. Almost completed adventure. Thanks, buddy. In the years following the great founding of Charlayan, 
Civic policy and other matters of import were decided by at the Ecclesia, a public forum in which every citizen was eligible to speak. I have a feeling we're going to be arguing with a lot of bureaucrats if I have to know this shit. And as, as the city's population grew, however, this format became increasingly impractical. The large number of participants gave rise to ever longer debates, resulting in significant delays and final resolutions. Various measures were introduced in an attempt to curtail protracted discussions. But the year 201 of 6th Athrastor era, it was ultimately decreed that Charlene would transform to a new form of governance. It would now be led by a body of 99 members, aka members of parliament or the diet, citizens or the senate, whichever you prefer. Citizens chosen from among their peers by means of a nationwide vote. This was the form as we know today conceived and created. Blue Book. Have you ever gazed at the skies above and contemplated the mysteries contained therein? I'm a fucking level 80 astro, yeah! So, man, like, they're putting out all the stops, page. When I came and had to give in my immigration status, it accounted for the fact that I had maxed out crafters, and I was able to say that I was a traveling artisan. Like, just those little things, right? Like, thanks for acknowledging that I wasted so much of my fucking time. Thank you. Yeah, hit me up with three pieces, babe. Oh, it's set. Oh, those are big. Hit me with two, then. Oh, snap. My toasts. Something the dome above us to be a finite space. Yet amongst the leading thinkers of our age, one scholar's depiction of the boundless sea of stars has firmly taken root. Alas, this heavenly scene remains an unreachable, unknowable destination, unless you are about seven dragons with space travel. Don't worry about that. There are few indeed who can explain in satisfactory detail why our own stars believe to revolve around the sun. It's called gravity, you dumb shit. It's a spell. It's a spell you have! It was the technologists of Alec who came close to understanding the laws which govern the starry abyss. It was they who launched Alamud and sought to expand beyond our earthbound existence. Having read their ancient ambitions, I wonder, has your interest in this field of study waxed or waned? What if you were to tell the eternal constellations were arranged differently in the distant past? Their positions continue to shift almost imperceptibly but measurably as we journey into the future. Would it shock you to learn the stars drift further and further apart and they may indeed do, do so forever? Are you eager to learn more? Wrong subject. Yeah, so, um, yeah, that's... They're talking about stellar drift and how constellations actually drift apart over time. And how the constellations that were invented for astrology back in the 1600s are actually not exactly accurate to today's astrology. Which means that if you really want to know your real horoscope, you'd actually shift it forward by about, like, 27 days or something like that. It's so, like everybody that's an Aries is actually probably a Taurus, etc. Forever 20 summers. My beloved seekers of knowledge, have you ever put learning before your health and neglected to feed and rest your body as you should? Hey, it's the book about Tim Rogers. I too once engaged in such foolish practices, but one night engrossed in philosophical study, I had an epiphany. For all the world's mysteries that drive us to reckless abandon, we have so very few years of life in which to achieve our goals. Thus, I do share with this mantra, I am forever 20 summers young. The number itself is unimportant. You can be 19 or 23 or 40. Whatever age you are when you discover this manual, let that be the age you aspire to remain. Through mindful, healthy living, you will extend the time available to spend upon your chosen research. Another day, another moon, another summer to grasp the greater truths that you pursue. This is the anti-crunch book. This is pretty obviously about crunch. In the page that follow, we will explore the secrets of maintaining someone's physical condition from biological, etherological, and arcane viewpoint. The book is on the wrong subject. Oh, thank- Wow! Look at this fancy shit! Look, it's a pretty- It's a pretty sound of French toast! Oh, it's, come on. That looks nice and fancy. That's a wife toast. You know what, guys? I'm actually gonna take, uh, five, ten minutes and eat this toast in peace. Uh, without having to worry about you guys staring at my mouth. Uh, so I'll be- Can you hold this back while I go to BRV? I do want to go to a break. I don't want people with me. They're going to think about their days. All right. If I move my mouth. Like, Sticks in your like mouth. this. Okay. I'll be back in about 10, maybe 15 minutes tops, guys. I'll see you soon.
go. Let's go.
let's go. Let's go. Hey, party people. I am full of French toast and berries. Thank you, darling, once again. Uh -huh. Paige, for the wonderful assist on these Endwalker streams. Helping. Oh. Yeah. Uh, while I was sitting here... Uh, my friend Vel hit 80 on Sage. He just posted that in fucking free company chat. <laughs> it's a fucking... My friends are fucking freaks at this game, okay? What does Sage start at? 70. If you keep going with this quest line, call in Paige when you get to the next zone. That's a bit of an odd request, but I'll think about it. Oh, he's got another one of those things, Paige. I think you knocked him off the table with the eggs. How do I get in back? I did it. We're back. While I was eating my toast, I moved around a little bit. Why? Well, I didn't want to get kicked off. Let's read a well-worn manual. Oh, I just read that. Boy. 
but what about this time-worn tone? During the chaos of the Sixth Umbral Calamity, Noon Cliff, founder of Charlayan, bore witness to the madness and savagery brought to men by the brink of despair. Upon raising the settlement on the island of Northern Empty, he just instructed his people thus. Don't do a war! The Charlayans were like, yeah, cool. Upon a foundation of accumulated learning, they built a homeland unlike any other. Pussies! Everybody! <laughs> Nation born from the strength of minds rather than strength of arms. With the knowledge of economics came shrewd trading. With knowledge of agriculture came bountiful crops. Engineering brought wells and sewers, ending squabbles over water. Listen! Renouncing war rules. War sucks shit. However, it only works when you have enough armed forces or friends with armed forces that can tell other people that love war that it sucks shit and they shouldn't try it. For example, Canadians love to talk shit about the US because y'all love that army you got. But Canada gets to skip out on a lot of shit because we know our buddy the US will got our back if people fuck with us. So thanks, America, for the North, for North American Defense Pact signed for 99 years back in 1940. It's appreciated. Wealth of expertise could be bartered for wealth and coin. And the more their wisdom th spread throughout the world, the more mankind as a whole would thrive. And so it was no matter that the trials and tribulations of the age, the citizens of Charlotte would live by their founder's teaching. For the sake of a better tomorrow and the sake of a brighter star, they would issue the tools, tools of war and del with delivered, with knowledge deliver the world. I now know basic history. There's nothing of value in Canada to invade for, says Sunstalker. Think about that once you guys start running out of potable water. We, we have like half the potable water of the earth. <laughs> Why? Because the country's fucking big, man. SJ Coden says you can't run out of portable water. You're crazy. Water? Potable. You can run out of portable water. But you can also run out of potable water. You're nuts if you don't think that. Go on and drink on the ocean. God damn it! How'd she? How'd she do it? I genuinely like the movie. Have you ever seen it? Yes, I've seen it. It's good. It's not good. It's good. It's not good. Were you waiting long in talking about Waterworld in this gazebo? Just thinking about Waterworld in a gazebo. Wanted to make sure I borrowed at least a few promising volumes. Alpha Noah and Kraus should be long shortly. I was delayed. As far as I could see, no tiles in the Archon stacks mentioned the final day specifically, so they have no choice but start with tangentially relevant volumes, if they are even at that. At present, the plan is to skim through as quickly as we dare and share our discoveries as we make them. It would have been nice to invite everybody to the estate. Plenty of comfortable places to read and lots of tea. I was quite fond of reading outside. It's snowing right now, dude. But it's not about the little pleasures. Of it. You miss your house. It's been difficult. After our arrival, we managed to speak with one of the family servants, and that's how things were. Seems Dad instructed the staff that even if Alpha and I were to return, we're not allowed to enter the house! Wow! What a dick! What a dickhead! Harsh measure. I hope that our efforts to understand his position and that of the foreign will lead to a reconciliation. We'll mend this rift one day, I'm certain of it. No, that's not gonna happen. This motherfucker is slated for death. Guaranteed. What about you? Have you visited your family? Or do they not live anywhere around here? Oh uh, yeah, well, it's complicated. I was raised in Charlayan, but I was born rather further away. Where are you from? You're from Ilsebart? For generations, my people have dwelt in Corvos, the coastal op region opposite Thavnir. Algans founded a city there, and by ship brought in the subjugated tribes of the Makote to serve as laborers. 
Of course, the math, 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 the math of earthquakes brought an end to my the empire's reign. And when the fifth calamity froze the seas, many of the tribes still living in Quiros went back to Eorzea. My ancestors stuck around. Isn't Corvos under Garlean rule? For the past 50 years, yeah. Some semblance of local culture remains. This is the case for most local provinces. Garlemald renamed the region Locus Emonos. Among Us. Could Graha be the Emonos? <laughs> when I was a boy, nearby town came under the just jurisdiction of an illustrious imperial family, the nobles of House Darnus. Darnus sounds familiar. Oh, Nail! Oh, no! Nail's is such a jerk! Demonstrated a singular interest in Alligans, so my tribe was forced to consider a plan of action. For some time already, voices have been raised in favor of abandoning our ancient customs. After all, the Alligan eye no longer passed to our eldest children as reliably as it once had. Fear of discovery eventually tipped the scales, and the decision was made to bury our ties to the knowledge and traditions of Alligan. As the last child born with the Alligan Eye, I was given custody over the friends of students of Baldizian, who had registered me as a Charlayan citizen. Ah, I didn't know shit, she says. Even Thancred was taken in by Arkan Louis Wall, was he not? Stories of adopted wives and rescued orphans are more common among Charlayans than you might think. But regardless, we're all provided with equal opportunity to learn, and with sufficient perspicacity. We outsiders can even earn the, uh, the vaunted title of Archon. Excuse me. This is exactly why I love this country and why I wish to remain a nation of which the citizens can be proud. Here, here, another reason to get to the bottom of the form separateness, aside from the trifling matter of our impending doom. Just, just a little bit of impending. Oh my god! Realm Forge! Dude, that's awesome! Oh my god, he photoshopped Tangy with the hat and the cigar! Oh, I love it! It's on Twitter, you can check my Twitter. Oh, it's sick! Oh my god, there's so many people. Holy shit! Did you see that minion pop? We've returned with our selections. Although I must say the pickings were quite slim. Kryle has already flicked through every history book devoted to disasters and had more than a few which barely made mention of them. As such, we will be looking into research papers on the Umbral Calamities, as well as articles written by prominent foreign members. Perhaps their knowledge of the final days comes from an unexpected source. Speaking of which, I might ask you a final question, a couple questions about the final days. Yeah, I, I am kind of an expert, aren't I? I'm the one who did, I'm the only one who didn't witness the events, and I may be overlooking critical details. My thanks. Where to begin? I was technically there. Oh, this is a recap for the audience. Oh, that's totally what it is. You're right. What kind of phenomena did the ancients encounter as the final days drew nigh? A noise! A complete destabilization of creation mag magics. I'm so glad we're going to be talking about the noise. Ha! Ah, the unfolding catastrophe brought havoc on all manner of life. The chaos extended to the ancients themselves, causing their powers of creation to spiral out of control. As fear and despair manifested in terrible, tangible fashion. Meteors raining from the sky, fire erupting from the ground, indescribable uh, abominations prowling the streets. And more or less of the lines of my understanding, if only the arts of creation had survived until the present day, we might have something substantial to look at. To the best of our knowledge, however, the techniques were not preserved or passed on. Ishtola surmises the closest known magic is that of the summoning rituals promulgated by the Essians. Was there aught else of note which heralded the approach of the final days? The sound! 
They say it began with a keening sound from the land itself. Ah, uh, yes. Never did hear the sound ourselves, of course, thrust as we were in the midst of the madness. But it seems that each and every one of the catastrophes was preceded by this ominous noise. Eventually, it resounded across, all across the star, and not even Amarant was spared. So the ground was crying out. To be considered the harbinger of doom, it might have been quite distinctive. Probably pretty loud. I'll have to speak with one of Numenon's mammoths and ask after any books which make mention of such a sound. And last but not least, would you describe how the ancients sought to quell this unprecedented calamity? What definitive action did they take? That's just straight up. These two are wrong, dude. Yeah, Elizabeth. Uh, Elizabeth. Elizabeth served as Zodiac's heart. So, they, so many gave themselves a sacrifice to bring him into being. We do not know exactly how he brought salvation, only that by his godlike will were the laws of nature set aright. Then, once the balance was redressed, the ancients offered up a further sacrifice to heal the ravages of the final days. Lives sprouted anew, and it was these fledgling souls they intended to render unto Zodiac, a trade that would have allowed them to resurrect the shades of loved ones absorbed by the primal. Or might have, had Vanat and her fellows not manifested their opposition in the form of Hyvalon. Thank you, both of you, for the detailed review. I feel so much more confident now in understanding of things. With all that freshly in my mind, it does make me wonder what the Telephoroi truly mean when they bring, speak of bringing back the final days. We've seen what they're doing with the Tower of theirs. Is forcing people to summon primals a kind of catalyst? Are they attempting to mirror the conditions caused by unstable creation magics? Are they simply using the final days as a figure of speech? No, it's literal. A convenient metaphor for the scale of destruction they plan to unleash. All is pointless conjecture at this stage. Let's return our attention to the form, shall we? We should keep an eye out for Yustola, but it's his time we began studying these research papers. We were talking last night and getting toxic when we were trying to get into the queue that everybody who has a, a 1.0 character should have queue priority. And then following that, it should be people who made their characters in 2.0, then 2.1, then 2.2, and so on and so forth. Thinking about stuff. Thinking about nerd stuff. You guys thinking about stuff too? I'm the last. Well, my extended search of Archon Stacks produced one or two possibly useful books. But I wouldn't get your hopes up. If you recall, Uriange learned of the source of reflections from the Garen Oracles. For its potential to cause panic and confusion, the tome was deemed apocrypha and sealed away in the Great Google Library. This is even less likely that the knowledge of the unsundered world, not to mention of the horrors of the final days, would be left sitting on a shelf for any curious scholar to find. It stands to reason, then, that my colleagues, be they Archons or Counselors, should perforce be largely ignorant of the subject. Yet when you confronted Master Fulchernault with the knowledge of the Telephoroi and their machinations, he scoffed at the suggestion that they posed a threat. He seemed adamant that the Forum would know if the final days were truly upon us, which only supports the conclusion that whatever privileged wisdom is guiding the Forum's behavior is being kept secret from the sec secret boop -de boop from the rest of the nation. Yeah! Not that I mean to excuse myself from reading duty, where they contain mentions of the final days or no. These books could have something of value. You weren't thinking of leaving, were you? There's plenty of work for everybody. Oh no, reading books. Can't I just smash it with my axe? I just want to hit it with my axe. But... Yustola's making me do nerd shit. Where the fuck? Uh, there you are. Oh dear, you look exhausted. What about your studies? Were you able to find any good books? Day is well spent. Should you wish to reread them? Damn it, other reference text will help you. 
For the moment, though, I suggest you take a rest. Oh, there's more. Tea break! You know the last stand? Let's go get some coffee! Coffee at the coffee place. Talk to Alize. Maybe she'll get a new outfit in the near future. Maybe not. It's not clear, but I gotta go talk to this guy and get some nuts! First. What's this? Oh, there's the leaves. Hey, dweebs. Love to fantasy Starbucks. It's true. This is a great zone. Great fucking zone. Diminutive cleaner. Give me some nuts. It's me. It's me, Pat. That's me. Well, as I live and breathe, it is you. That would be the first to track you down. Who's the guild ship's top hunter now, eh? Wait, you have heard of guild ship hunts, yeah? They're not so different as the hunts in the day or as I understand it. Talk with somebody, and they'll give you hunt stuff. North Thotta. Hey, Northy. Bounty on Unruly Beast? Yeah, unlock hunts, please. Yeah, I'm Pat. Hunt bills. Capable individuals. Got it. Give me some nuts. Give me some nuts. I said, give me some nuts. Give me the nuts. Give me the nuts. I want the nuts. Old Charlene and her at hand. Got it. Sacks of nuts. Interesting. To my collection? Which one is that? Under collectibles? What? Here. Got it. Nice place. Alize, you want to get some tea? <gasps> Look at that shit. Busy as ever. I'm very sure land that no other gourmet cafe has sprung up to compete. Actually, this crowd gives me an idea. Before we place an order, why don't we ask a few questions and engage the mood of the city? Interested to hear what the average citizen has to say about the telephone world. Might even learn something new. Oh yeah, look at this. It's getting chunky in here, guys. Look at this chunk. Hey, Helldoys. Excuse the interruption, but uh, do you know about the uh, Telephoroi? My goodness, if it isn't Addison! Uh, can't help you because your dad. 
I see. Can a man not enjoy a moment of private respite? If you look at the share table, respectfully request that you look elsewhere. No, no, we're trying to ask you about the Telferoi. You're that House Lavera girl, aren't you? This man with you is obviously a foreigner. All right. Hey, wait a second. These guys are stupid assholes. Look at this guy. He's a dickon. Welcome, sir. What can I offer you? Oh, this dude's stoked to see Alize. Far too long. Meet Dickon, the owner of The Last Stand. I used to frequent the cafe on occasion, in between lessons. Seems like an age ago. I remember hearing that you and Master Alphano had set sail for Ariosi, and then he never came back. Lately, there's gossip about your father disowning you guys. Everything alright? No. Complicated. I hadn't expected complete strangers to be so familiar with our situation. Everybody has an opinion, huh? Well, it is House Leveilleur. No matter how discreet Fortune Alt might have been, news your family's doing is never say a secret. Things being what they are, what brings you back to the city now? We've got questions, but only you guys got answers. You ever heard anything about the final days? Well, like the end of the world? Nothing like that. And that's what you're here to find. Information on this apocalypse? Yeah, whatever we can learn. Unfortunately, your patrons seem to be unwilling to talk to me. Wish there was more I could do to help. Maybe there is. You're a visitor, right? Yeah. The few... Nobody will know you. You should be able to pass you off as a server. You finish preparing a few orders. Strike a friendly conversation while you're setting down the food. You might just get answers that you're looking for. Not a bad idea. Serve me up, Captain. That's the spirit. Tea sets for the chatty group by the water's edge. Omelets, the Highlander by Gizla. Behind them, Makote wants a lobster. Got it. No problem. Hey, dweebs. My tea set, lovely. The telephone who? Sorry, never heard of shit. Friends and I are somewhat uninformed when it comes to current events. Now, if you want to hear about the ritual arcane practices of the Sixth Earth Star Era, I'd talk your ear off. Um, what a bunch of dweebs. Here's your omelet. Two, four, six, eight. Let's dig in. No time to waste. Damn, bitch. It's just an omelet. Oh yeah, I saw that in the latest gazette. That's some grand claim about the end of days. Same old senseless warmongering. All these fools grow tired of spilling each other's blood. Best stay out of it. Wow, they don't know anything. Like, they don't know anything about anything. Ah, oven baked lobster. Final days? Never heard of it. Although that would explain why my friend has been rushed off his feet. Must be a lousy time, busy time to be a gleaner. You don't know what a gleaner is? Uh, it's a collector. Travel the world procuring things. Priceless books, that kind of thing. So name those folk who try off the reapers in the fields, picking up every grain that was missed. But by all accounts, gleaning is the most meticulous and demanding profession. These teleforoi make good on their audacious threats, then many uncategorized rarities would be lost forever. Why else would the gleaners be buzzing about in such a frenzy? Watch the harbor and see what I mean. They're loading in carts from the docks all day. Okay, now that's useful information. Any trouble? Be able to get anybody talking? Unaware of the final days, aside from whatever vague news the gazettes are printing. Even Dickon had nothing to offer, and he's the best source of gossip in the city. The forum does have secret knowledge, and they've done a pretty good job. Nobody hears about it. In any case, thanks for playing the part so well. Here's the cup of coffee, I promise. Mm. 
Let's enjoy our drink somewhere else. Maybe behind the peristyle, away from the gossip. And wagging to What a chill start to my day. How pleasant. And then it's like, let's go to a not very crowded spot to have coffee. And it's like, Alize, there's like 300 people right here. They're clipping into one another. When our father disowned us, I couldn't believe what I was hearing. It wasn't until much later that his words began to sink in, that I began to feel the weight of what it meant. Do you remember when the decision was made to come to Charlien? Graha said that the Forum was determined to keep us in the dark and that Father's venomous performance was part of that strategy to keep us at arm's length. Perhaps it was. Father argued with Grandfather on many occasions, but never with such dismissive contempt. And when he demanded what justifies the sacrifices we make in war, I honestly didn't know what to say. Neither did Alpha know, I know, but never for one moment did I believe we had made the wrong choice. So all I could do was fume silently. Yeah, Sharbox is dead on. Good job with that, guys. That I realized how childish I had been. How being stubborn and self righteous must run in the family. Yes. If I could have just mustered a civil response, then things might have turned out. Nah, your dad's an me. asshole. Look at all that stuff. Look at all that stuff. They must be ferrying goods to Labyrinthos. Wait, that's a known location? That's not a secret? A vast complex beneath the island. Charlian is famous for archiving knowledge from around the world. Well, that knowledge is not preserved exclusively in dusty tomes and desiccated samples. Our living library, comprised of all manner of flora and fauna, is housed and studied within that underground facility. Still, that did seem to be an unusually large shipment. When I lived here, it was rare to even see such cargo transported by boat. Wait! Didn't you hear something in the last stand about the gleaners coming and going? Yep, it's almost usual? like they're prepping for the world about to end. They're the ones we saw manning those boats. And gleaners answer to the forum. If the appearance of the Telophoroi prompted this sudden burst of activity, then Labyrinthos may hold a clue as to what the Forum is planning. What? What? Off to Labyrinthos. Back to Numenon. Oh, I, I love... I absolutely adore that quest thing. Saltmeister, are you fucking blind? That is not rope hat. We gotta get to the the gazebo of knowledge.
Definitely a much less dramatic start than Shadowbringers. Big, definitely. Welcome back. Been for a while. Not exactly. We got some info about the gleaners. Makes sense. Gleaners take the request directly from institutions and bureaucrats, but it ends up at the forum. Sudden and significant increase in gleaner traffic and cargo. Certainly gives the impression of an overarching plan being put into motion. Let us see that theory we can build from the facts. As you stole it, discovered earlier, Numenon's archives appear to contain no information about the final days. Coupled with what Pat and Alizé learned about the last stand, we can be reasonably sure that most Charlayans don't know shit. Yet my dad and his colleagues are not only familiar with the final days, but are also somehow certain the description being perpetrated by the Telfaroi is wholly unlike these apocalyptic events. Moreover, the forum claims to be so occupied of a duty of such pressing importance they saw fit to unanimously deny Eorzea's request for aid. Now the Gleaners, official agents of the state, have been mobilized on an unprecedented scale. Don't think it's a stretch to conclude the Gleaners' recent activities are in service of the forum's secret events. In which case, our next course of action seems obvious. Get to Labyrinthos and assess the situation ourselves. And if we're lucky, the Gleaners will be uh, a bit more receptive to our questions. What should we expect down there? Oh, I'd hate to spoil the surprise. Go fuck yourself, Cry. I asked you a question. As for myself, there are a few more subjects I should like to research. I may join you later, but feel free to leave behind your board books and be on your way. So to each is returned to its proper, proper place. That'd be a great help. Thanks, Raha. We love you. Kiss, kiss. Let's head down the stairs and I'll show you where the entrance is. I'm blown away that we're just going to walk over there. I thought that was going to be a massive story reveal. I can't believe it's like, oh yeah, okay, we'll just go to first zone. Yeah, don't worry about it. Labyrinthos well, isn't too far, but you find the path a bit disorienting. Follow Alize. Okay. Fuck. I walk way faster than her. Pleasant to walk here amongst the trees. Yeah, it's pretty nice. A little cloudy, though. Let's try and see where the... Oh, it's, it's right there. Try and keep up! Oh, the, oh look at that. That's nice. Yeah, she's a moving quest object. That's, man, they're doing a lot of crazy technical stuff. Tiny runs. This is silly. Through this door and down the stairs. 
I did attune to the shard. Yashola walks into the floor. <sighs> Looking too cool, dude. did go in there. We're all here. Get permission to go down. All right. Scholar's city shines a false sun within a fabricated sky. In any age exist those who consider the floor an extension of their bookshelves, and this vault's architects surely belonged to that special breed. If the stack grows too high, start a new one. If no room remains, then make more rooms. A simple solution at first, and then bit by bit, a profound transformation. Knowledge buried beneath knowledge, a growing, creeping labyrinth from which there is no escape. Dude, this thing rules. And yes, it is clearly an arc. Or a fallout shelter slash arc. Not what you expected. I must admit, the artifice is very convincing. But I assure you that we are beneath Charlian itself. The breeze you feel. The flowing waters you hear, all created by the hand of man. The island is volcanic, you see. And once upon a time, this great hollow must have been a reservoir for magma. I'm just thinking, like... It was discovered some 400 years ago, at which point it was repurposed. The final days facility. is contingent not on, like, land or space, but on the proximity of human beings. If anybody's no down here, it won't be safe. Day. With the lower level still undergoing expansion. Aren't those people gleaners? I, judging by their dress, they are said to work alone as a rule, but would seem that rule is being enthusiastically broken today. It may be as you suspected. But they are engaged in a task apart from the norm. Apart from the norm? But here. Let's spread out and get some answers then. <sighs> Echo? Did you call to me just now? Huh. No. Oh. Heidelin's trying to talk to her. I must be a bit dizzy from the descent. I'll be fine, I'm sure. Let's get to work, shall we? But why just her? What a cool fucking zone. Hmm. 
Whoa, and it's big! Hey, Dobbin. You know what I'm doing? Hauling books and ore and fauna. Needs hauling, I haul it. Every decade or so, they take stock. You know, sort of tidy it up. Never seen an operation like this before, though. Just if you saw one a few summers ago, even. Then with no warning at all, this mess gets dropped in our laps. Orders from on high. Damned if I know the reason. Maybe they're changing the layout. Preparing for the next big expansion. Yeah, they're prepping for the big expansion. Let me think. Cumin seeds, herbal berry. Head feels like it's stuffed with grass. What, why more loads to take out than carry in? Take out? Why do all this once and risk messing it up? What if somebody mistakes the Kirthen carrots for the Garabanian carrots? What then? Coming in and out? That's not what I expected. You're here to give me more headaches. Because you don't have the look of a cleaner and I don't give a fuck to talk to you. One of my colleagues are so exhausted he took a tumble and crashed into a pile of crates. Now I have mammoths running loose. Hmm. Almost like they're switching it out for sustainability instead of archival purposes. Almost. So this grand op begins without warning, and every item they bring in, they're sending more inventory somewhere else. We're right. Form's definitely up to something. They're turning the labyrinth house upside down in the process. We do well more to learn of specifically what the gleaners are being tasked to do, as well as who's taught them to do this. Your game, I got an idea. Didn't one of the gleaners say something about mammoths? Perhaps if you were to capture such creatures, they might want to tell you about shit and help you out. Maybe a little bit. In the meantime, turn my charms upon this cleaner. We can compare notes afterwards. Happy hunting. I'm kind of shocked how big this place is. I don't know why, but I expected it to be kind of small from the photos. Push to help me find the mammoths. Got nothing to pay you for, but uh, I'd help. I'd, I'd appreciate the help. Thank you. Somebody asked me earlier, uh, why would I play the MSQ through on a tank when uh, tank use are so fast? Uh, and it's because I play tanks! I want to go through on my fucking class that I want to play! His name's Aravel. Capture... Nagsian marmots. Oh, not mammoths, marmots. It's a trial of no desire. Crystal's mice, they call him. Should be no mistaking him. So just put him in a bag. Where to begin? I've not seen any scampering, so you might need to go out into the forest. They will fuck you up, so get ready. Search the trees to the west. The eastern part of the forest is all yours. Hey, we got a bunny here. Is that a bunny lady? Or a bunny boy? I literally can't tell. That looks like a bunny man. Uh, no slouch. I'll pro I'm gonna have to test out, uh, what they look like running with their weapons. Yeah, that's a bussy. Hey, Elmo. Verify the pussy. Gotta drink my OJ. It's very important.
What the fuck is this thing? More enemies, huh? 14,000? Oh my god, that was crazy! Hey man, if you see people fighting their quest enemies, help them out. Week. Look at my glowy choker brawler. Huh, just a straight up troll. Just a hundred percent troll. Die, fuckos. Squeak. Bag. Curse you! Curse you, mouse. There, I think. Oh, this reminds me of an early Lancer quest in Gridania. If anybody remembers that. One page did on her stream. Or you have to get that rock. Got a marmot. And look at that. That was easy to find. That's quite far to the south. Go to hell, troll. Three hundred sixty degree choco flip. Nailed it. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Yo, yo. Whoop, whoop. How'd you fare? Trek down three, which leaves one. Here's your marmot. There's the odd marmot out. Wait here while I put our friends in the cage. Thankfully, they seem to be unharmed. They've held up well in isolation, but it's much too soon to release them into the habitat. It's a good thing we were able to recapture them so swiftly. You got my thanks. 
Who tasked them to get you for you in the first place, man? By the authority in charge of Labyrinthos, now in perpetuity. The same officials. The Forum, dum-dum. Suitable for consumption and easy to breathe. Those were the two con conditions I was given for the stock I was instructed to procure. I don't know how, what the Forum has planned for these creatures. Wait, can I hit? Ooh, ooh. Will they serve for dinner today or tomorrow? There you are, Pat. Whoa, that's too fast. This is the cleaner you mentioned? The one who was looking for lost marmots? Interesting company you keep. Who are you guys, anyway? I'm Kyle. The others are my pals. Truth be told, the foreign decisions of late have not set entirely well with us. That's why we made the descent of Labyrinthos. We hope seeing this shit, we could understand what the fuck they were doing. Ended up being a little more confused. Wise and practical. Never hurts to get a broader perspective, huh? Anyway, duty calls. I gotta go get more easily sustainable animals. Wonder why. Mm. <sighs> you learn anything new? Yes. It's a fallout shelter, you dum-dums. Confirmed the order for them. This just operation did indeed come directly. However, the gleaners have not been informed of why. I'd say that fits with everything we've heard. Yeah, I know. I gotta learn all the good stuff. Well, to discover the operation was begun. The forum contracted the gleaners' guild ship and put their people to this great work some four days after the Telephoroi made their declaration. Seasoned travelers, the gleaners are kept abreast of news from every corner of the world. Thus, I am inclined to trust that their calendar of events is accurate. Altogether, it gives a distinct impression that this undertaking was a sudden and unexpected development. Yet, I find it hard to believe this is a comprehensive restructuring of Labyrinthos and its archives could have been planned in so brief a window. Almost like they had the plan ready. No, this was long in the wait in the waiting, but they were waiting for the right time to put it into, into practice. And the Telephoroi's just the uh, declaration was what set it in motion. Seems likely. But let's not leap to conclusions just yet. For the moment, let's explore this new zone more act fully. Let's find more shit in this cool ass zone. In that case, how about we head to the Archaeum? From there, we can reach the lower. I just got full body goosebumps. Oh. <sighs> Kyle, what's wrong? I'm fine, truly. The sudden descent has left me with a bit of a headache, that's all. Nothing will stop me from soldier on. Let's be about it then. Let's take the lead. Like, literally all the way from the top of my fucking head all the way to my toes. Just full, just shudder right through. <sighs> Go through east. Yeah, she's hearing the noise. That's the noise, 100%. Not using my cheater motorcycle? Nah. I am partial to this one though.
Hey, Alfie. It's the Archaeon. It's literary archive. Okay. Architecture is similar. The building you see is merely the upper entrance. Oh, it's got the anti-tower music. I love that. Within those vast rooms are stored countless samples and specimens as well as the detailed records which describe them. Matter of speaking, the Arcane contains the physical history of Sharwell Lane's unwavering dedication to the accumulation of knowledge. Well, won't learn anything standing out here. Let's get in there. It's the Grand Seed Library of Sharlayan. To the gemstone man. Uh huh. What do you sell, gemstone man? Is it nothing? That's right. Wait, why don't I not have the shared fate data for this guy? Can custodian. We're here to peruse the vaults, fucker. Not gleaners. Can I ask your affiliation? Belong to the students of Aldesian, but is that relevant? I was given to believe the vaults are open to the public. Ordinarily, but uh, it's closed now because of uh, stuff. Not us, then. Suppose we better move along. The building has a lift which connects to the middle tier. Might we at least make use of that? No. Service has also been suspended. For the time being, priority has been given over to the conveyance of inventory. So this is as far as we can go, huh? Apologize. Please come again after the restructuring is completed. That time will be too late. Ugh. Need to rethink our approach. Let's step outside for Doesn't trust the students of Baldesian, huh? Oh, wrong one. Southeast, huh? No other leads. Hmm. But I doubt our stone faced Custodian will be swayed by heartfelt pleas. Gotta figure out another way down. is likely the other people are involved in restructuring. If we were to ingratiate ourselves, they might allow us in. Let's ask around. Goodbye, everybody. Hey, bone-weary worker. Take the lift down? Sorry. Don't have time. Didn't see a gleaner heading out at the gate there, shuttering a large pack. Maybe you could ask him what he's doing. He literally pointed in this direction. Give me a break. Oh, come on. Give me a break. Who 
Hey, bemused student. What up? Taking the lift? Nah, we're just kids. They won't let us in. Actually, we have no idea what we found. There's no record of a creature anywhere, but it was wandering around tranquility, so we uh, thought to donate it. Oh, it's a little squeal, don't you think? I suppose we'll have to take care of it until the arcane's open again. You have a pig in there, dude. Edible Enthusiasm asks, I've heard that somewhere before. Is it a dungeon theme? It's the Anti-Tower. The front in away, dude. Ah, it's you again. Don't mean to be rude, but I'm in the middle of another task. Cloud King, I need to capture his close. Very close. You want to help? Spend your time in unusual ways, buddy. Still, two hunters are better than one. Very well. Canal, here's a common gathering spot for birds of all kinds. But the one I'm after today is the hornbill. Feathers are green, and does a cough. Single out and shoot it with this sleeping dart. Got it. I will fuck the hornbill up. Thank you. Got you, bitch. Oh. Uh. acting for this nicely done let me trust this one up and I'll make my way over to you that's a bit odd there you are any new revelations no So you met with that gleaner again, this time to capture a hornbill? Yes, and? I understand catching and bringing in creatures from the outside, but what's the point of chasing after ones already here? Get them out. Oh, it's a simple thing, really. Occasionally, we remove specimens no longer needed for study, or those we've had difficulty raising. But we can't simply turn them loose. Safely returning such creatures to their native habitats is another facet of a cleaner's duties. But not in this case, I'm afraid. Yo, this dude's I've been hot. Asked to bring the bird below. The restricted section in the lower levels of Labyrinthos. Open only to a select few researchers hand picked by the forum. The projects down there are the subject of rumor and hearsay. Forbidden magics. Advanced technologies that can never be allowed to fall into outside hands. Even Archons are not privy to the truth. Those who are, the researchers involved in this secretive work, are not permitted to walk freely in the city and are instead required to live in isolated quarters. What could a facility subject to such strict security protocols possibly need with a hornbill? 
I have a sneaking suspicion. They're trying to make things Experiment? that'll outlive the final days. Possibly. I wasn't afforded an explanation. But judging by the requisition list given to me and my colleagues, I doubt it's for any kind of advanced research. I'd be more inclined to believe we were making preparations to migrate to the south. Mericidio, thereabouts. Really? What? Why would you say that? Much of the flora and fauna we were asked to procure could serve as reliable sources of sustenance. They're comparatively hardy species, too. Able to endure harsh climates. And among them are specimens known to be effective in improving soil quality and purifying water. Yeah. When you put it that way, migration does sound like a... No, it's a... Ah! You're in a goddamn so fallout a shelter! An assumption. Through our tasks, we gleaners glimpse only bits and pieces of the forum's plans. Our prime concern is that our requisitions, be they living or otherwise, are properly preserved for the knowledge of future generations. Now, I really Unless must be the going. migration is a bit I further than uh, you as you deserve. <laughs> a continent away. Perhaps you might reward us after a fashion then. It is imperative that we reach the lower levels. And seeing as you are already set to descend with your assigned cargo, mayhap we could accompany you as your assistants. I'm afraid that won't be possible. Once the animals have been prepared for transport, we send them down separately via the lift. I will of course follow after to make my report. But I can hardly pass you off as porters when there's nothing left to carry. Huh. Specimens, huh? Indeed. Pray forget I said anything. It's How time to jump in some crates. Climb? If you've strength and the courage to brave it, then there is another way down. I do. This path leads to the 33rd facet. A mine shaft excavated during one of our expansions. That sounds of like a motherfucking dungeon. While I cannot guarantee that the passage is safe to traverse, it should provide access to the meteor circuit below. I never even knew such a place existed. Thank you. This is the perfect solution. You're quite welcome. But consider yourselves warned. If the going proves too treacherous, you'd do well to turn back. I bid you good day. Well, turning back is hardly an option, not when we've come this far. Let's go and take a look at this mine shaft. Oh, that music's great. Highly artificial music for a highly artificial place. Curse you! Aether Cards is probably like right there. Joshman, I don't know what you mean by the grapes, but please, please refrain from can't wait for Pat to get to the part.
Yeah, I figured it's not a story thing, but you can understand how it would feel seeing that. I'm like, ugh. Hey, Alfie. Gotta get in there. I'm gonna get, oh. Medial circuit. Assuming everybody's tightened their straps, then let's get in there. Take it slow and be careful. Careful of your straps, fellas. Oh, this. God, this area is huge. Fourteen thousand. Oh my god. Can you believe it? Thirteen thirty eight. Oh my god. at me, bros. Bam. Bam. Plants. Somebody's right behind me. Chocobo so angry. Oh, those mithril caps are terrible. Oh my god. Big uggos. There she blows. A fucking anther current. And not in a fucky wuggy position either. Just normally just kind of sitting out there. Being normal. How do you have both the Orsian and local time displayed? Dude, I don't know. I set that up like five years ago. seems to have made it through and we're in the medium this is the agricultural section now oh, there she blows Ugh. 
hard. Mm. You weren't kidding. Host of a wide variety of vegetation, which lets us conduct studies on cultivations. The fruits of their research go to feed their labyrinthine of colleagues, or so I hear. More notable successes might make it to Agora. Food so excited you'd be hard pressed to guess their origin, let alone how they might taste. Indeed, mystery vegetables without a name, only a list of nutritional benefits scribbled on a card. Beginners here, but these workers seem to share that same sense of urgency. It's possible they know something of the form's plans. We're looking into it. Yes. See what you can coax from these fuckers. Yeah, that's why I uh, was reading up about uh, the original arc that caused Charlayan to be formed, because they're gonna do it again. They're just gonna do it again. Hey, Jebby! How'd you get here? Mine shaft? Wow, you're fucking tough as shit. Oh, orders got us working so hard. Massive yet detailed requests. Little roll wagon loads of crop samples and hardly any time to put them together. First heard of this grand reorganization, I assumed we'd be shuffling around old stock to make room for new. I think they came the orders for ridiculous quantities of seeds we've already thoroughly researched. Pretty weird, huh? You wouldn't tell me why. Yeah, Electric Odyssey, I figured it would be a starship. Like the one you see on the fucking title screen. Like, that's that's one of those things the Japanese games do. The thing they're working on is on the title screen of the game. It's the logo. <laughs> what crops are you raising? Well, this is grapes. Only needs a good source of sunlight, and the conditions are nothing short of perfect. Hardly surprising given that it's native to a particular locale in the very place upon which Labyrinthos was modeled. Region in the south of Ilsebar. Most remarkable habitat diversity, allowing for a myriad flora and fauna to thrive. Chilly peaks in the north give way to temperate plains, which in turn transition to hot, hot humid coastline. Such bountiful territory is ever contested, as you might expect. It used to be called Corvos before the Imperials renamed it Locus Amanus. Form sought not only as a prize, however, but as a researcher's ideal environment, one whose climates we strove to recreate within the confines of the Brinthos. It's since provided a rich foundation for those countless experiments of cultivation. Has anyone noticed that they've mentioned this location we've never heard of twice in completely separate dialogues? Oh, I'm tired. Most of our socks sent off by cargo lift. Some has been earmarked for aerial transport, hence the stack of crates. Gods, hauling that ship up the slope was a fuck. Come on, Elmo. Let's roll. Before we get up there. Oh, it's a stray core again. Get away from me, I'm not giving up my goddamn rested XP to you.
to the north. Aha! Don't break, don't break, don't break, don't break, don't break. Thank you. Fuck. Hey guys, I'm gonna take a quick piss. I'll be right back. And we're back. Welcome back, everyone. Stacked boxes. Hey. It's that flower. Hard to look away, isn't it?
but they're more than pretty flowers. Heart blooms are attuned to ambient emotion. Huh. You don't seem convinced, but believe me, it's true. This ashen grey, for instance, it mirrors the anxiety and urgency of those working nearby as they rush to fulfill sudden orders. Intense feelings like those spur the petals to change color. Bright glowing hues in the presence of joy. Dark subdued shades for frustration or despair. Yet even with the collected wisdom of Charlian at our disposal, we've yet to identify the underlying principle of this empathic effect. And there are other mysteries besides. Although the flower is extraordinarily long-lived, its low reproductive rate has made it difficult to find younger populations growing in the wild, with too few sightings to map its distribution, and no closely related species to track. We've been unable to pinpoint its land of origin. To further complicate matters, Every culture, even dimly aware of its existence, has given it a different name and mythos. Our attempts to study it via the historical record have been an exercise in frustration. As an avid botanist myself, I should one day like to unravel the heart bloom secrets. But I'm afraid other duties must take precedence. I will leave you to your thoughts. Hey gang. Why are we doing Master Matoya's music? Have you learned aught of interest? <laughs> A flower that reacts to one's feelings. Strange. I must say, I have never heard of such a thing. Yeah. Defo weirdo. No! No! This is all very fascinating. But as it stands, we fail to gain any significant insight into the forum's undertaking. Indeed. While there is certainly enough activity to support Erinville's supposition that her priority has been placed on improving food production, and fortunately for our investigation, these workers were never informed as to how their duties serve the master plan. <sighs> if only we could interrogate the forum. I mean, why don't directly. we just grab one and beat his feet? Right? I just punch his feet a bunch. Isn't that the entrance to the arcade? Is that our boy? Look, there. I think that's Erinville. That is indeed our boy. A little difficult to tell from here, but, but I think you're right. He did say he was coming down to make his report. Erinville receives his orders from the Forum. Would it not follow, then, that the superior to whom he reports is a Forum member? Or at least a close associate? Then we could beat their feet. You mean to eavesdrop on their conversation? <laughs> What of the risks? Ours alone to bear. We won't interfere with Erinville's work, nor will he be implicated as an accomplice. If you're not comfortable taking part, I can do this alone. I mean... Nay. I said myself that I wish to know Father's intentions. Well, only one of you should do it in case you get caught. Coming, should we simply ask nicely? We can apologize later, should it come to it. Right now, we need every crumb of information we can get our hands on. 
consequences be damned. It might be best if you came along as well. In fact, we should all... Cryle. Are those flowers going to get jacked Cryle. up? Hmm? She's going to hear the noise and they'll turn black. Oh, yes. That certainly sounds like a plan. I'm glad you agree. Quickly. Erinville is on the move. We need to get closer before we lose him. Almost. I can almost reach you. Crow, you're, uh... You're getting a little weird. <laughs> Mr. Pylon, you have it completely dead on. Anyone being slightly distracted in a JRPG is ca a cause for extreme alarm. Here's the thing. Cryo was one of the people they experimented on to figure out how the resonance worked. So this might be side effects from that. Alright, let's go get air. Let's go get him. Let's go get him and suck his, his brain for information. Get all that info out. Okay, that's worrying. That's troubling. Hold a moment. Memory serves that wall-like structure is Logistica and Beta, one of Labyrinthine's climate control centers. Should have its own lifts from which one could access a upper or lower tiers. A guy, if I was Asian or form, it would make a convenient meeting place. But even if it were to happen, Aaronville and the company said agent, we can't expect them to reveal good shit when we just stroll on past. Man, we gotta remain undetected. If only Graha and his Spanish spell were here. Oh, but there's other ways to be invisible. Hoppity hop, my little toads. And that's why we heard the Matoya music. Unaccustomed to transfiguration? We're not. It'll wear off. Suggest you and your green companions hop along. Uh, what am I to do? Wait here with me. In your current state of mind, you're just likely to leap in the jaws of a predator as you'd learn anything. Which reminds me. Where are the creatures? In that form, you are essentially defenseless. Thanks, Ishtola! Turned me into a frog? Didn't even ask. Eh. Eh. Anger frog. Ah, oh, shit. I wasn't the only frog running back this way.
Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. All right, come on, bros. This is great. This is just great. Let's roll. Ribbit, ribbit. This is great. Careful, them toads. Them angrier toads. Hey, Alpha Toad. Ribbit, ribbit. Alpha Toad attempts and fails to shake his head, but nevertheless, you understand that this is the wrong way. Thanks, Alpha Toad. GNB is beating on that fuck. We did it! Ribbit! Oh my god. Oh my god! I trust you will find your compensation to be more than satisfactory. We wish to make clear that we are pleased with the efficiency and thoroughness. That's a good of your coat. Work. I want that coat. So much so that we have come bearing new tasks in need of your competent hand. Another lengthy list. If I may speak frankly, the cleaners have been pushed to the point of collapse by your unending demands. Damn. We are not familiars to be exploited. We are Charlene scholars and we deserve an explanation for this unseemly treatment. What warrants such urgency? Strike, strike, strike. In an age long past, Charlian was charged with a momentous duty. And now that word of the final days hangs heavy in the air, the time has come for us to fulfill that charge. I can say no more, but I promise you this. All will be revealed in due course. And when it has, you will understand that your toil was in service to the greatest good. I thought they didn't believe in the final days. No, no, no. They don't visibly believe in the final days. Then I will do your bidding. For now. But unless you wish the cleaners to rise up in protest, I advise you to offer tangible improvements for our working conditions. Your promised revelation does nothing to address present circumstances. This guy! A fair point. Your concerns will be conveyed to the forum.
I hope that was informative. You may consider my debt to you repaid in full. Oh, he's good. Of course he'd know we aren't real frogs. While I do have my reservations about the forum, I want to believe that they have our best interest at heart. Which is why I'm reassured that you're busy sniffing out the truth of things. We can ill afford to place all our eggs in one basket, this master plan of theirs, without first understanding the risks involved. Bye, dude. Wait, how did you know it was us? If you mean to impersonate a toad, try studying the real thing. And don't try to fool an expert. Yeah, of course. Does the Viera accent have a real world equivalent? Yeah, it's like a uh, Danish or like um, Swedish, that, that area of the world. Icelandic. Uh, de Borg, de Borg, de Borg. Suppose I should have known a gleaner who specializes in animal procurement would not be so easily deceived. More importantly, we discovered a new piece of puzzle, this momentous duty. Charlene has been called to action, the Telfaroy's declaration was the catalyst. Whatever charge it is they hope to fulfill, they may deem it sufficient to, of import to disrupt Labyrinthos and ignore Eorzea's requests. Question mark? What duty could warrant the direct involvement of the Forum? Judging by what we just heard, none of the Gleaners know shit. At this point, it seems abundantly clear that we'll learn nothing new by pressing them further. We should go talk to Yushtola. Stephanie Sad Girl says that the bunnies with the Viking accents can pillage their monasteries at any time. To which I say, shame on you. Shame. What a great, cool area. I was initially unimpressed when they showed it off, but I absolutely love this spot, dude. Wait, what? These highly unsuspicious frogs. Oh man, that's a cool barding. At some point, I'm going to take a, a shower and uh, take a 10-minute break, maybe around 5 o'clock or something like that, uh, before continuing onwards, because uh, doing these long ones definitely need some kind of, you know, little breaky break. Hey, Stola, we did found Aaronville, it's true. We did. I had a feeling you'd learn something important, even if that something was simply a confirmation that nobody knows shit. We should, should share this with Kryle and discuss how to proceed. Assuming we find her back at the farm, she's still behaving weird. Perhaps not the best decision, in hindsight. Do you mind checking near those flowers? Yeah, we're gonna get those flowers, and those flowers are gonna be fucked. Big. Bucky, Bucky on the flower. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, they're current. They explained the flowers reacted to emotion, and then they didn't. No, it explained that they reacted to strong emotions. They were just passing by. Hey, distractive archivist.
Oh, dearie me. My sweetest shackles. One of the Archons' precious samples has fled. You have no idea what I'm talking about, do you? My apologies. I'm Tia. Nweheli Tia, an archivist. The, uh, blah, blah, blah. And one such specimen just escaped. Young troll. Oh, I hope he hasn't been set upon by the local predators. Listen, help me retrieve the specimen. My thanks. Go get the little troll. Looks like it looks like the echo is either a shield or a root cause of the creation magic plague. What's nuts is that the final days works like it did back with the Amorotians. Um, it means that creation magic wasn't the problem because no one here can do creation magic. Right? By the way, I assume the reason chat's so slow today, even though I got a good amount of people in here, is you're all fucking playing the game yourselves and just have me open in the other window. Admit it. <laughs> I knew it. That's fine. You don't even have the game neck now? Come on. You passed by me, ANF? Oh, that's cool. Ah, oh, man. MMO, st oh, MMO launches, man. It's a magical time. Also, have you noticed I haven't even hit a lag spike? <laughs> Server's been immaculate all day. No troll. No put a troll. Yeah, you're fine while EU is crumbling under its own weight. Are the EU servers really, like, burning? What's going on over the EU? Like, how do, how do the servers actually function? Are they just lagging out? Or is it the queues are really long? Light actually kicked everyone. Ooh. The worst day is assuredly, by the way, going to be tomorrow. Uh, I may not be able to stream much tomorrow because Saturday afternoon is going to be the absolute direst. I gotta find Cry all those things. That thing was just sending me further and further out of my way. Still gonna try for Saturday and have a backup game? No. Listen, I'm gonna be streaming so much over the next week or two that um, if I'm not gonna be streaming this, I'm gonna be fucking chilling out watching TV, like real low effort TV. Cause like if I manage to get in at super late in the day, like I'm gonna load, fire the fucking stream up and go, you know? God, where the f 
fuck were the goddamn flowers? Brother can't get past the queue in the UK. What is the queue at in the UK? Because uh, when I was in the queue this morning, I noticed that it takes about an hour to get through 900 people. So if the queue is at 10,000, that's about 12 hours. about an hour to get through 4k this morning must have been a little faster cryo what are you doing for you the spell will keep it from wilting she said you would need it for the journey ahead why is Heidelin talking to me through you will you speak with her now I cannot hope to match Minfilia's clarity, of course, but... Thank you. Do not worry. She has lent me her body for only a moment. Just as I could not save the first from the flood of light, it has become arduous for me to interact with the physical world without assistance. Though I might converse with you for a time, the incorporeal form I assumed on the ship would be incapable of casting even the simplest enchantment. It is in the depths of the ethereal sea, the place to which all life returns, where my influence is greatest. Right. After Menphilia's sacrifice on the first, it was to the sea, here in the source, where I ferried her soul. I wished that gentle spirit to find rest in the world she loved so well. Are you implying that her spirit's still around? Her, and another who may yet have a part to play, though that was That could be anyone. That could mean any dead character, including all the villains. Take the flower. Walk free. For you are free. To go where you wish. To believe what you will. That bloom will be your guide, test and proof of your conviction. In darkness, seek joy, surrender not to sadness, and see beyond despair. Walk free and bear the light for others to follow. Together, raise it aloft and let it shine, till the end, blinding and radiant. Okay. That was all too brief. Already she seems so far away. <sighs> My apologies if I startled you. 
Ever since we began our descent into Labyrinthos, I had sensed another's will, straining to reach out. I have to say, I'm highly, highly, highly suspicious of Heidelin because the location she is describing is the source of the sound. Even with my particular talents, though, I was unable to make a connection at first. So weak and tenuous it was. Once I took hold of that wispy thread, imagine my surprise to discover it was Heidelin herself. Needless to say, it seemed wise to learn what we could before letting go. Her answers were more cryptic than I would have liked. But at least she left us with a guide of sorts, that unusual flower. <laughs> yes, we are definitely making progress. Are we? You can't be serious. We've done nothing wrong. Cry, you sound fucking nuts. I'm not crazy, right? Like, she sounds nuts. Yeah, we're getting kicked out. Hey, Dad! Hey, I'm gonna fuck your wife! Master Fortuno? I'm their new Your dad now! Has the forum with us. Obstruction and suppression, apparently. Mistress Baldessian. Our records show you facilitated the Scion's entrance into Charlian by claiming them as assistants for your organization. Yeah? We are aware of your investigations. After alerting the major institutions to the presence of potential troublemakers, we received word from an Archean custodian. A group operating under the auspices of the students, skulking about Labyrinthos and engaging in clandestine behavior. You know I could just kick your ass in like a second, right, Forchi? Clandestine? We may not have entered Charlie in a science, but we did naught to conceal our identities. Our only purpose in this city is to seek the truth. I can think of no reason why our actions should warrant the Forum's intervention. It is not our way to discourage the pursuit of knowledge, but the timing of such sounds like must it. be considered, not to mention their potential impact. With the world in chaos, we, the true caretakers of wisdom, have committed ourselves to an undertaking that demands the utmost discretion. Monkey Weed, I think I've seen you say that like a couple hours ago, which is just the phrase, what if their dad is a cyborg? And while I don't understand why you would throw, like, such a wild swing, I'm down with it. Yeah, why not? Fuck it. Cool. And we will not risk its success by turning a blind eye to disruptive foreign elements in our midst. Foreign elements? Three of the people standing in front of you were born here as citizens! What the fuck are you talking about? What, then, is to be our fate? Will you put us on a ship back to Eorzea? <laughs> the Forum will convene to examine your case. The results of said inquiry will determine your future in this city. As for your absent companion, he has already been detained. No! Graha! But why? Is reading a crime now, too? Reading is encouraged, celebrated even. Not, however, of the volumes shelved in the restricted section of the library. But someone had to have let him in. Right? Refusing to comply will only make matters worse. I hope Graha learned some dank shit. To open a dialogue with the form. Silence is often one's best defense. 
I would advise against prolonging the proceedings with frivolous discourse. Yeah. How about you frivolous this dick course? But enough. This is not the place for debate. The Rostra await. I feel like the ability to tell him, hey, literal, not even joking, for real, God is talking to us right now. I guess I'm going to go back for that quest later. Yeah, god god, Bakasugoi. God damn it, Carl. Your wife sucked me good and hard through my jorts. Forgive oh my me. god. I was careless. We would have been detained regardless. This way, at least, we managed to stay together. I don't even know what a jorts is. I trust your time within the Forbidden Archives was well spent. Oh, he got some- he got some dank shit. The forum will come to order. This inquiry is now in session. The speaker-elect? I will be presiding over the day's proceedings. Uh-huh. Master Fortuno, would you be so kind as to restate the matter which compelled you to summon your colleagues with such urgency? As you are all aware, we recently denied Eorzea's request for Charlian assistance. Since then, Certain individuals dissatisfied with our decision have taken it upon themselves to interfere with our work. Uh-huh. They entered our nation masquerading as associates of the students of Baldessian. But these They took my hat off. Are better known as the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. These militants wield influence with both the Eorzean and Eastern alliances, and are inextricably involved with the crises presently afflicting the world at large. You know I could beat up everyone in this room in like a second. Loose in our city, these warmongers sought to meddle with and expose matters of state secret. What are they if not a dire threat to be expelled? Oh my god, oh god, oh, they have war? Oh man. You have tarnished the good name of the students. Galuf would be ashamed. Go fuck yourself, bitch. Yeah! Yeah! Galuf Baldessian was never one to forsake his fellow man. Yeah! Even if this nation closed every door and retreated from the world, he would have found a way to help the Scions, help every soul of this star fight back against the coming doom. Uh, I love it. A terrible enemy stands poised to lay waste to all we hold dear. In the face of such madness, Eorzea reached out to Charlian, a respected ally, in the hopes of forming a united front. Was your curt dismissal truly the best you could offer? Yeah. Or are you so preoccupied with your momentous duty of an age long past that even the end of the world is unworthy of your attention? Yeah. Whence came this revelation? from the mouth of a forum member within fortuitous earshot. Oopsie doodle, dum-dums. Then it seems your findings support my own. The reason I visited the restricted shelves was to study records of the forum's policy-making process, to better understand the historical trends 
underlying their most major decisions. That's pretty weak to be in like the restricted area, isn't it? At first glance, the positions of neutrality in war and the accumulation of knowledge above all else appear constant and consistent. The unchanging pillars of Charlian society. Right. He's essentially just looking and up their voting time, record. I might have left it at that. These days, however, I am more attuned to the subtleties of governance, and so I noticed something odd. Mm-hmm. From a particular point in time, the purpose of these policies shifted. No longer was knowledge preserved for the benefit of society. Rather, society was to be gradually reshaped to ensure the preservation of knowledge. Oops. The most conspicuous and telling change was the one which befell Labyrinthos. Once little more than an oversized storehouse, an enormous allocation of funds saw it transformed into an advanced research and archival facility. I also discovered a fascinating account on the finances of our Dravanian colony. Really? The settlement attracted students from far and wide, and the connections and tuition fees thus acquired were funneled into further improvements for the archives. Now, there is no question that our nation's progress is tied to the acquisition of wisdom. Nevertheless, the vast resources diverted for this purpose borders on the obscene. But returning to the matter of when, our change in course appears to have been made some 270 years ago. The very same period when Charlian scholars in the hinterlands began a formal study of the ethereal sea. Okay. You found something, did you not? And whatever it was, Gave rise to your oh-so-important duty. Mind your tongue, Archon. If you had seen... What are you, fucking stupid? Yes. We are bound by a duty we cannot ignore. Knowing this, what would you have us do? Abandon our vital work and join you on the field of battle? Why don't you just tell us what the fuck your vital work is? How about we start there? We will never choose the way of the sword. We will fulfill our mission, not through strife and bloodshed, but survival. Vortunal, there's like a non-zero chance that like, that you're like the final boss. Also, Quique, could you uh, time that person out for an entire day? Instead of just an hour? Come what may, we shall live on. Do as you must, then. But we scions will fight until the heavens fall. Until our last breath. No, do the, do the thing. Do the thing with your thing. Thanks, Quique. Such misguided zeal. Why don't you tell us why? Father, I... Master Fortuner, I fail to understand the stance you have elected to take. But by the same token, I have yet to find a compelling argument to counter the challenge you put to us in Gradania. Still, in the midst of my uncertainty, I must trust in myself to do what is right, as others have chosen to trust in me. So I will continue, as I always have, weighing the consequences of my every action, and allowing my hope for the future to inform my decisions. Yeah, idiot. That's quite enough. 
Have you all forgotten the reason for this assembly? I'll be quite honest. Yes. Scorlock Montashane. Literally. He's the head of the studium and an old friend of my grandfather's. Honestly, every discussion devolves into some interminable debate. Terrible habit. Let's return to the topic at hand, hmm? By their own admission, these Scions have resolved to fight alongside the Eorzean nations against the doom which Swift approaches. Right. But there exists no evidence of an attempt to incite our citizens to do the same. Right. Furthermore, while our decision may well have been the correct one, we cannot simply bull our way through these disagreements without inviting doubts or objections. Right. Put yourselves in their place. Who among you would leave a tome unopened if an elder forbid you read it with no reason given? Yeah. Now, if we're to quell further discontent, then we must conclude this matter with a fair and even hand. Can you be their new dad? Order. We will have order. Master Montashane raises some valid points. Keeping such concerns Stay the fuck in out mind, of the library. I propose we enforce the following measures. Until further notice, the students of Baldessian are to cease yeah, there it is. any and all activities within the domain of Charlia. You will also refrain from any further investigation into the Forum's decisions and duties. Failure to comply with these restrictions will result in the immediate expulsion of your Scion Associates. Don't go to the library. Let us put this judgment to a vote. All in favor, raise your hand. That's fair, that's okay. Huh, that's not a unanimous vote. I count 51 for and 48 against. The proposal is passed. Students, Scions, you have heard the forum's judgment. Pray abide by it or face the consequences. Abide by my notes, Barnier. Honored members, I thank you for your time. This inquiry is concluded. Thanks, Rancid. All your plan's gonna blow up in your face, not gonna work at all. Gonna steal your spaceship and fly out of the moon and hunt Zodiac in the face. Well, at least we could stay. And our endless investigations have not been vain, for now we know that the mysterious duty of theirs began with whatever the form discovered in the ethereal sea. Their freedom so sorely curtailed, however, will struggle to learn aught more substance here in Sherland. Wait, Alfie, what do you got to say? The overall picture is a little clearer, but that's in spite of the forum. Why are they so reluctant to explain their shit? Why is it such a big secret? And why is our dad such a jerk? Alpha, no, I'll say it is you. Is that their mom? Is that their mom? <gasps> yes! I'm gonna fuck you! If I have a button that says fuck their mom, I'm gonna do it. Just, I'm their new dad. When I heard you've been dragged before the forum, I came as swiftly as I could. I'm glad they allowed you to stay. It's the mammy! Wow, they look so much more like their dad.
Amelianse at your service. You five people must be the Scions. How lovely it is to meet you. Mother, please. We don't want to make stuff tough for you. If Ward reaches dad, you were here. He'll what? Am I to be chastised for speaking to my own kids? Well aware that you and Master Fortune Alt are not on the best of terms, but fuck that. You will come by the house, won't you? I got gifts and shit. Dude, let's go piss on your dad's toilet. Yeah, go home, man. Go chill. I'm not sure we... Pat, what do you think? No, no, I gotta go to Thavnir, man. It's cool. Yes, that's right. Me. That's me. A splendid day. Champion of yours, I insist that you join us. Alright. I will gladly join you for tea and biscuits. Ah, uh, we must be quick about it. Not for my own benefit, but should my husband return and find you enjoying our hospitality, the service will be made. You're, you're right. We, I absolutely need to quickly go to your house and sample your hospitality before your husband gets home, ma'am. I will escort my new children to the estate. It's true. I will do that. Thank you. Well, off we go. Apologize, even my mom's not one to take no for an answer, so I'm glad to see you in high spirits. What say you? Will you accompany us to our house? Fine, let's get going. Don't look into our rooms, you bitch. Why not? Your room's always nice. Everyone has things they'd rather keep to themselves. Cherish mementos, childhood toys. I mean, uh, never mind. Let's hit it. Going to the fucking twins' house. I think it is absolutely astonishing that these two characters that I hated for the entirety of the original game and patch cycle are now, like, some of my favorite Final Fantasy characters. Alze and I are little. The bridge was as far as we were able to go. I say alone. My mother or servant was always around if you could not watch why. Now look at this. We go to different continents and planets and shit. Alfie and I would wait for our dad to get home. Must have been the day when his meetings ran long, because I remember growing restless and leaning out over the railing. Father, of course, came at that exact moment. Came pounding down the path in a panic, crying out my name. No, don't jump! A realm reborn Alphano was insufferable? Yeah, and then they used that insufferability and they just beat him down with the Crystal Braves and he became very sufferable. Oh, that's where I got uh, magic going on in person. How was I had fallen? Scraped her knee. So I, cu I cured her. Ah, and that's when he chose the, the healing. Just come here all the time with Grandpops. Summer I dip my hands and feet in the fountain, splash around. Not Alfie though. Wasn't very fond of playing in the water. Didn't like it. And he can't swim. Emelianse. Je pense que peut-être euh, je peux améliorer la famille derrière avec Emelianse. Si tu comprends ce que j'ai en train de dire. Here you are. Please do come in. Ma'am. Ma'am. <laughs> Look at that dude on the right! Welcome, Welcome home, home, my lady. lady. That's bordering on fucking Denim McLarge huge. What? 
What are you gulping at? You fucking servants, you fucking bougie. Sign headquarters must seem pretty squalid compared to your house. Richie, rich girl. I'll have you know I'm quite fond of the Rising Stones. Lord Fortuno is not to hear of this visit. You know, it's interesting that the mom is wearing a long white dress that kind of looks like a maternity outfit, which is great because she's going to be pregnant soon. And I should also like the children to have their gifts, ere my husband makes his return. As you wish, my lady. This is Yellow Couch's fault, by the way. Right before Master my stream went live. Alice, she put out a fucking, like a, a, a G-Pose shot of her character. Um, where uh, she's like going down to, going down to Charleyan with uh, uh, the, the uh, I'm the kid's new parent and I'm going to fuck your wife too energy. We shan't be long. Hey, bye, kids. The twins have been sending letters home from time to time, recounting their latest adventures. I am sure they withhold certain details, of course, if only to keep me from worrying. <laughs> Yet a mother worries all the same. In the early days, especially, I tried to support them as best I could, sending the Scions coin and other such donations. Fortunately, they have found the strength to overcome adversity time and time again. Their words grow more confident with every letter, their depictions more vivid. The triumphs and defeats, the joys and sorrows. It is clear that they have come to find value in every experience. Mm -hmm. But of those they treasure most, it would seem that meeting you might be the most impactful. Why? Since that fateful day, I do believe there has not been a single missive in which you were not mentioned by name. I've been doing a lot of stuff. <laughs> it is plain they care for you, and I am glad they have such a steadfast companion watching over them. Uh, did they write you, um... When we killed the ghost of your dad or father-in-law, I'm not sure what side of the family Louis was on. Under normal circumstances, I would offer you tea, but alas, these are anything but. In any event, why don't you keep me company whilst we await my children's return? Perhaps you might regale me with a tale or two of your exploits. This has to be intentional. I agree with you, Quick Quick, 100%. Oh, they make you stand in the fucking room in front of the servants. Jeez. There it is. Gifts. I wasn't sure what to expect. Mother, I. Oh, those are some heels. Those are stomping heels. Oh, look how well it fits you. And the style is to your liking. It's perfect. Exactly what I would have chosen. But please, tell me you had something different made for Alphano. No, nah, man, same thing. Naturally, you are hardly little children anymore. And while I shall miss dressing you in those precious matching outfits. Oh my god, that's. Oh my god! You have grown to become. The reason why they're wearing the same clothes originally is because their mom dressed them! That's great! For yourself. Thank you for the 
Okay, okay Alphano's look is incredible. If that hits the Mog Station, I genuinely actually want that coat. That is that is one of the best coats in the entire game. I am so glad you like them. They are, however, missing one final touch. That's the Sage Coat? Fuck. Can I get it for everybody else? Because it fucking owns. If you'd allow me, Master Alphano. This is how he gets his new job? His mommy gives him the Sage Guns? These a sage's tools of the trade. They belong to your father. Though he may as well be chained to his desk these days, as a student he was often called upon to venture into the field. Dude, he's literally stealing his dad's guns. He wielded those armaments both to heal and to harm in no few battles. None so fierce as those you two have braved, perhaps, but battles nonetheless. Thus did I pull them out of storage, to show you that he was not always the man who stands in vehement opposition to Dude, you Dude, their mom fucking owns. <laughs> and also because it would be a terrible waste of ridiculously expensive House Leveilleur commissioned artistry. Wow, comes with a free I told job stone. These devices are quite difficult to master. But someone of your extensive experience should soon have them darting about with grace and aplomb. May the wisdom in that crystal serve you well. And please, try to find common ground with your father. That you might come and go without need for this awful subterfuge. Will, mother. I promise. My final gifts to you, before you run off, are an observation and a suggestion. Firstly, Fortuno has ever been a serious man, but it was only after you were born that he truly lost himself in his work. I may not know the forum's inner workings, but I know your father's. Mm -hmm. The timing of that change in him holds some significance. He became super paranoid about the end of the world once he had kids. That makes sense. Secondly, do not seek to best your father with words. Yeah, he'll he'll beat you every time. Old people have practice at telling young people that they're stupid. Far better that you simply show him. Let him discover the merit of your actions after they cannot be undone. That's a f that's a fancy way to say ask f beg for forgiveness instead of asking for permission. <laughs> oh mother. We shall take your wisdom to heart. Thank you again for these gifts and farewell for now. Safe travels, my children. Eat well, stay warm, and keep your friends close. God, this... Oh. Fun video game. I'm enjoying my video game. See you later, babe. Might be a while before we're back here. Thank you for indulging mom's request. That's giving me a lot to her. And I also refrain from inquiring as to the pro content of your private conversation. My visit was all too brief. For now, however, that'll have to suffice. 
as well these tokens of home that we carry with us. These gifts to help us remember who we are and whence we came. Enough sentimentality. Let us return to the annex and rejoin our companions. So basically, I might actually, I, I genuinely mean this, I might actually switch over to a bunny man at some point during uh, Endwalker, but only if I can confirm the clip status of weapons, right? Uh, which basically means Crime Tools has to get updated. If Crime Tools gets updated... How late are we going to go tonight? Depends on my personal how I feel. I'll let you know. About ten minutes before I end the stream. But yeah, if anybody actually switched to a bunny man, uh, let me know how uh, your weapons and coats are clipping through your own legs. Sinister Broccoli, no issues at all? What class you playing? Look at all these fucking carbuncles. Because I tend to play the classes with, um, you know, the big weapons on the back. Right? I might be, you know, I might be able to just start a new character with a, a warrior and just see what it looks like. Enjoyed your time with the live ears, huh? Asked how the twins fared, but their new outfits tell the tale. Reaper sides have no problems. We can only hope we can help them to reconcile with their father so they might return home one day with their heads held high. In the meantime, we edge ever closer to the secret form strives to hide, and the thought of requeet to you by Hydaelyn is sure to get us going for Confident once you've scouted the low situation at Thavnir, we'll be equipped to plot our next move. Wow, I almost got a full level off of that. <sighs> Am I able to. Wait, hold on. Am I able to. Where would. There you are. Yeah, I'm concerned with the bottom of, like, the Dark Knight sword and the warrior thing clipping into the fucking bottom of the, uh... The bottom of my, um... Uh, uh, what do you call it? Coats. Unable to find it. However, did need somebody who claims to send it to Mournvale. Let's see if we can track it down. Sword scaled down pretty heavily. I don't really bother. That doesn't really bother me at all. Wow, this place rules. There can be no doubt these are Shaggle's footprints. Covered the specimen's trail. It should be close. If you find it under threat from the local fauna, you could kill them. Oh shit. What'll I do? Oh, these are actually, they got juice on them. Not that much juice. Oh, 
Aw, you're cute. So glad you're on home. Even though I'm not supposed to be down here. You're all safe now. Come on, let's go home, sweetie. Buffoon. The arcane is under threat. I must do something. Grr. You can talk? You can understand me? Wait, what? Can you... Can you not? Incredible. Never met anybody who could do that shit. Small little Joy was born in Labyrinthos. However, he's abandoned by his mom. It was quite the state when we found him. He possessed remarkable intelligence. We've elected to use him as part of studying the effects of growing up artificial environment. Seen him making gestures as he indicated he'd been reading the tomes here, but I never thought he was just copying those around him to think he actually understands speech. I do wonder exactly why you're able to understand him and I'm not. I'm kind of a big deal. Really? Oh. You possess the echo, don't you? Find it difficult to grow the way you kind of do, but I suppose it makes sense you understand my general sentiments. I haven't learned to set power from the tomes and the arcane. Honestly, that buffoon over there is surrounded by Stephen knowledge and he makes no effort to engage with it. Grr. And he's like, I love you. Hey, right? I'm glad I have something to talk to. As I was saying earlier, the Archaeon's in grave danger. Some gleaner managed to bring in woodworms in with them during a visit. If we leave them be, they're bound to cause irreparable damage to the materials. I tried my best to tell them, but it was no use. That's why I took a chance and went and searched my own kind to see if they would help. But you saw how that turned out. Well, what's he saying? You got worms, dude. Oh, dearie me. Not the worms. It's most courageous of him to try and solve the issue on his own. Now that we're aware of it, we need to sort this out at once. Would you mind helping out a little longer? You're the only buddy who can understand him. And he's pretty smart. I did it. You hear that victory shit? I did it. Aha! I, this is this has a thing, so I'm gonna start the quest and then leave. Now I'm gonna explain a few things. Staff of the Archons regularly use alchemic pesticides to keep the place free of harmful things. Unfortunately, the woodworm I found seems to be resistant to the type of pesticides. I skimmed a few tomes, including new Eorzean Geographic, but I couldn't identify the file kin. Guessing it must be a new species. I don't get very far if we don't know anything about it, so I went ahead and captured one. You can try showing it to somebody who knows more about this shit than me. All right. Oh my god. And goodbye. What the fuck is that? Sightseeing log. God damn. I can't believe I've been playing all day with no problem at all. Square Enix should be, and, and Creative Business Unit 3 should be genuinely very proud of all the work they've done on this launch. It's legitimately so impressive.
I know, right? Just don't get disconnected. Absolutely, there's going to be long queues. And you can occasionally crash out of those queues, and that's unavoidable. But the fact that once you're in, the experience, like, correctly work functions. Beg pardon, couldn't scatch, but who knows? The sightseeing log. Do you love sightseeing logs? Ah, yes. I'm Babbitt Ironheart, Millicent, and Caesar Explorer. Give me a sightseeing log. I'll give you more sightseeing logs. Do you want a sightseeing log? Here's a sightseeing log. That's pretty much all she said. Sightseeing log won't fill itself, bitch. Yes, I'm aware. I'm gonna take a quick break and uh, hit the shower. Um, and then I'll come back in 10, 15 minutes once I've cleaned my balls. And then I will uh, we'll get going to Thafnir. My ideal is that we uh, clear out these two starter areas and the first dungeon today. At, at least. But uh, that might be a bit ambitious. Who knows? Oh, baby Elmo snoring up there. He doing a baby Elmo. G-Sync, uh, fucks with this game. Right now, in E.T. is 5276. What does that, what does that fucking mean? What is right now in E.T.? Right now in E.T. it is... What? Please rewrite that in a way that makes sense. In the E.U. it is 5,276. How long does it take through to get through a 5,000 person queue? I'm genuinely curious. I assume that would be over an hour. Oh, you know what? Before I AFK, I'm gonna go to... the little house that we have. So that... I don't get... Oh, it's setting up the controller as it's as if it was a completely unique controller. That's weird. Well, it works. All right, guys, I'm going to take 10, maybe 15 total minutes. I'll be back shortly. And then we can uh, get back and go down to Thavnir, all right? I'll see you soon.
go. Go.
Let's go. Let's go.
let's go. Go. Bonjour. How long was I gone? I genuinely don't know. I took a shower, took the baby out, gave Paige a smooch, showed me her bubs. 10, 20. Well, I'm back and not logged out.
what rubber bands? Oh, yeah. yeah. I shouldn't leave the mail right there. Thanks for letting me none. Let me none? Thank you for letting me know. <laughs> Don't worry about it, babe. I'll take care of the mail later. Did I nut while I was away? No. But I did wash my butthole, which is a good, good place to start. <laughs> Elma, why are you sitting there? And why is the dog behind me? What is happening? I'm back in the habit. I'm Whoopi Goldberg. Ugh. Okay. What? And something. We are grateful to have it. Mm -hmm. Just tape the controller to Geef. I'd like to keep the controller in one piece, thank you. Yeah. Uh, hey, Kate. Kate. Kite. Kit. We'll figure it out in this cutscene. Well now, it's lost turn. I can't, Elmo, oh my god. Are my library bee books over, overdue? Have some Pizza Getty. <laughs> Not to my knowledge, we're associates of Kryle of the Students of Baldesian. See Pastor Thavner and understand that you know how to do that. Ah, the test subjects, welcome, welcome. Test subjects, great. What's wrong? Oh, you hadn't heard? Well, I'm gonna explain. So in order to travel to an Aetherite, you normally need to be attuned. Otherwise, you can't use it as a beacon to seek out what your message of Aether hurling along the live stream. An inconvenient but incontrovertible limitation of Aetherite teleportation. What if I would tell you there's a way to travel, light to, travel to an Aetherite without being attuned to it? A way to teleport instantly to places you've never been. Long years of labor to make such travel possible, and people might move about more freely. That's awesome. We've finally done it. We've created a new kind of Aetherite that doesn't require attunement. Really? That's actually super nuts. Well, language might be a bit misleading. The user need not attune to these Aetherites, but the Aetherites themselves must be pre-attuned to each other, thereby facilitating travel between two points. Just so happens our first pair of test pair, one's in Sherlane and the other's in a port town of Thavnir. You might know our nation loves Rads at Han. We owe much of this breakthrough to the contributions of their alchemists. So we're going to test it. How fortuitous for you. I should mention that an accident has impaired my ability to channel Aether. Would that be a problem? No, not at all. As a matter of fact, you might say these Aetherites were made for people like your good self. Magic's imbued will whisk you away without any effort on your part. Veritable dream come true. Far be it for me to worry about such things, but do you have permission to make use of your shiny new invention? The only permission required is yours. Assuming you're willing, we're all set. It comes as a surprise we actually struggle to find test subjects. Most people seem to have an unreasonable fear of uh, their souls gradually disintegrating as they drift helplessly in the live stream in the statistical unlikely event that something goes awry. But it's plain that you aren't most people. Hey, hey. Kral truly knows how to pick them. Oh, uh, we're gonna be... We're gonna be Barkley. We're gonna be Lieutenant Broccoli. I might change the subject. Are Master Wilson and Mistress Blowida that's 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 their goddamn. Ro Rogatin names are a goddamn nightmare. They're a consonant battle. Uh, Blow Wida. I mean, you look at the fucking. I don't know how to fucking spell this shit. Yeah. You. It's you. It's definitely you. Oh, I meant like wider. That's yeah. No, like wide, like wider. Oh no. Oh, your accent made it unclear. Everyone has an accent. Oh. Only Americans would say that they don't have a ma oh, an accent. Oh, you didn't hear? They recently uh, resigned their posts. Their expertise is needed elsewhere. 
Large scale project held by the form itself, as I understand. But I'm not privy to the deets. I see. You're standing next to me, Ed Vena? <laughs> Any other questions? No? Let's get going before you change your minds. Please see your prep outside. I'll be along shortly. She's an engineer that's going to teleport us. I met her three minutes ago. Just stop touching anything, Paige. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just want to walk across the room, for God's sake. Here's the part that I don't get. Oh, so Paige, wouldn't you be personally interested in not tripping for your own sake? Just, there's so many fucking wires in this room. You didn't complain when you used to sit down here and stream down here. Yes, I did. Don't worry, you didn't, you didn't even unplug it. No. You didn't even unplug it with your, with your lack of accent. What is going on with my frame rate? We'll have to fix that once we get to... Uh... Uh... Thavner. Did, does Pages the stream? I don't even know what you're trying to ask on that. Are you doing alright, honey? You seem out of sorts today. Just get yourself a McDonald's, Paige. Okay. Don't get yourself a McDonald's. Right. Rule set. Yeah, now you want it. Just the four of you, was it? What's he Three. staring at you I'm like already a crazy attuned dog. to the crystal in Thavnir. Like, look, he's just staring right at... Both of them are! Both animals are just staring right at Paige. Like she's food. Like she is the food. You are? Oh. I would have preferred more test subjects. Oh, well, never mind. If our three travelers could line up here, please. No, Sniffy, I have not been to the moon yet. That would be ridiculous. I don't know about yes, this. Right there is fine. Take a deep breath, and I'll soon have you soaring through the ether. Okay. Oh, and one last thing. You might experience a teensy weensy touch of violent ethereal <sighs> sickness. Good luck. Teensy weensy. What? Teensy weensy bit of violent sickness. <laughs> Age, I think you've dropped like almost everything I've seen today other than the plates of food that you made earlier. I JRPGs have three plot Far twists, says Treasure Vault. To city -state Time travel, to go to the moon, and kill God. Rising from the southeast <laughs> waters of the Bounty, this Isle of Plenty served as the battleground for a conflict between two peoples. Oh, jeez. Their cultures bled nice. into one another Get until a unique amalgamation was distilled from the chaos in a process not unlike their precious alchemy. Once solidified as a single nation, an adamant stance of neutrality would hold invaders at bay. For the time. What the? 
Now across this vibrant isle what creeps what? a fog of malice. What choice do you have? What chance? Zangy, set. Against such an insidious foe. Oh, my God. Oh, we got the shits. We're hung over, boys. Seen fairer faces after a bout of bad shellfish. Let me bring you something to drink. That should help settle your bellies. Man, we're fucked. We're fucked out here, man. There was a note with Kryle's instructions. Don't let Estinian roam the markets alone. He's alarmingly bad with coin. Fuck. I can do it. I can stop him waste all the money. Will I be able to get to Estinian in time before he wastes all our money? Over Ooh, what a pretty aetherite. Fuck. He's gonna buy Fuji water? Oh my god. Yeah, look at all these people. Oh, that's great. Four. Need three drinks, something that helps with aether sickness. By the news of Traveler, uh, greetings. Greetings and welcome. You're wise. My special armor lassi made with only the finest and freshest ingredients. Fame for calling unruly bellies. 19,800 gil for not one, not two, but three bottles. A bargain amongst bargains. Hmm. Price of highway high road robbery, and you want to say as much to the city, but you realize any words warning you to cry out would be accompanied by your last meal. You must deny it. I must deny Estinian, no. What do you need to tell me that's so urgent? Don't buy that shit. Right, I shouldn't buy the last one. The merchant is swindling me. Ah. Period of my price is confused. It's actually 1,890 gil for three bottles. The confusion would have been costly for both of us. Farewell then. Bottle for each of you. Estinian's a fucking idiot. All this dude knows how to do is kill dragons and not kiss boys. No, he doesn't lie. Fuck. Yeah, and jump. He's probably the head of the fucking Ishgardian basketball team. Oh, fuck. I'm super sick, dude. I didn't think that the start of the apocalypse would have a segment in which I'm hanging out with all the bros in the party, running around trying not to barf on the ground. But you know how it is. Ariange, I got you this drink. Uh, 
Ah, helping him out. Thancred, I got this for you. Sweet release. You haven't already? You should have yours, too. We did it. Right, ready to get on with it. Lassie truly worked wonders. Back on your feet, I see. Thy hair? Hey, He's got the new hair! Hey, Yeah, that's where you got the cord for it. Local vendor. Man th said it's tough. Thavnerian weave, tough and not easily unraveled. How much did it cost? 9,400 gil. A steal, I was told. Nothing fancy, but I've always valued function over form. That's incredible. They're saying not even Alphano could hold a candle to you. It's not nuts for, you know, merchants to put their prices high, but isn't that nuts? Like, super nuts? Doth seem excessive. Unusually slow. Claiming Thavnaris' dominion, the nation of Ratatan as long as thrives as a hub of commerce. In the beginning, there were the... Arkasodara, a Matanga tribe indigenous to this island. Over time, they came to be joined by other races and other intermingling, a culture rich and distinctive emerged. From alchemy to textiles, the products of Hanish culture have come to be celebrated and coveted the world over. Development only aided by the nation's prime location as a waypoint between east and west. All of this hath combined to make a trading power of Radatan. Yet, such a status cannot be taken for granted. Nay, it must needs be maintained through judicious governance and stringent regulation. Neither of which I see of any evidence, given the merchants of the gateway town are free to fleece hapless travelers and tarnish the reputation of the nation at large. Just so. That opportunistic pricing is rampant, doth suggest that oversight is much weakened, and may have the people have fallen upon hard times. Whatever the truth may be, it would be prudent to ascertain the current state of affairs that prudent and practical eye, not to lose by learning more. So here we seek out Kra's acquaintance. Shall we see what information we can gather here in Yedlamad? Excellent. We didn't exactly get off to a flying star, but we'll make it up for it. I just gained a fucking level. Fuck yeah, what do I get at 82? Blood wedding. Yeah, dude. You never worn your hair like this. Let's split up. I get the pier. Regroup by the Aetherites. Wow, the um, final version of Rats at Hen's areas look way, way better in more subdued lighting, in finished lighting. Wow, that thing is close as shit. Hey Paige, you closed off everything upstairs, right? Yeah, he likes, he's hitting his box. What a dumbass. I think he has a box that he likes to headbutt when he's pissed off. He thinks we care. We do not. Hey, gemstone trader. What do you got? Some bullshit. Excellent. Is 
It's still really bizarre to me that uh, the shared fate thing does not show up for here. Probably have to do a fate. Crate of fruit. Don't mind if I do. Nailed it. Huh. Laden with fruits, but they're on the verge of spoiling. Come on. <sighs> Gazing out from the pier, you spy boats moored off nearby isles with the silhouettes of larger seafaring face vessels further away. Compared to other ports you visited, there appears to be very little activity. Elmo, Elmo, what do you do? Elmo, I love you. I love you. Somebody call Wooly, he loves spoiled food. He does love spoiled food. It's true. I've never seen somebody so confidently eat a multiple day old cheese product that was left out at room temperature. Hey man, what up? What am I doing? I'll record my sales. Still do it out of daily habit. I don't know why I bother. Don't sell anything these days. Businesses has never been this shit. But as most things could be even worse. I could have a consortium to keep a boat like Causal. Don't envy his position. Better be alone with my little shit that I've come to realize. You're a traveler, right? If you have a moment, perhaps you could pay him a visit. He'd be glad for tidings from Barad. Like it's not, you'll find him in Saltwind Sail, a harbor guild building across the water from here. Where is the fourth one? Oh, what a nice boat. What a nice boat. Well, if it isn't now, Traveler, you're a rare sight in these unsettled times. People have been giving us this is a crystal tower. Oh, hey, Vel. Yep. Suddenly appeared on Nuranair. Just stood there and looted ominously. Perhaps things would be fine after fashion, but no. Had spawn fell fiends as well. Solve our lives thank you to the radiant house, but good business as good as the dead. Will become us the only gods now. Where'd he go? Yeah, that's a level 80 scholar. Complete fucking freak. Total psychopath. Yeah, Sage. I meant Sage. Big flexing. Hey, Vel. What up, man? <laughs> Dumbasses aren't coming. We already have everything they ordered. What are they supposed to do with it? I don't know, but yelling at me ain't gonna help. All I know is their plans have changed, and that's that. Look, you must have known this might happen. Empire's at war with itself, and the provinces are in chaos. And there's that fucking tower sitting on our door sp sp spitting out monstrosities. The towers are actively spitting out bullshit already? Can't blame foreigners for not wanting to take the risk. God, this will be an enormous loss. All right, all right. Forget about the dumbass. Surely some ships are coming. Have fresh produce, handicrafts, medicines, all the perennial Hainish favorites. And so works closely with merchants and artisans to supply only the finest wares. Quality is guaranteed. Porp, are you sitting on the dungeon waiting for me? I hope not, because, man, I got, like, I'm taking forever. Which is why I got, I got nothing for you. All voyages, not for me, haha. <laughs> I uh, would probably build. All voyages have been cancelled or indefinitely postponed. Though I would love your help on that dungeon. When I get to it, actually. And you are. Foreigner, huh? Are you merchant? Please tell me you're a merchant. I mean... Sometimes? Sorry, but we're discussing important shit. If you need something, please talk to one of the others. 
Uh, excuse me. My name is Mats Matsya. I'm here to see Kalza. Oh, it seems busy. I'll come back later then. No, bad guy says I'll be genuinely surprised if you reach that dungeon today. I'll take that bet. Motherfucker. Oh, look at that. Bitch, go. Goddamn. Yes, can I help you? These elephant dudes are fucking ripped. I remember seeing you back at the guild. You wanted to speak with Kozel too, didn't you? I'm a fisherman. Nearby village. He came to sell my catch to offer some foreign merchants, but he hasn't bought anything for a while now. When I heard the consortium had been struggling, I became worried and decided to come see him. As soon as he's free, anyway. He's a hardworking guy. I don't want to disturb him. Dude, you seem nice. I like you. If I ask, what is it that you do? Smash shit. Adventurer, you travel the world helping people? That must mean you're great at dealing with strangers. Please, won't you teach me to be like you? I see I've brought some fresh fish, the portion I couldn't preserve. I want to sell them. Problem, I'm terrible with people. I've only dealt with causal, and I can't talk to customers without getting my trunk in a twist. So please, as silly as you may sound, will you not peddle the fish in my stead and show me how it's done? I'll peddle this fucking fish. I'll peddle the fucking shit out of it. The events to follow can't be fucking skipped. Damn. Can't skip this shit, it's too hot. 3 people. Oh, we're going to hang out with Matsya. Cool, man. Fucking rad. Oh, there's a guy over there. Got to get that Cromer. Fuck. He almost died. Whoa. Hey, Marina. Do you want some fucking fish, bruh? Yes. Fish! I got fucking fish here. Fresh fish. You got some sea fish? You want some? Fi you want it in your mouth? Get some fish. Uh, sure. Your bosom fish are very fresh, but this is rather sudden. I don't need any fish right now. Never mind. I'm sure you'll do better next time. Fuck. I tried, dude. Wow, that fucking tower is right there. God damn. It's also firing out a different color than all the other ones. It's not as dark a red. It's more of a lavender. Hey, Nasreen. Hawker, sell fruit? Oh, my armor. Let's say it doesn't. I don't need to be export quality. What do you need so many armor for? Why, for eating? Might seem like a lot, but of late I go through that much in no time at all. Stock taker by trade, with no vessels coming, the wares are beginning to pile up. By the same token, nothing's coming in from overseas. Not a day goes by that somebody doesn't come asking when the next shipment's arriving for this or for that. All what wears me down, I find myself feeling constantly hungry. Are you sure you're actually hungry? You know, when I think of it, I'm not sure. Rather than being hungry, man, I'm just unfulfilled. And I try to fill the void by gorging on food I like. Do you like fish? Fish is, I do like it, as a matter of fact. Why do you ask? Oh, you're fishmonger. Apologies for the misunderstanding. Well, seeing as you're here, do you have any Akiali sardine? They're perfect in a spicy soup. We certainly do. If you like a spicy, I recommend them pickled in oil with a generous amount of chilies. That does sound like a wonderful challenge. I didn't have fish in mind at first, but I guess I'll enjoy these. Thank you. 
Sale made. Fish sold. Thank you. Don't lick my foot, please. Paige. Can I have another piece of cheese? Can I have... Are you alright? Oh, okay. Paige's gonna give cheese. Find yourself a lady who'll give you a piece of cheese. Yay. Thanks, babe. Appreciate it. Mmm. Cheese. Now, in a few seconds, I'm gonna have to fight the dog. But that's worth it. He didn't notice. She just sent out a statement saying they're experiencing the highest server congestion this game has ever had. Yeah, I'm not fucking surprised. Fuck. Anything of note in that uh, statement other than servers are fucky? And or wucky? Don't mind, I'm rather busy. Oh, I'm the stomach. Oh. Ate the sickness? No, no, no. I'm hurting back. I just ate a little too quickly. You should, you should take it easier. Eat more slowly and savor your food. Would that I could, but I can't afford to be idle. Like it or not, circumstances will surely get worse before they get any better. So I'm working as hard. I can, well, I still can, the better to be prepared. You know, I actually kind of want to read that thing about server congestion. I'll read it after this. Uh... How do you intend to prepare? I stockpiling supplies. For that, I need to earn coins so I can buy food, medicine, what have you. How about some fish? They're fresh caught. Well, fish wouldn't be bad, but I don't want to go through the hassle of preserving them. I'd rather buy stuff that's ready to store. I'm afraid I'll have to pass on your fish. Don't excuse me. I must be getting back to work. Oh. Too bad we couldn't make a s sale. Oh. Does anybody have a link to the, the server congestion thing? You know, be on the lodestone. What am I fucking doing? I should just go to the lodestone. Lodestone? It's a Matanga. It's an elephant man. Current known issues and status. Uh, oh, here we go. Regarding the server congestion status on December 3rd. Since the start of Early Access on D December 3rd, we have been experiencing the highest level of server congestion since the start of Final Fantasy XIV's official service. And there's severe congestion on all worlds. Due to this congestion, player numbers on every world are at login capacity, and there is a high probability of experience- Paid your jewelry. And there's a high probability of waiting extended wait times while logging in. The login queues are stable. And although they may be appear to move slowly or the countdown numbers may not seem to progress, we have confirmed that the queue is in fact steadily moving forward as intended. Login will incur an order, so we kindly ask that you wait until you're logged in. 
Canceling once you're already in the logging queue will put you back at the end of the line, so be aware. In addition, we are recently published topics regarding congestion during Endwalker's launch. We continue to monitor the shenanigans. Here's the current status. You can't... Zangi! Hey! He's eating, like, uh, pajamas? No big deal on that one. Boop. Oh, it's that backpack that he's always trying to eat. Tell you what, I'm gonna do my best not to fucking log out. It's like when you're trying to hold your poop in. Don't log out. What's the same mistake you did, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Space Captain? Oh, did you log- Darius, did you log out? Zangief, get away from there. Come here. Hey, come here. Thank you so much for showing me. You took a nap? Yeah. yeah. Zangy! He's hanging, he's, he's sniffing around the back of the computer. Uh -oh. Literally the last place in the world I want to sniff him out. He can't jump down Why are you so stupid? Come on, get out of there, get out of there. Oh no! He's gonna get my water! No! No, Zangy! No! This is not your stream, it's my stream. Thank you. Listen. This is not your show. Okay. Thank you. Come here. Come here. It's not your show. It's my show. It's my show. Get out of here. Oh! What are you giving me these eyes for? You're dumb. Saying if you're a dumb boy. This is my spot. Zangy. Come on. It's my spot. Come on. Get out of here, come on. Get out of here. Come here. Get Don't skip the cutscenes, buddy. <laughs> I love you, stupid idiot. Give me it. Come on. Give me it. Give me the toy. What? You bring me the toy to play with you? And you don't want to give me the toy? Is that how it is? He's off to play, play in the heist of the century. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> You managed to sell to one of the three people you approached. It was difficult, but when you put your mind to it, you succeeded. Though you did fail too, but there are lessons to be learned. By applying yours, I'll endeavor to become a better peddler. I nailed it. Still saw only so much I could do alone. I hope that things return to normal for causal too soon. Not a familiar voice, uh, but who should it be but Matsya? Have you finished your business at the guild? So you were there too. Forgive me, try as I might, can't find any buyers. 
No ships coming in and hardly any going out. There's no options at this rate. Can't buy my fish anymore, buddy. Sorry, man. It's truly in. For now, you gotta pedal your own shit. But I can't. Ah! I want to help you, I do, but as it stands, I can barely help myself. I poured up my all into this consortium, and I'll be damned if I let it fall apart. Ow, dude! You're so heavy! Tell me a secret. Uh, poured my all into the consortium, but I'll be damned if I let it fall apart. Have I got friends? And families depending on me, and I can't and won't fail them. This is my witness. How much does Zangief weigh? Enough to knock Paige and me over if he wants to. <laughs> uh, I think he's like 71 pounds or 72 pounds. It's like the size of a 10 year old. But like, in the amount of space a Shih Tzu would take place. Not to worry. Using what I learned from you, I sure I'll manage somehow. Well, best return to the village. My thanks again. Please take care on the road. So to those of you who are having frustrations with logging in, let me tell you right now. Tomorrow night is going to be the absolute worst time for the entirety of this game's history. After that, it'll be considerably smoother sailing from there on. But tomorrow night is going to be like, if you're not logged in in the early afternoon, fucking don't even bother. Managed to learn a tidbit or two? Yeah, trade is fucked. Whee! Yeah, towers affecting local livelihoods. For another notable discovery, disappearances and kidnappings have become commonplace. As before, the uh, culprits are certainly tempered imperial soldiers. As before, they mean to use the faith of their hapless thralls to call forth the Lunar Primal. Business as usual for the Telephone War. Bork, bork. Borky. E Borkin. Whee! What a weird minion. Hey, Ogle. Stepchild. Why are there Matanga everywhere? Has the town fallen? Wow, calm down, you fucking racist. Oh, wait, the Matanga in her, in the Asm Step are assholes. That's true. Yes, I fought for the Mole and the Nadam. Yes, that's me. Ogle of the Kadian. This is your bravery and skill which inspired me to embark upon my own hero's journey. Yet I now foolishly blundered into a den Matanga. Why do these others walk without fear? Do they not care if they are slaughtered? They're not like the ones on the Asm Step, girl. Do not doubt your word. Grandma would always warn me. You encounter Matanga, turn tail and flee. As fast and far as you can. Her tails were awful and bloody until the very sight of them. It terrorizes unbidden. No, I cannot stay here. I must earn enough coin to buy passage from this nightmare island as soon as possible. I beg of you, stay at my side for a time. Just until I meet with this Kenkana person the sailors have told me about. She's said to have worked the pairs of fair wage, so I see what she has for me. It's obviously Matanga. It's obviously an elf person. Hello. Just go. Arr. He's doing his ugly face right now. You guys see the ugly? You doing an ugly face? Thank you. You doing your ugly face? Thank you. Hey, you want to look? You want to look at my rubber band? No, you cannot have the rubber band. What if I do this? Look at his tongue. Look at his tongue. Boop. And uh, are you doing your ugly face too? Yeah. Thanks. Oh my god. He hey Paige, I've discovered something. He loves rubber bands.
Don't run away. I want to hug you. Aha! Hee hee hee. Hee hee hee. Ha You know, I still vividly, vividly remember, like, the first time we ever showed him off. And I gave him a smooch. And someone was like, I can't believe you kissed your dog in the face. That's so gross. And I'm like, give me this kiss. Give me a... Ah. Yeah, it's true. He's a good boy. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Ah. Okay, he wants to leave now. Okay, bye-bye. Oh, he doesn't want to leave. He just wants my... Wants my rubber band. Ew. No, you may not. I mean, thank you. Hey, dude. I can't even get my controller with you there. Come on, sit down. Sit. Good boy. Alright. Yeah, I love you. Yeah. Look at Spiffy. Thanks, man. Oh, Legend of Father of Giants is a really good qu question. Why do you have two big buttons above your crossbar? Are they just for cooldowns? Or do you use it to hit them? Were you able to map that to your controller? Those are specifically for the two buttons that I want to always know the cooldowns for, importantly. This is Raw Intuition. It'll become Blood Wedding. It's the single most important defensive cooldown I have, and I can use it quite often, so I want to be very aware of exactly when it runs out. And this is Primal Rend, which I want the ability to know when it's ready, in case I forget, or I have to move for a thing, etc. I do that with all my classes. Like, if I switch to Paladin, right? Like, Hallowed Ground is there, and Sheltron is there, for example. Right? In fact, I should... Thank you for reminding me. Have Holmgang there instead. Thank you. The Dust Mother, nobody told me Kankana was a Matanga. Could I ask you to speak to her in my stead? Matanga rule. Welcome to Yelamad, Traveler. I'm Kankana. That's my job to assign the right work to the right workers. Could I have your name? Yo, I'm Pat. Uh. Patron and Ogle, was it? Let me jot those down. Oh, Grandmother, why? Why'd I have to be Matanga? This is some outrageous racism. Like, wow. Is she alright? Nah, she's just quaking with racist fear. Ah, oh, an understandable reaction. The Gajasura tribe have done much to stain the reputation of our people. You are looking for work, though, right? My Many have been forced to take what they can get since troubles began, so I'm afraid all simple jobs are gone. As for what's left, I only have tasks fit for seasoned fighters. Does that sound something like you could do? Fighting? I can fight, unless you doubt my skill is likened to that of the Dragonbane, the legendary Chakazo herself. I don't know who the fuck that is. Why don't we start you out on escort duty then? A group of artisans set out to harvest materials, and I ask that they send prospective prospectors, sorry, protectors, their way should I happen to enlist any. What? They already set off? Is our duty not to escort them? There's uh, to be a ritual dance performed in Katya's footsteps. They'll need incense and costumes for the dancers. The entire thing was decided rather suddenly, so there's no time to waste. Hmm. Uh, these artisans, they also include Matanga in their number? Uh, it was, uh, Arka Sadara who submitted their quest. I hope that won't be a problem. Oh, not at all. I look forward to fainting at the feet of my most feared enemy. Pat, I can't do this alone. Help me out, man. I'm like, yeah, okay. You stupid bitch. Artisans didn't plan to venture far. Leave Yedlam out of the west, and you should... What? I called her a stupid bitch. Why? She's an outrageous racist. She's quake. She's quaking with racist elephant fear. Oh, yeah, fuck her. <laughs> Literally shaking in her boots because an elephant talked to her. Oh, well, 
Well, she's literally telling us, if you see a Matanga, you run away because they're evil. Oh, that's... Yeah, but granted, the ones in the a nice. the ones in the Asm Steppe, where she's from, are universally enemies. You can't talk to them. Oh, well, he seems very nice. Big boy. Pretty sure that's a lady, but you can't quite tell. They're not, they're not dimorphous. Oh. All right, you know a lot of... Well, that doesn't make sense, because, like, female elephants have, like, big swinging tails. Is that true? Oh, yeah, when they're... When they're Well, I'm not going to look at that. You, no. You no. Pull it up no, I'm good, honey. I can just it to you. You, ever, you ever use a, a rubber band for something, and then you just start doing like this shit all the time? Because you're like, I have a rubber band now. Like you cat scream. Like you're like, ha ha. No. All right. Only bad people. <laughs> yeah, in middle school. Go to hell, Salvari. I went to... I didn't go to middle school, actually. So, I did not go to middle school. No. Oh, you would just say Jeff. Ooh. What? You call Sejep? You think Sejep is middle school? I don't know. Because with your, your stupid high school names, what, what, is, what is middle school? No. Like? Nothing. You it doesn't exist. So it's still elementary school? It's elementary school from 1 to 6, and then high school from 7 to 11. 7? Yep. 7th grade is high school? Yep. Jesus. Which is brutal. Wait, because so you're hanging out. Seventeen year olds. Oh god. Oh that's 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 cruel. Yeah, dude. It's guys, totally brutal. Because you guys are just like coming into puberty and getting all smelly and stuff, and they've got it mo like, more figured out than you have. Yeah. That's me. And they're huge. Yeah. And they're gigantic. That sucks. Yeah. That sucks. And Sejep is uh what's what's going on? Oh, Elma Barfin. It's gonna be a big pile of hair, I tell you what. Hey guys, we'll be right back. Hey guys, uh, Elmo barfed way more than we thought, uh, so I had to help Paige clean it up because it was gross. He decided to throw up a really, really big pile of hair. 
and then drag some of it onto the carpet. It is currently fine, unless I missed a spot, which Paige will find with her foot at some point. Cool. Yeah, well. All right. Let's go pick up the main story quest before we uh, head out, because it might, you know. Um, is Elmo fine? Yeah, Elmo's fine. House of Divinities? That's how you, the Matsu fellow you were helping. He's Arkasadara, is he not? Apparently, it is exclusively his people being kidnapped. Should we be traveling alone? Summoning is the perpetrator's name. It does stand reason that Arca Sadara would be their primary targets. For it is the faith of their ancestors with prevail within this land, and many are devout adherents still. We better go get him. Lies to the west, same direction as Quas acquaintance, incidentally. It's settled then. Keep your eyes peeled, fuckers. I have so many Geishel Greens. That shit is evil, man. Hey, Master Artisan. You must be our belated escort, yeah? That's me. That have such courageous says. Your companion, not well? She seems shaky. <laughs> Pardon? Of course. I should have thought of it before. I shall harvest the necessary ingredients while the artisan Ar 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 stays here. That way I have no need to fear him being harmed. Perfect. I must say, this is less than ideal. Like people are already scattered across the wilds. I want somebody to roam about, see they were safe from attack. Is your friend perhaps frightened by Arcasodara? I met such travelers before. Well, no matter. You can portray all the areas I ask. I must attend to my own harvesting. Uh, pardon uh, that um, I have the hiccupies. Very bad. Uh, they become loud and scary. When I hiccup. You dick up. Oh, I'm not going to be able to find that. <sighs> Hold your breath and swallow three times. I'll give it a shot, Pat in the hat. Hey, it's a fate! No, it's not. It's a wound, Argagabora. Ooh, this one actually has a health. Boom, and clams. You know, I'll help this guy out. Help. You must think me foolish. I was so absorbed in my task that I failed to notice the ground shaking. Still, my injuries are light, my satchel's full. Thank you. I can get back to town and meet the others. Fuck you, man. What happened? Did you slay the beast? Oh my fucking god. Point your fucking guys away, you stupid idiots. Did you slay the beast? Yeah. It was a near thing. It took the first one by surprise, but the second. Knowing my tongue stood in my back, my mind froze, and my body refused. Grandmother taught that we should let fear wash over us like water, but to my shame, I could not have failed her more thoroughly. Not to sound grateful. Why'd you follow me? 
Because I knew you suck shit. We're gonna patrol? Forgive me. I should have waited for orders instead of running off alone. Come, we should return to our employer. Yeah, you should. You're doing a bad job, Ogle. A colleague told me of his rescue, although we'd hoped for an escort from the start. Imagine if you hadn't come at all. Sent him and the others back to the workshop to consider, consider your duty with us complete. You have my thanks. As for your payment, you can collect that from Kankana. I suppose. By the way, when you do these quests and they ever have a uh, picture when you talk to the person about the quest, make sure to do that whole quest chain. It always gives you a minion or an emote or something. And on top of that, they're the required quests for a beast tribe later or some kind of raid thing. Oh, there we go. Good job. <laughs> Pardon. Death of an artisan would have fucked that shit up. So there you go. So, for example, there's a Tonga. Ready to tackle another job? This one was registered by local fishermen. From Marauding mar uh, Monsters. Another Matanga? Yeah, a Matanga, you fucking bitch. Goddamn. We'll go speak with him. There we go. Oh! This is split both this and Labyrinthos are split zones. Interesting. That's fascinating. Not see what's not see nearby. The elevated ground head might help out. Oh yeah, Shadowbringers had Lakeland. Well, Lakeland wasn't split, but our meringue was. Calusia was though. Hey, kid, kid. Hey, buddy. I love you. You don't see him from here either. Help me, somebody! They're gonna turn me into a battery! They're gonna fuck my shit up, fam! Help me, I don't want to become the Elephant Matrix. Killed it for the other guy. Love you, Emma. Boop, 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 boop. Where'd they go? Why are you here? I see you found him. I did. I did find him. You and your friends came to look for me? I don't know how to thank you. On my way home, I took a moment to stop and rest, thinking about what to do and, well, everything. And then those men came. They came all over me, everywhere, even in my trunk. I regret this. Kidnappers! We'd heard the, the Arca Sadara were being targeted. Surely you have as well. Perhaps it's best you took refuge in the city. We've considered it, but fishing's all we know. The ocean's all we got. See, well, it's your decision to make, but you should take care of not to travel alone. That is so outrageously evil in the background. Holy fuck. Question, if all I'm 
Tis our understanding that strange fiends have emerged from that tower. What canst thou tell us of its thou be the beings? Not much, I'm afraid. I have no idea what they are. But I've heard some barren unsettling resemblance to our divinities. For that reason, some have taken to calling a tower Zot. The house of divinities in the old tongues, it means. That's the dungeon. But they're not true divinities. These, they're monstrous imitations that bring only death. To have one's face so twisted is a grievous indignity. And full justified art thou in thine outrage. Know that tis for no other purpose but to neutralize the tower that we have journeyed to this land. In time we may be forced to contend with these false gods. And thus we would learn all we may about them. Wilt thou now tell us of thy divinities and their true nature? Come all this way to save us? Really? I think I had you pellet and fish. To answer your question, yes, of course. I'll gladly tell you about our gods. We, I say, because I'm a terrible storyteller and I'd ask my fellow villagers to do it. So please come to the village. We're good, gods fearing folk, all of us. And we'd be honored to share our knowledge. And fish! What sayest thou? Shall we play a visit to Akiali? Yeah, let's do it. I like these elephant guys. Wonderful. Just follow the road west and down the hill. Can't miss it. Do you remember how in Shadowbringers... Um, the, the world started off bathed in light, and then you turned it normal. I have a sneaking suspicion that upon the beginning of the final days, the skybox in literally every single fucking zone in the game is going to get completely fucking fucked. So it is the simulacra of Thavnarian gods that are being summoned, if any doubt existed before. There can be none now. The kidnapped Hanish are imprisoned in the tower. Pray that we could be able to save them. I bet they're all going to die, but we'll try. Though, indeed, saving them will mean confronting their false gods like it's not. I, as you said, will do better to study their religious traditions to Akiali. To Akiali. Off we go. It's right over here. Aha. Directly to the south. You can't catch me, you dumb shit. Wow, that tower is really close. Am I gonna enter into the fucking level 81 dungeon at level 82? Feels that way. Hey gang, I made it. Oh, what a nice little town. So is Ratzet Han a fucking, like... A three aetherite stamp. Welcome to Kiali, my friend. The name means White Beach, and there isn't much here save that, but please make yourself at home. Your companions are already talking to everybody. Show yourself around and do the same. Any one of us can tell you about our gods, but you can do worse than start with Kanga and old Hasfiata. They're free at the moment as it happens. Hey, Kanga! What you know about our gods? What a curious visitor. Most want fish. In any case, I'm happy to oblige. Now, I don't know where you guys hail, but our home, our isle is home to many gods. They can be divided in two groups. The Manias, Manasya, beings of wisdom, who assume the form of men. And Mirga, beings of might, who assume the form of beasts. That's anima. Together, they are divinities. Their forms and personalities many and varied. Some are kind and gentle, some others stern and temperamental. Just like we mortals can be. All are possessed of great insight and experience, and by heeding their teachings, we strive to be better people and live better lives. Interested in learning about our gods? Cool. Ancient times, the Manasya and the Merga, deities who look like men and beasts respectively, were locked in conflict. Eventually, seeking the wisdom of the Manasya, the Murga cast aside their own heads and took up those of their foes. Likewise, the Manasya coveted the might of the Murga, and so they too resolved to trade heads. 
Thus were born new gods, possessed of both might and wisdom. They ushered in an age of harmony between the two factions. And then on, in a sign of their esteem from one another, Manasya have worn animal faces, and Mirga the limbs of men. That's a cool divinity. There you are. Learned a thing or two, huh? I did. While you're off talking to the others, I remember something that might be of interest. If you could let your friends know, I'll go and fetch it from my home at once. Apologies for the wait. I wish to show you this hanging scroll which depicts our three most revered deities. Oh, it's going to be the Mage Sisters. Well, sure enough. They're Manasya. Have you heard about them already? Yes, three sisters. Center one is the eldest. Sindurva, goddess of wisdom. From this alchemist hold her in the highest. To her right is the middle sister, Sundurva. A goddess of wealth. She counts the many traitors among her followers. On the left is Mindruva, the youngest sibling. She presides over the crafts, and so is beloved by weavers. Although each is worshipped for different reasons, the sisters are usually portrayed together in these works, which pe keep people in their homes for good fortune. In like fashion to the Manasya, the deities of Eorzea preside over myriad aspects of life. And what are the Merga, if I may ask? Merga hold power over nature. In ages past, they were revered as guardian deities in times of conflict. If you have occasion to visit our temple in ruins, you find their images there. Among them is a god who possesses a gaja's head, and is, he is venerated as the progenitor of the Arkasadara. And then there are dragons. Stri okay, dragons are here. You guys worship dragons too? It said that an ancestor of the Satrap, that's the ruler of town. Forged a covenant with the dragon divinity in ancient times. The divinity has since acted as the guardian deity of the Satrap. Legend holds that if ever the Satrap is in need, his dragon ally will fly to his aid. Dragon ally, huh? You claim to be a terrible storyteller, but you fucking rock, dude. The passion you bear for your faith is plain to hear. I'm confident that the information you've given us will serve us well in our efforts to deal with that tower. It's very kind to say. Thank you. I'll pray for your success. Thanks, bro. Right. Let's find Kra's acquaintance. It's Nidhana. According to her notes, she's at the Great Work, further along the coast. I like the idea of the Great Work, whatever it is. It's like some grand uh, task that's greater than oneself and greater than even one's culture. Like the Statue of Liberty is a Great Work. It's ridiculous. It's so fucking gigantic. You say you're going to Nidhana? Oh, how I am to you. She's beautiful and... Brilliant and beautiful. Kind of understanding. She say she's beautiful? I can stare at her dainty ears and adorable trunk all day. And those eyes. When you meet her, take care you don't drown in them. Alright, well, we will definitely see if they're sexually dimorphous now. I bet they're not. I bet they look completely identical to us. The Aura sexual dimorphism sucks, dude. Like, the original version of, like, the Aura females are, like, like, beast women. Man, I really am appreciating the amount of setup we're going through and how much it was obviously designed to deal with Ravon's wall that is a beautiful aetherite which I'm going to attune to before talking to the alchemist Oh, this looks like, uh, like kind of an Indian Mordona. Yeah, 
Isn't it just a normal one? I don't know. I find the color in the center a little more brilliant than usual. Hey, Alchemist. You look like shit. The crowd hid this from me. What happened here? Their dress marks them as alchemists. I see no evidence of injury or poison. Thinkest thou they but slumber? I believe so. Whether it is by choice is another question entirely. Oh, we have guests. You must excuse the poor welcome. Long days and longer nights have taken their toll, as you can see. Oh, they're just exhausted? I am Bashan, servant to the Satrap. My task was, in fact, to wake these good men and women, if you will allow. People of the great work, I come bearing new scales. Mm. Scales? We have new scales? Yes, my friends. Gather round. I have them right here. Now I can continue my experiment. Many thanks. One for me. Nerds. Those are dragon scales. Yup. Yes, such materials are. Where are you guys getting dragon scales? Research. And we are fortunate to have them. Our experiments are so close to bearing fruit. Soon we will have a talisman capable of nullifying the etheric emissions from that accursed tower. Yo! D did I say something wrong? Are you not here with Varshan? Wait, who are you people? So. Of course! You're the one Kryl sent. The warrior of light we've been waiting for. Dude, I love her accent. I love what's going on here. These elven people rule. Ah, oh, this is a day of celebration. Praise be to Cinderova. The winds have shifted. I feel it. The end to our toil is near. I feel it too. My head hasn't been this clear in days. Tell me, how did you acquire those scales? Also, it's interesting because like, in a lot of places, we're foreigners because we're traveling characters, uh, especially with the first. But this is the first place I could think of. It's like, man, we are, we do not belong. This is a totally different culture. Curious that it concerns you so. But worry not. They were freely given by the dragon with whom our satrap has forged a lawful pact. This is pronounced sat. Triap with like a, a Y. That is well. You must be quite familiar with Dragon King, yes? Oh fuck, they're fucking huge nerds. Is this their congealed blood I see on your weapon? Hmm. Speaking of dragon blood, you yourself have been infused with it, have you not? I should like to draw a file or two, if so. Now, see here. Dude, I'm so glad Astinian's hanging come out with along, us. Come along, come along. I must insist that you visit our laboratory. 
cease your shoving, or so help me. Oh dear, your poor companion. What with the new scales and your timely arrival, my colleagues are a little giddy with excitement. No harm will come to him, I promise. Meanwhile, shall we find a quiet place to he talk? He dead, man. As you may have guessed, I am Nidana, the alchemist Nidana. who sent a request Got to it. your mistress, Kryl. We have workshops across the nation collaborating on this research project. But it is here, at the great work, where I collate our results. Come with me, all of you, and I can explain the crux of the situation. This is great. I'm loving this. God damn it, you people are killing my fucking frame rate. Get out of my fucking face. Lavender, well, thank you for answering our call. Many towers have appeared around the world, and we're grateful that you would assist us with ours. Though Crowler herself is tied up with another investigation, Pat's an eminently capable substitute, and we will spare no effort to aid you. So if you understand correctly, you seek to make a talisman that can nullify the emissions. Indeed we do. As we know, the tower emits vast concentrations of aether, but can't go anywhere near it without being tempered. As such, we can only study the tower from afar, and are powerless to deal with it in any consequential way. In order to strike back, the site trap the yeah. Beta's alchemists create enchanted talismans that would allow our soldiers to venture into the tower, even should they lack the innate protection. Would such a thing be possible? You cure tempering, Mariage. Admittedly, we're still in the midst of testing, but we're quite confident. Even prior to this, our people have long pursued countermeasures against the etheric corruption of primals. Of the methods to date, those utilizing dragon scales proved the most promising. Owing to their etheric density, the scales are highly resistant to disruptive forces. The mightier the dragon, the greater the resistance. We seek to amplify this pro protective property through our alchemy. Thanks to the scales provided by His Excellency, we've been able to make steady progress with the talisman. Soon we'll be able to conduct a field test, and here's where you and your blessing of light come in. Whatever it is, just leave it to me, bro. Pronounce it already. It's phonetic. Say, it's a trap. It's a trap. Thank you, lest you wonder we only ask that you serve as an escort. I'll explain in greater detail later, but we'll be venturing into the tower's field of influence. And so, for your own safety, first test how well your blessing shields you for the commission. In that case, your Jay will find other ways to make ourselves useful, seeing as you all work hard to the point of collapse. I suspect you could do it with more hands. We'd be grateful for any assistance you can provide. I'm sure they can figure out something. Pat looks dumb in that hat. Legit, I'll fight you, Ego. I'll fucking fight you for right now. I'll fight you. You know, I was worried about switching to a bunny, but if they don't have any clipping issues, I can't wear a hat, but what I can have is a big, fat Namazu uh, earring and some fucking goggles. You exit the great work, turn south, there'll be a hill to the right. I'll meet you there at the top scenes of preparations. I went the wrong way. I don't know why I thought it would be the to my right facing the fucking door. No clipping so far besides the cursed universal long hair clipping. Even with warriors, coats, and dark knights. Cause the the Dark Knight swords on like, uh, Lady Viera clipped through their backs. Like, it's fucking crazy. I hope you didn't find trouble, have trouble finding it, or climbing the hill. Not all are accustomed to it. Give you the fruit of our sweat, tears, and many sleepless nights. The Drunken Deepa. 
Adipa is a lantern presented to the gods as an offering. Taking inspiration for the tradition, we created the device to test the talisman's efficient e efficacy. RTB EXE, sometimes I wonder if Pat plays the same game as I do. Lamo, I never had that issue. Do you play a female Viera and play a Dark Knight? The Shadowbringer clips directly into her own shoulders at a standing, like, by default. Like, it, it, it literally just does. Upon activation, it will move a certain distance before emitting a powerful blast of ether. In lieu of corruption, those lacking sufficient protection will experience severe aether sickness. For your test, you'll be exposed four times. That should be enough to ascertain your blessing's protective capability. Please begin whenever you're ready. I'll be observing from a safe distance. Commencing exposure testing. Oh, weird. Yep. No problem. Not even a problem. A friend of mine just hit 80 on Reaper. Apparently, Baja is extraordinarily efficient in getting from 70 to 80. Nope. No big. Pat, straight up East Coast is experiencing super bad login errors. People are getting disconnected. Hope your experience stays super smooth. Um, as long as I don't drop. It, it really looks like the actual regular servers are having a much better time than the login servers. Yep, no problem. And last but not least. No problem. Blessing of light fucks. Ah, you return and not on your knees, promising sign. Come, let me take the deep off your hands. Thank you. I'll replenish it for when we test the talisman. No dizziness, nausea, anything. You're feeling perfectly fine. And the strength of your blessing is beyond doubt. There's no risk the tower will corrupt your either. And with this, you can request your aid for the task ahead with easy hearts. Cape of Warrior 2. You'd be amenable to assisting me with another errand. Talisman requires special ink. We have exhausted our stores, and we need spirit weed. I like to go harvest some. However, we're worried because of the kidnappings. Will you not come with me as my escort? Absolutely. Just got home. How are you enjoying it? Asks Level Up Slick. I'm having a great time. Absolutely. I'm in your debt. Without further ado, let's go to the footsteps. Doop-a-doop-boop-ba-da-ba-da-da-da. ba ba doop boop boop 
I wonder what the mechanism for those towers creating the final days is. Like, is there some critical mass to hit or what? May simply be imagining it, but I feel like we're being followed. We are! Guess what, fuckers? Knowing Fan Daniel, it's probably legit 5G COVID waves. God damn it, you're super right. No, my 5G! Look at it go! Oh. You're invulnerable. Grr, mad. Here we are, Kaji's footsteps. She's a great dancer, and those who follow in her, well, you know, they came to this place to train and dedicate the dance to their ancestors. Happy benefit is the spirit weed grows here in abundance. I'll set about harvesting it once, but please stand guard. Oh, this is a nice little spot. Wow, can you actually go up to the fucking 5G tower? Wow. Isn't it a fortuitous thing that this color around me for my box ends up being the exact color of like the average crystal in Final Fantasy? Just worked out that way. Yes, that would be Radzad Han. Hardly anyone has been allowed in or out since our troubles with the tower began. The faithful citizens huddle inside the city walls, and commerce has all but ground to a standstill. I pity the satrap, the trials he must be facing. You trust him? Completely! Without the Satrap and his line, Rad Han would not exist. Long ago, this island was home to two tribes of Matanga, the Gajasura and the Arkasotra. When the Aura came to these shores, it was the Arkasotra with whom they joined forces. Together they defeated the war like Gajasura, forcing them to flee Thavnair altogether. Peace and prosperity reigned for a time, until a clan of Hjord from the mainland decided they wanted the island for themselves. Mabi. It was a direct ancestor of the present Satrap who arbitrated that conflict and welded the warring factions into the nation we know today. And ever since, a member of that esteemed lineage has inherited this somewhat unique position. You see, by and large, the state is run by the people. But when problems arise, it is the Satrap who mediates a solution. The stability provided by the Satrap is what has allowed Radzad Han to thrive all these years. And it was the Satrap himself who entrusted us with this duty. We will not fail him, nor our countrymen. What 
is the delay with the vessel? I told you I need to adjust those ratios. Hey guys, I don't think I'm going to set a direct time for tomorrow's stream. I think I'm just going to start logging in and fucking start streaming I once I get in. All this way to admire one of my splendid towers. And what do I find? Fools. Speaking of ratio. Tempering influence with magic trinkets. I seem to recall a similar experiment in ages past. What was that man's name? Oh, something. Owen? Uh, another, another body, another, another time. time. Who could be expected to remember every trivial detail? Hmm. Allowing them to construct such handy talismans would be counterproductive to my plans. And yet, I find myself deathly curious. How will they manage this feat? With the limited knowledge and resources at their disposal. <laughs> Complications be damned. For we cannot escape the nature of our souls. And I, as ever, am my own worst enemy. Fan Daniel has a split personality. He's got a suicide personality and a not suicide personality. Enough spirit weed to last. Thanks for keeping watch. Let's head back. What the? Wrong one. Yeah, it's possible that Asahi is actually, like, exerting any form of control, which would be bad, because that dude's a prick. Man, it's right there! God damn! Damn tower, dude. Thanks for your assistance. Boys, there. You excuse me, I gotta get back to the towels. Ah, you're both back. Got a message for you. Stores of giant skull are running low. What? Is there plenty last time? I suspect that before your AJ told everybody about the temporary cure, and Estinian shared his knowledge of dragons. He appears have since inspired him to fashion new talisman prototypes. Well, if it leads to new possibilities, far be for me to complain, but we'll need to replenish our stores. We have to attend to this if you like. Much as I appreciate the offer, I can't in good conscience send you out there with kidnappers at large. Send me, but coach. Yeah, I'll go get some giant skull. Don't worry about it. Type of ore found on the island. It's uh, pretty good. Quarry is where found. John Skull Crown. It's not far away. No problem. I got this. Thank you. Upon arriving, please seek out a man named Zin Zenuha. I'll furnish you with the ore. Got it. All right, kid. You can come along. Hamza. What the fuck is a Hamza? Is that a mount?
give a moment. One of my colleagues is gone missing. She said she was gonna go to Kaji's footsteps to get a bit of exercise, but she hasn't come back. I go search for her, but it's almost time for a shift change. I can't very well leave the kiln to operate itself. Did you find her? Yeah, why not? Thanks, X. She's too kind. You and I have for a hero with thick hair. She should be happy to see you. When was the last time you were by? Devastation. You missed out the chance to meet one of the students of Valdez. Got it. Here's a Hamza. Creatures look familiar. It's because they're close kin to your dodos. And a livestock. Uh, okay. So the hatchery. The radiant host repurposes remnants. Is that place? This is where I write errands. Aaron takes me. Let's fucking haul ass, bro. Let's mount this high. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at this fucking gargwa. Look at this fucker. I love it. Sick. Oh, it's taking camera control. It's a sword, huh? That does look pretty cool. The left is the tower. As you can see, it straddles a small little island. Almost there. Main part of the hatchery is atop the cliff. The outpost itself is on the beach. Host the south post, the first line of defense against the tower. Well, who should it be but a young Varshan, an parent for the set trap? His Excellency bade me come to talk to collect your report. We also wish to express our gratitude to the brave men and women of the Radiant Host for their unflagging dedication. Uh, what is this cool-ass fucking armor? It's rad. Simply do our duty, but we're honored to receive His Excellency's regard. Yet, first boundless benevolence. This treatment of one so young could be regarded as callous. Though we have enjoyed relatively peace. Peace and calm these past couple days. This remains the front line of battle. No place for kids. Your predecessor too often travel alone. It's been, what, two years now since you took over? I wonder how that fellow was faring. Like those before him, he went on to represent the trap in foreign lands. Wherever he may be now, I'm certain he's well. As for myself, I assure you all I do, I do with my own volition. I'm glad they pray you do not think ill of his excellency. Certainly not. Whatever happens, my faith in the set trip is unwavering, but I still worry for you. You'd be overcome with sadness if you were to fucking die. I will, set trip. Thank you. Who might this be? I'm Hanish by the look of him. He's, uh, Pat. It's from Eorzea. Let's come to help out. Eorzea! Towers are there too, huh? What's the situation like? It's bad. It's not good. Excellent idea. Given the unprecedented nature of the threat, some of ours are unassailably anxious. We'll be glad for any tidings you can give. You too, bring them the report. Dude, the gear that dude's wearing fucking owns. It looks super good.
Curse me, I have yet to properly introduce us. We're the radiant host of military order under the set trip's command. Our duty is to preserve peace. Be a patrolling streets or dealing with hitherto unknown threats. We train hard and work hard. And play hard. There was, we succeeded in striking down the two occasions they came in through force. We had to pay a heavy price. What are the towers of Eorzea? Do they spawn monsters too? Well, it's pretty much the same everywhere. With every nation struggling, we cannot expect calls for outside aid to be answered. We should know about the tower, to be honest. We know little and less about it ourselves. The Tower of Sot, we've been calling it, suddenly appeared where it did on the Isle of Nuranair. Wait, it wasn't built? It just appeared? Fuck. We're safe from its influence at this distance, but go too far out of the water and you'll switch yourself to its corrupting aether. You're a foreigner, right? How are they dealing with the tower in your homeland? Badly. Our struggles are not unique, and our hopes lie with the talismans. So let's keep the monsters at bay until they are ready. I've heard about you. Anything you can tell us? I know that the ones behind the tower, they've declared war on the whole world. But why? Uh, but seems to be just kind of asshole. What? They want to die? Take everybody with them? What man is this? Well, you bet we're gonna let those bastards take their way. Not gonna let them. We'll fight them with everything you got, like Aorzi and Far Eastern Brothers. Yeah, kill them. Kill them today. Let's finish speaking with the soldiers, right? Hope was in the lightning. As the neutral station and trading hub both, Radatan ordinarily receives a steady stream of news from abroad. Alas, this dried up when trading doesn't stop showing up. Amidst the dearth of information, everybody will be grateful for your account. But come, you gotta get to see your original errand. This mine will keep me here a while longer, I'm afraid I can't guide you the rest of the way. It's pretty straightforward, just uh, hop on the bird and get going. <laughs> birdie. Birdie, birdie. Birdie. That's ridiculous. What do we got here? Oh, well, he's out of here. Cool spot. Hi, this is the Giant Skull, and I'm Zenyu. Is there anything you need? I need rocks! I need rocks! Giant Skull, of course they'll have it. They labor tirelessly to deal with the tower, and the least I can do is give them the materials they need. Big sack of Giant Skull. Get out of here, birdie. Looks like I have explored the majority of the actually open zone. A jamel and not a dolmel. Interesting. I still remember the dull mill of nightmares. What barding is Elmo wearing? Deep Shadow. Can you jump on the, get up on the giant horn looking thing? I'm pretty sure that's far in the background. 
I don't think that's possible. Got your fucking rocks. Welcome back, do you have the giant skull? Oh my, thank you for bringing this shit. We now have everything we need. See, our taskmasters have allowed you a moment's respite as well. Ye. Yeah. You have to hand it to these alchemists. They are determined to see this endeavor of theirs succeed. I've never been one for blind optimism, but I sincerely get the sense they're close to a breakthrough. Yep, and then we'll leave, go back to Charlayan, talk about how they're about to have a breakthrough. Have a little group huddle. For naught. The peoples of Eorzea, of the Far East, of Thavner, children of this star united in common cause against a dire threat. Yet ere they succumb to suicidal madness, were not the Telophoroi born of her body as were we. They who cling to life and the promise of the morrow's dawn against they who desire death and an ending of their own orchestration. The victors of this war alone will hold the right to answer the question of existence, of its meaning, and its worth. Poetic and ominous to a That's fault. That's okay, sure, Ryoje. If it's an existential debate in nature, I'm just gonna hit them with my axe, might not be dude. As persuasive as you think. I'm gonna be like, wow, like that. Fan Daniel wants to die and take everyone with him in an orgy of pain and suffering. An utterly vile and unforgivable idea. And yet, when spat upon by fate and wailing in the deepest pit of despair, who among us can say they have not entertained similar thoughts? I mean, probably Our me and Estinian. Bereft of hope. No words of comfort can reach you. And it's all you can do to grit your teeth and choke back the bile. The more you see and suffer life's injustices, the more difficult they become to bear. Vengeance is nurtured in similar soil. Though your anger has a broader focus, the sentiment is much the same. A fervent desire to destroy others. To see them drown in torment, as you have. That about sums it up. The will to endure is not always as strong as the urge to burn it all down and salt the earth. Survival be damned. It's a struggle, often close and brutal. Indeed. Well, I, for one, shall pray survival proveth more appealing in the end. As will I. Besides, our chances are much improved when we've the company of others committed to the cause of life. Our vengeful dragoon here is proof of that. 
And Estinian's like, I love murder. If if you were gonna have like an inspirational Oh, he's right there! If you're gonna have an inspirational like quote thing, Estinian would be the guy in the middle that would be like is murder it? is okay. What did you see? Fan Daniel, are you sure? If he knows we've been working on a countermeasure. It holds. The vessel holds. This is the one. At long last. Look. We have finally created a talisman strong enough to withstand our experiments. This owns, dude. We've named it a warding scale for the time being. With this in your possession, your soul should be completely shielded from corruptive evil. That thing's fucking cool. Afforded such protection, any one of us may approach the towers without fear. Thou hast mine admiration. Tis an invention of historical significance. Thank you for your kind words. But I would prefer you keep them unsaid until we test the talisman's efficacy in the field. It is for the next stage of our plan that we summoned you in the first place. To accompany me to the Tower Resort. Should the scale prove effective, as I very much hope it will, then you'll have little to do. But should the effect be weaker than anticipated, I must ask that you restrain me. Or knock me senseless. I got this. I got no problem with that. I'll beat you up. Oh, oh, I'll, I'll, I'll punch your shit. Don't worry about it. Either way, we are fortunate to have you with us. Nidana, I, I... Are you certain you wish to do this? Shouldn't somebody smaller go? If others are to trust our creations, then we must have faith in them first. And as the senior researcher, it falls to me to lead by example. But should I fail to return, then learn what you can. Hey, after this, I'm going to take a little break. I'm going to make myself some toast. Our work must find continue. an apple, maybe a banana. Is that clear? Hungry. We'll keep an eye on the place while you're away. Assuming Fan Daniel is lurking about, there's no telling what mischief he has in mind for us, or you. Be on your guard. Yeah, we'll stretch my legs out, do a do a Shall we be on our way? Do a crouch. I have maybe one of the soldiers pee. at the hatchery prepare us a boat, and we can set out from the northern shore. Mm. I'll see you there. It's out there. All right. I'll be right back. Oh, I'm gonna chill, have some toast, do a pee. So I'll see you guys in just a few moments.
go. Go. everybody welcome back to the show got my toast ready to go ah that's a good toast so your spot does get saved if you do it fast enough huh that's pretty great
How long did those guys go? Good boat. All we gotta do is go and see if it works. So let's fucking do it. We should soon cross the threshold of the tower's influence. Any moment now. Hey. It's working. And you, you are still yourself? Then I'd like to see how it fares closer to the tower if we could. So good. The scale's protection appears to be holding. If we can just make it to the tower's entrance. My worry is that if the thing runs out, right? Like it has a finite number of charges. A few more steps. to the sisters we made it and the scale has proven itself to be everything we hoped it would be now we can focus on production once we've equipped and returned with an entire survey team this menace will soon give up its secrets which that door is open Yo, this sucks. A little late for heroics, I'm afraid. Mm. The similarities are striking. Why don't I just beat your fucking ass, dude? My, my! Such hostility! Never before has my artistry so displeased. 
My patrons of old would have positively squealed in delight. Though, between you and me, I find gushing praise exhausting. What do you... what? Oh, you're a craftsman. Allow me to tell you a story. Surely you've yet to hear the one about Van Daniel, the Sundered Asian. I inherited the position and the soul of the Van Daniel who sat on the convocation in the time of the final days, theoretically speaking. Practically speaking, that fact is of no consequence. I was born and lived as, well, me. Eventually, I was recruited into the Asians and imbued with the former Fan Daniel's knowledge and memories. But I never felt that they were truly a part of who I am. <sighs> How to explain? But perhaps if I told you who I was before my Asian embrace, although that chapter too is a past I've long since discarded. Please don't say Zandies. I have it on good authority. You've poked your nose into an elegant ruin or two. Yes? Oh my god, he's a mon. Then I expect you've heard of me. The old. If he's a mon, I'm gonna lose my uh, shit. Uh, at your Fuck! I can't believe it! Imagine a nation of unbridled prosperity. Oh, your hat was dope, Every dude! Need met. Day after day of unbroken, unshakable peace. Existence. Fulfilled. And ripe for decay. You are a genius without peer, come on. However do you conceive of such delightful experiments? That fool was beside himself with panic when he awoke with the head of a bull. <laughs> Even his cries for help Oh my god, he so made all the bullshit in ARF and Fractal Continuum! Oh, the memory of it. <laughs> my poor sides. My friends and I were so consumed by laughter, we struggled to breathe. No more than entertainment. God, that's such a good character to fucking... Oh, man. Work. But it was not their own indulgence it was weird how Amon got so much backstory in the books for they were ever hungry for stimulation slaves to the slightest hint that amusement was afoot our nation was ailing but I would see the poison purged I resurrected a legend our first and greatest emperor And just as I had planned, he set our wayward empire back on the path of conquest. An inexhaustible ambition carried us onwards, always onwards. Yet, he who delivered to us such glory was not to be satisfied. Heed me, Armand. No matter how vast one's empire, or full one's treasure vault, all is rendered meaningless by death. Then who's the bitch on the CT raids then? Clone. Amon was a clone specialist. All is lost. You know a 
as well as I that the Emperor stands to lose this war. And so I have come to claim you. For while your methods leave something to be desired, we cannot deny the results of your work. And as fortune would have it, the seat of Van Daniel, your rightful seat, lies vacant and waiting. Take your place amongst your peers, rather than die a pointless death amidst the ashes of your doomed nation. Send one of your clones to the Crystal Tower that you might Fucking see for yourself. told you so! See what lies ahead. The fall of the Empire affirmed the truth, majestic and tragic, as the Emperor foresaw. Scheme as you like, build as you will, nothing endures. What is life but a brief jaunt ending in emptiness? Oh, dude. Oh, it's such a good pull. Dude, Graha's gonna lose his shit. Why? I almost left without saying farewell. As for your friend, you need to worry. These pawns are far more useful to me alive as fuel for the primes. I know what the towers are! If you attempt to pull them free, they will die. So, enjoy tackling that conundrum with your comrades. They're coils! They're the coil of Bahamut. We Just shall meet individual. Again. Not in these mine spires. Oh, no, no. But somewhere more suitably grandiose. Your favorite playmate is ever so eager to see. Amon probably did design the coils. You know, we need to get some dudes in here. It's a long story. Listen, I gotta get back, get my dudes. We're gonna bust this place up. Thancred! Oh, dude! Something's gone awry. What happened? So, Fandaniel after all. Damn that bitch. Alright. We gotta go see the Sar Sartap. I call everybody together for a meeting and I gotta explain it. Sam. <coughs> I'm hurt. Can you answer me this? She's still alive, right? Y yeah. Then, uh... We've got to make as many of those fuckers as we can. Prototype works. So let's make a bunch of them. And we can help out. That's good. That's a good plan. That's how they'll win. That's right. 
You guys are completely right. That is genuinely the solution. My friends, Satrap's been made aware. He offers heartfelt condolences and reiterates the pledge to provide you with all that you require. To that end, they'd give you this link, Pearl, that he might personally discuss the production of the warding scales. And you guys, come see the Sartap. Come on, you gotta go talk to him. In addition to thanking you in person, he also wants to discuss collabs. Time to go to Radat's hands. <coughs> Pardon. We should be honored, of course. Closer cooperation between our lands can only be a benefit to all. Then settled. Please come to the gates east of Giant Skull. I'll show you into the city. Huzzah. <sighs> Off we go. Away, le. How am I liking new inner release? It's fine. At what point do I get a trait that changes it? Enhance equilibrium. Jesus. Yeah, that thing's the binding coils. He just made a bunch of them. Where are you? Directly above, huh? You're coming up on the cutscene, you accidentally skipped, Shirtle? Well, I'll make sure to skip it for you. I think today's stream's gone really well. Even the Shadowbringer, like, I, once now that I got in, it's fine. Right? And hey, I, I, I want to tell you guys I really actually appreciate uh, I saw a couple of you guys are actually idling in here to make the number go up make me feel better I don't think that does anything like for real but like it's 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 very sweet and I appreciate it like really let's do it owing to the threat of the tower the city is currently in a state of high alert we got special permission, but we got to stay close to the kid. Hey, is okay. Riots at hand. Is Riots at hand the the end game city, or is it Sherlayan? A vast rock squats upon Favnir, and to its stony surface clings the city of Rods at Han. Ye who enter here are subject to the scrutiny of gods, the gate's most watchful eye. Cool. The orb which beholdeth the truth of all things. Gotta ponder it! Pass beneath its hot and piercing gaze. Bearing down like a second midday sun. Whoa. When they showed this off during the, the live letter, it was very not done. The sweet incense and acrid smoke. The cries of merchants mingled here with lively melodies accented by dancers' feet. Travelers seduced by vivid sound and colors were once swallowed up by patchwork streets.
Yeah, the original time they showed this thing off looked like shit during the live letter. It looks way better. But no such seems to savor now. To what somber present does that divine eye bear witness? That's gorgeous. It seems a shame to bring you here directly. Under normal circumstances, it would have been my pleasure to show you the sights. And it would have been our pleasure to see them. Alas. It seems our tour of the city will have to wait. I'm afraid so. Come. We should head inside. How's the cues for you guys doing? Those of you still in it. Your Excellency, may I present our honored visitors? Ah, splendid. Most splendid. Oh, dude, Allow I've never seen this hour of face. I am Ahawan, Satrap of Radzatan. Our alchemists tell me your assistance was invaluable in the creation of the Warding Scale. Such deeds ought to be recognized in person. Thus did I have young Varshan convey you here forthwith. On behalf of my people, may I express to you our sincere gratitude. Wait, what the fuck, Walternators? Did you just spoil the fucking... Wait. No, wait. Tank Shadowbringers role quest bad guy? Oh, I'm sorry. I I jumped the gun. I'm so fucking on edge that I saw role quest bad guy and went, fuck it. It's like you said Shadowbringers. You literally said Shadowbringers there. Also, I gotta I've been up for a bit. Not everything went to plan. I assume you speak of Nidana. A regrettable incident indeed. Her colleagues insist that we honor her wishes and trust in the talisman, that it will be instrumental in saving Nidana and the others. I am eager to hear your opinion on the matter, so let us not stand on ceremony. Come, sit. I think not. Yeah, what's going on here? This charade has gone on long enough. Show yourself. Forgive me, but were you expecting musicians, perhaps? And how come there a are no performers can tell? waiting in the wings at present? But arrangements could be made if you'd prefer. Nay, he hath the right of it. The time. Oh, it's Retra. That's Wait. why you can tell. As How could you, you skip this one, Shirtle? You travel as assistants to the students of Valdesia. But you are known to me. Even here have we heard of the scions of the seventh door. Hey dude! Sup? How you doing? I am Vritra, and for years uncounted hath this isle served as mine abode. 
Mitra of the first brood, sibling to Hreisvelga and Nidhogg. And he's like, yeah. I, mine elder brothers, of Midgard's former spawn. Ah, oh, he's the baby. Well, isn't this a surprise? We were told Rods at Harn had an alliance with a dragon. Not that a great worm sat in a Sartrap's own hall. A necessary subterfuge, as the true tale of our nation history illustrates most effectively. In the beginning, the rock upon which our city is built was home to Vitra, and Vitra alone. I mean, it's better than fucking time, Ishgard's fucking the history. The ancestors of the Matanga came to the island and established a foothold. But never did they dare disturb the worm's lair. They fucked every single fucking thing they possibly Next could. Next to arrive with the Aura. Adopting the example of the Akasodra allies, they too treated Vitra with reverence and respect. And for many years, an understanding between our forefathers and the Great Worm endured. Until marauding heroes from the mainland came, threatening to shatter our peace and tranquility. My bad. When it My seemed bad. all would be drowned in blood, Vitra himself came forth and. Yeah, this really does make conflict. Ishgard look fucking brain dead. A peaceful accord was reached, and oaths sworn in Vitra's name. Thus begun the dragon's governance of the fledgling state. Which was to grow into Rad's Athan. But if Ritra is still here, then your position as Sartrap is just. A charade. Yes. And one which my family has performed faithfully for generations. Many envy the great worms their power. Yeah, that happens sometimes. Yeah, who would do that? I would not be the flame which consumeth my people. Those few who join me in laying our country's foundations were, perforce, sworn to secrecy. Your eye, it was taken. What? Tis here. Buried within the semblance of flesh. Wait, what? The body before thee is but a simulacrum, constructed by the finest artisans of Razathan. With mine eye nestled within, it doth serve as an inconspicuous cool. vessel for my wit. Ah, that would explain why I felt the presence of a dragon upon our first meeting. It's also why I am woven with words fashion to deceive such arcane senses. Though twas short lived, it seemeth thy fusion with my brother hath left thee much altered, Estinian one blood. <laughs> yeah, it was a complicated thing. From the very first. We sense the nature of one another. So you're not Yet mad that we killed your bro, because he was a banks. fucking asshole. That is all I need know of thee for now. With my secret thus revealed, I have for you a proposal. Not as a worm of the first brood. But as the ruler of Rads and With all haste must we take in hand the finished talismans and reach this foul spire. Thence, should it lay within our power to spell its wicked influence. Yet even with the assurance of the warding scales, the narrow confines of the tower doth limit the size of our force. No, I got this. 
And thus denied strength in numbers, thou must choose thy soldiers with care. Just so. Yet though our radiant host is formidable, I see a sure path before me. Oh yeah, I beat the shit out of them. Like no problem, just beat the fucking piss out of them. I mean, the ones that don't and need it. you agree to this undertaking, more will be provided to make use of as you see fit. There's no denying it's a dangerous proposition, but the rewards may far outweigh the risk. Yeah, give one to Raubon. Think of what we might accomplish if we could equip all our allies Give, with give one to scales. the fucking city-state leaders, and Pippin. I worry, and however, the fucking the entire us, cast of Stormblood. You have in mind. Might we regroup with our friends first to discuss the matter? Tis no trifling task that I have laid before you. Go. Steam your hearts and hone your plans. Such time as you require shall be spent in crafting your protection. No, not least. You can it stay doing taxes or whatever. Will thou not lend thine aid? Whether your request be made as a great worm or the ruler of Rods at Han, I see no reason to refuse. Nor will I. I am in thy debt. Oh, Reacher fucking owns. Yep, back to Charlan. I can't, can't get back in. Oh, no. right. Put you on hold for now. Pretty. Thank I did it. Just getting used to balmy Thavnir. We're back in Chili Charlayan. Take my care not to catch your death. We'll need you for the battles to come. Now everybody's here. Let's take stock. Oh, he's gonna have fancy special Newlands because they're gonna be fucking black carbuncle new new Newlands. Progress. Let's share the findings of our respective locales. In my opinion, carrying out Beatrice's request and assaulting the Tower of Zot should be our highest priority. I agree. 
I agree. While I still have questions concerning the Forum and their grand undertaking, we have all but exhausted our avenues of investigation. Simply pressing them any harder on the subject will almost certainly result in our expulsion. Therefore, I suggest we explore the Ethereal Sea Connection by way of a letter to Master Matoya, then make our way to Thavnair. I wonder, even with the protection these talismans afford us, what can we hope to achieve once inside the tower? Bust it up. Involved in Fridola's report, they were unable to free the Emolja. Worse, their attempts triggered the tower's defenses, which led to a summoning of Luna Afrit. What does it tell us that the spires even have such defenses? Simply pulling a prisoner from the wall is fatal. Thus, the direct approach is doomed to failure from the outset. Any further measures to dissuade such actions seem unnecessary. What if we kill the primal, Unless then yank him? There is a way to free the prisoners without killing them. Then it stands to reason that any intruders will be met with overwhelming force. The towers appeared throughout the world in but the twinkling of an eye. Twas by magical means these structures were raised, I surmise. A spire thus conjured must needs be maintained. And I suspect an arcane catalyst, some manner of core, doth lie hidden within. Destroy the core, and the tower ceaseth to be. When they all fucking fall hundreds of feet and hit the ground and die. So we can hope. And I would prefer to enter the tower with a working theory than with no plan at all. Assuming Ishtola's reasoning is correct, the chances of the defenses remaining dormant are small to none. Oh no, we're gonna have to fucking fight Any some dudes. Any will have to be dealt with. And defeating one will likely only lead to the summoning of another. Our every victory will only compound the prisoner's suffering. May we not then divide our forces? Those proficient in healing will focus on sustaining the captives. That duty can be covered by Urianje, Kryon, Yostola, and myself. Wow, they're even mentioning that Yostola could switch back to Conjurer. With the search for the core. Or White Mage. Admittedly, this strategy puts both parties at greater risk. But it should bolster our chances of saving the Arcosodera by a considerable margin. Sure Alfie's in the right group. What the? If you're to what happened to my OBS? And you best have at least one healer with you. Did did OBS fucking get weird for you guys? It seems we have a plan. All that remains is to carry it out. I will inform Rods at Han of our Oh, the 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 so visual is all fucked up. And regroup near the tower. A military post in what's left of the Hamsa Hatchery should serve as a convenient staging. That sounds perfect. And remember, the experimental etherite at the confluence is there for those who need it, so there's no excuse for being late. Uh huh. Oh, yeah, we're going to punch that tower, dude. Bruh. Oh yeah, OBS just did a weird for me. Sorry about that. Sound is cutting in and out? That's because I'm switching between things. So how do I take the experimental aetherite again? I 
I see. Do I want to get sick? Only that first time, I guess, huh? Wow, leveling in the MSQ is fucking totally trivial, man. I'm fucking... 81 and three quarters. Oh, I'll surely hit 82 at the dungeon, yeah. Jeans, I'll get blood wedding. Which changes raw intuition from 10% and healing to 10% and then 20% for four seconds with a 400 potency shield. It'll last for 20 fucking seconds. I am, as a warrior, I am a scholar now. What do I get? Enhanced Equilibrium? Uh, 84. I'm going to do it. Somebody asked why I have uh, Infuriate and Equilibrium on my bar twice. It's quite simple. Uh, Warrior doesn't have enough buttons. Nah, I haven't tried Reaper. Friend of our own, we've been expecting you. We will lead the mission of the tower. Sure, the Aether I travel, I'll stick to boats. No warning, however, empathic could have prepared me for that. On account, we are a little late, but fighting fit mostly. Friends, permit me to thank you for accepting this mission. You must be... Yeah, we're gonna call him Varshan. Indeed, wouldn't do to confuse the soldiers. Very well then. Our part will humble that you see fit to entrust us with your warding scales. Please convey as much of his excellence. Before the dungeon, I'm gonna have to take Baby out and then I'm gonna have to feed him. One of each for you, please accept them. Don't some of you already have the Blessing of Light? These can go anywhere. Those with the Blessing of Light can go. Oh, I guess it would just be Kryal, huh? Not only for this operation either, but all the ones to come. We can finally break your monopoly on primals. In that case, they're all yours from now on, okay, dude? Uh, but I'm afraid we can't let you retire just yet. You're the brightest star, after all. If everybody is amenable, let's review the strategy for good measure. Previous agreed. Two groups. 
Pat and the band will go break through the defensives and fuck it up. Meanwhile, the rest of us will heal people. Primals would be deities of the Thavnarian. You know what, guys? It looks like I'm gonna have to go now because dog is big cry. So I'll be back in uh, 15 minutes tops. Oh, hey, Alma. I'll see you guys soon.
Let's go. Go. Back. And we're back. Hey, everyone. Whoa. All right, good. Thank you. Come here. I got you. You are going nowhere. Sit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Slime. Slime boy. Slimey. Slimey baby. Oh, oh. Good. Gross. Gross baby. No, 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 gross baby. Oh, uh. you must wait. Oh, hey guys, you still there? I'm not seeing anything in the chat. If you are, I might have. Uh... Okay, you're there. You're not there. Zangief has higher quality of living than most members of the chat. Well. I try to take care of the boy. I love him. I love him. Okay, God, tell him to watch your face. Ooh, doo, 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 doo. Yes. Okay, that's one. 
Okay, here we go. That's two. Oh, you hate it. Okay, here we go. Do, 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 do. Gotta give him the cleaning. Gotta clean the baby. Cause I love him. I love my baby boy. He is my baby. Do, 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 do. Aha. Mm. Oh, okay. ah. Sit. Good boy. Mm. Thank you. Lie down. Thank you. Thank you. High five. Good boy. Thank you. Speak. That's a good boy. Look at him. He be good boy. Now say it. Wait a second. Wait a second. There you go. And okay, go. <sighs> and he's sweet. I love him. Anybody who's got no experience fighting primals, deal chill with it. Commence the operation at your word. The people of Thabnair in the world, we gotta prepare. All right, first tower. We'll show everyone how it's done, then give the talismans out to the various representatives of the countries, and then they will be tasked with taking them down in their own territories. Thanks, Vel. You always know the good timing. We got Suds, Try, and Vel. Perfect. Excuse me one moment. Whoop. Wet. Mm. Where? 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 Speakers aren't working. Hold on a second. Do 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 boop -ba -do. Speakers. Try it again. Where? 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 Huh. You look pretty loud, actually. Hold on a second. I can be louder if you want. How uh, how loud are the gang compared to me? Where? 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 Wah. Where? Wah. 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 We? Oh. We. Woo? Woo. Where? 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 Hello? They're a little louder? Okay, I can turn you guys down just a little bit. I'm gonna... Turn me up if you want. That's all you're announcing us. I'm not going to turn you up, dude. You no. The people need to hear. I'm going to turn you down, Pat. Oh, fuck. Of <laughs> course, for everyone who's not aware, this is Cool Lightning, Cool Creepy Porpoise, and Strident Song. Cool been... Lightning, Cool Creepy Porpoise? Did I not say Cool Lightning, Creepy Porpoise? Did I say Cool, did I say cool Porpoise? Cool Creepy Porpoise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I mean, that works, too. Uh... Whatever. It's long, long time good pals of mine that I like. Not Dude, like I'm still ones. editing audio settings, you fucking bitch! <laughs> <laughs> okay, how, how's the gang sound to me comparatively? I assume they sound a little lower. Quit. 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 They sound perfect. Uh, perfect? That's great. Okay. They're a little lower, perfectly. Alright. Creepy lightning. Yeah. A ready check's been commit. Oh, I was too hurt. Oh my god. Yeah, it's been it's not ready. I'm just gonna just gonna disband this then. Oh. Alright. Are you good to go? I'm good to go. What oh. one of my pieces is low in durability? Hmm. Oh. I actually turn them a bit higher now that you have game audio on. <laughs> oh come on. I mean. I could just turn the game audio down. Then they can't no, hear man. the music. Eh. Arguably, the music's more important. Yeah. Nah, I'll turn it back up. They're a little. Bit. Maybe. 
me if I turned you guys. You're never gonna balance it perfectly. <laughs> I know, dude. Doing this shit on the fly is the worst. It is. It's literally fucking impossible. I hate it. Somebody's oh, new. I thought this was a farm party. Oh. Yeah. All right, so <laughs> you're all you've all done this, huh? Uh huh. It's my first time. Hello. <laughs> I can't so believe thing is, you're level 80 fucking safe. Freak. You might be able to double pull this group, but do not double pull in the second area, you will die. Got it. They are spicy. Also, I'm technically 82 sage now. You're sick. Yes. This dude's I... cool, I love him. <laughs> okay. Let's see how it works. Man, having three charges on air release is weird. It's just weird. That's the one he's still fine to keep up with. Okay. Am I able to see your spell effects? No, I'm yeah, yeah. seeing the spell effects of the other guys. You see my you're, yeah, you're definitely seeing those giant. Uh, like no, I'm not. I'm, what I'm seeing is the 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 trust gang doing their spell effects, I like arrow and like glare. Yeah. But yeah, I can see the arrow. Yeah, I or, see the arrow and the big purple flower or whatever. I don't know. Whatever. Summoning, huh? Too many spell effects. Oh, we're just gonna, we're just oh, gonna do it, huh? Oh. Okay, bot. Oh, they're just gonna jump. Oh, oh I see. So don't double pull this group, huh? Yeah, we'll you the second area, the first Got it. I'm pretty sure I can handle double groups here. I'm a big man. But the second area, the odds get real hard. Oh, this is the same exact pole. The, uh, it's not Sky Armor in the first pole. But yeah, basically. Oh, I wish I had Origin in here. Oh, wow. Yeah, Warrior didn't change much once, uh... The inner release change, but that's the only thing I'm noticing. And Primal Red, yeah, but I mean, I'll have Primal Red, dude. Thank you, if I swear to God. I'll bake you into a pie. Big ass pie. Big ass pie. What the? Oh, this is how it's gonna work? One each? Okay. Well, kind of. Oh, pizza! This is a lot more intense than I would have expected for a dungeon crawl. Like yeah, the those, first one. You remember all those? Oh my god, I'm gonna kill him. Ugh. 
What? Oh, I was not paying any attention. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> I know! Howling was like a month and a half ago. Howling? Howling? Oh, yeah, he does have big spooky stacks. He's collecting tank coverage. I didn't do this dungeon before you guys did it! I was doing this last one and I was fine. You're not streaming at the same time. It's different. It's totally different. Oh, I see now. There's Thunder. There's Yeah, no wonder people got beat up by this with the media tour. Yeah. That's like with like Sage and Reaper, plus they don't know how to play. Mm -hmm. oh. Those are some fancy heals. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this area is where you do not want to double pull. Mm. Okay. Did I pick up four involves? No, only three. Oh! That's gross, man. Yeah? Does it remind you of any crazy games? Yeah. <laughs> Tempered Imperials, they look uh, gross. Well, it doesn't really remind me of Crazy Taxi that much. <laughs> you do? Oh, is it? <laughs> My big. This is a FF3 dungeon. Yeah, don't worry, honey. I'll still love it. I love a piece of cheese. Fuck. I'm extreme nervous. I hit the buttons I'm not supposed to. Okay. Yeah, so these guys hit pretty hard with their autos, which is why you don't want to double pull. Okay. These dudes are freaks. Thank you, bro. Awesome. Jeez. And they push to their skulls. Did you really care if Gummers was water? Oh, he was freaking out because he couldn't go bug you, I guess. What? Because I told you, because you were like, I can't get out of bed. And I'm like, I'll take the boy. And you were like, thank you. I spit the cheese out, but that's okay. I can find it. Yeah? yeah? <laughs> Ow. Yeah, why am I eating Ow. well? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. That's too busy eating cheese. Cheese is good. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Mother Mom. You got it. Yeah. Mm. Yes, 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 yes. Absolutely. <laughs> I have cheese in the fridge and made up this. No bad guy asks, Hey, son, slash creepy porpoise, how do you like yes. new monk? Um, I'm bad at it because I haven't had a chance to look at any of the tooltips, but I like it more than, it, than I did before. I can only imagine. I saw Sam jumped in on Reaper and was just like talking about like the explosion of skills. Yeah. They, uh, the, what do you call it? The gauge changed a little bit. <laughs> I have to like look at things. I don't know. I haven't bothered. I've been too busy. Reaper, from the little bit I touched it, seems to be a lot overwhelming at first and then is actually kind of simple. I saw people describe it as like old Dark Knight, which made me super mad. Yeah, kind of. I'm super mad. Uh, people are asking Stride and how Sage is, which I don't think you would even know. I don't know, you'd have to ask Vel. Yeah, Vel is the one who actually knows about Sage. <laughs> I, I know <I'm> Scholar. 
I'm going to say that from the experience I've had of running this dungeon and a couple other things, uh, Sage feels like it has a fairly high skill floor. Because oh, yeah. there's a lot of, like, for every button that a scholar would need to hit, there's maybe two to three buttons you would need to hit on Sage. So it's the Astro of Barrier Hills. Kind of. That being said, uh, it does feel kind of good for the most part. I feel like Scholar might be a bit stronger in just pure healing, but that's just solo play. When you're playing with another healer, it's probably going to be fine. Boy, healing pants. These pants, this, these clothes are pretty. These are the, um, the set from, what is that dungeon called? That was Wall's Compass. Yeah, it's Wall's Compass, but purple instead of red. Dude, I love purple! Mm. Purple Wicca, like yeah, that's the one. Crux Astralis is right. <laughs> yeah, babe. I gotta get used to the process of doing my uh, my mitigation as late as possible. I spent so much time learning to do it as early as possible so it would come back up as fast. Also, this lady is just doing wow, okay. Look Have a huge <laughs> yeah, I didn't get hit. I don't have a spooky stack. You wouldn't get a spooky stack. I didn't get hit. Actually, yeah, you would have been on the floor. <laughs> That's strong, huh? Yeah, two of them? Yeah. And then this mechanic. Hate it. Mm. Oh. It's Alex. Except you don't have to do about it. <laughs> oh, it's, just, it's <laughs> just raw damage. Okay. It's just you can't dodge it. That's all it seems to be. It's weird. It's a fancy AoE. Yeah. Okay. Oh, come on. How do you. How do you know which one's real? Uh, skill? No, seriously, like. Oh, the only one not doing a cool pose. Oh, I got a Yeah, With the new lowered skill cooldown, if I double tap energy drain, it goes fast enough to do it twice. That's just silly. Wow, really? Yep. I can literally stand around in like two seconds if I have all three. I think it's wild that like, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Warrior is a scholar now. Like, they have an AoE shield and they have a personal shield. Hmm. Like after all that early job quest with Scholar about how Warrior's name was pals. I mean, they hung out in the same room for like 10 years. But they totally are in the same room. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and Gunbreaker has an X-Cog now. That's weird. Oh, cool. Full status in here. I don't know. I don't think you're trying to pull Let's find out. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. I say why not? As if I have like any control over how this fight really goes. I can mantra you. Okay. But that's about it. <laughs> so far, so good. Yeah, it seems fine. Yeah, this is. There's just a couple of enemies, I guess, that are spicy hitters. 
Yeah. I don't know why I didn't expect to fight any Garlean units in here, which is ridiculous, because it is Garlean. Like, yeah. They're the crazy Garlean It's just, units, it's uh... so evil looking, I thought it was going to be like exclusively demons. Yeah. Also, wow, the, uh, now that you're all in here, wow, I'm on. Good pick. Yeah. Good, good fucking pick. Ooh. Oh, that's pretty. It is pretty. I can't believe I got the penny coat. Yeah. Can I help you, darling? Yeah. Now, please. Over there. Over there. Taylor. Just, just look at your eyes. My brain. Where you go? Oh, okay. Here. Oh man. Oh. Foil. Moss from foil. Ooh, that's nice. What does it look like? Oh, I like the. Um, front. Yeah, it's pretty. I'm shocked that I feel pretty good, honestly. I'm a little sluggish, right? I'm a little like. But, uh. Honestly, it's, it could be much worse. Yeah, it could be. You could have got up at four after three hours of sleep. Yeah, I could have done that like a crazy person. So yeah. I stayed up. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. Who never then go and then grind post jail for six and a half hours? Yes. Uh, the, I feel bad because like we're having a, a easy time of it technically, but like apparently the game is actually just like in, impossible to get in right now. Yeah. Yeah. If you're in, you're in, and if you're not, get to go to hell. Yeah, I'm kind of scared to do anything, because I don't want to have to sit in the queue. Well, because the server stability is actually pretty rock solid. And then I looked down at Pat in the Hat mentioning that there is a 4,500 person queue right now. No, Tom which posted to a uh, tweet from two hours ago, he was like 10,000. 10,000 yeah. was like 11 hours. Yeah. And the worst part is it's not a 10,000 stable queue. A person queue that at any point in time you can just connect it with a 2000 error again. Yeah. And you start over. Well, the other thing is that uh, well. the, the queues are gonna, starting in about an hour, start to dip a little bit. And we'll dip and dip more and more as people have to go to bed. Yep. I have one or two things I want to try for the AFK timer tonight. I'm gonna you guys gotta protect all the babies the tower, in the bed. Huh? Send them on their merry way. Let them go to the game. Harbinger's elect. Oh god. You think it'll be easy to get in at the end of the month? Yeah. This problem's gonna be solved on Monday, dude. Yeah. yeah. This is a first weekend problem. First weekend only, pretty much. <laughs> can you give me a 10 second countdown? I can, I can do all sorts of stuff. You want me to, yeah, I'll just, I'll give you 15 seconds. Yeah, I heard this music on Mystic's channel. I couldn't fucking believe how excellent it was. Very good. Oh my god. Yeah, we can see. That's great all day. Oh, yep, yeah. okay. Who would have expected that? Reflect. Oh my god, it's it actually is pizza party!
Somebody asked me when I was talking about Thornton in my, uh, my patch thing last night why they call it Pizza Party. That's why. <laughs> I'm a little shocked that, like, the Dragoon actually came up to fight me. People are gonna fucking bash their heads into this. Oh, yeah, for there's, sure. there's a lot of, like, a lot. It, it, uh, how do I put this? It's like Barnum's Metal, second boss. Yeah, there's a lot going on. Just, hey, know this, you have to. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! The black mage screwed up. Good. Well, what happened to their health? Oh shit! Sure. Alright, give me the other one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah,
another inner release on there. Yeah, there we go. That's that's the warrior. I would probably try to switch to Bunny by now, except I wouldn't be able to log in. Right. Is everyone all right? Try that at like five in the morning. We could. Have the defenses been disabled? All appears quiet for the moment. Lower floors were disturbing enough, but this place feels wrong. The ether is heavy and thick, like wading through a quagmire. Quagmire? Come on. I believe we stand in the tower's beating heart. What sayest thou, Stella? I see it. Ether siphoned from the land runs up through the spire, flowing to a single point. This is the core we seek. Now we're gonna blow that fucking thing up. Yet something is off. As large as this structure is, it siphons far more ether than is required to sustain it. It is as if the core is feeding on the energy, consuming it. I need to take a closer look. Oh boy. It's that FF7 materia shit. Curious. There is something there embedded inside the core. A man's limb. This is what we came to destroy? Yes, if you would be so kind. And that should be the end of it. What now? Who's? My theory that the tower might come crashing down following the core's destruction doth appear to be correct. Bully for you! And how are we supposed to survive the fall? I literally the surmised this. Brace yourselves. I pray I'm not too late. I was literally like, what if they do this? Wow, Graha. That's impressive. Oh, what happened? Where are we? That's really impressive. By my reckoning, we're still on the island where the tower stood. But it is as if it never existed. Hardly a scratch. But how? Yep, that's about right. Graha wove a levitation spell at the last moment. Large enough to catch everyone, it would seem. Wow! That explains the lack of obvious injuries.
I bet he's tired. The expenditure of so much ether has taken its toll. He will need plenty of rest, but should otherwise be none the worse for wear. Then the immediate problem is what to do with our new friends here. Ah, oh, they'll sleep it off. Don't worry about it. They'll be much changed for their time in the tower. Even if their bodies are intact, I doubt we could say the same for their minds. Angelo and I will take care of that. So... A man's limb. I have every faith in you, Alizé. But there are just too many... There's so many towers. Them. We'll send at once to Eorzea for more porxies, and call on the local mages to lend a hand. Hail, Scions! Hey, dude. We were watching the tower when it simply disappeared. What happened here? The threat is banished, Ooh. and thy people delivered. Hello. They are, however, in need of treatment. And we of a secure locale and helping hands to assist us in its provision. I will be right back. I gotta help Elmo out with something. Excuse me. Elmo had to do a pee-pee, and since Paige left and the dog was upstairs, Elmo's pee-pee closet was closed so that Zangief didn't try and get his special cat treats. Poop. And he was crying. So I had to open up the the pee-pee closet and then keep the doggo down here. Hey, doggo. Zangief, come here. Zangief, come here. Zangief, you're just so pretty. Look at you, you pretty boy. Oh, oh, oh. 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 All right, back to the game. Did I touch the Gundam job yet? Dude, I don't have time. Come, let us convey these unfortunate I gotta get through this fucking story as fast as possible. How the fuck are other locations gonna solve that problem? Baby. Baby Zangy. <laughs> Whew! One down, like 40 to go. Elmo, I know you can get through that. Elmo, I know you can get through that. Liberated prisoners are being transported. Alzheimer's stole will help the tempered. 
We'll go join them in the city once you've had a moment to catch your breath. May now enter, go into thing with trust. Had enough rest, huh? You never won for being idle, right. Let's go to Megaduda at our earliest convenience. Second thought, you and Estadian should go on ahead. We'll have Graha in the Alchemist's care. That's the fashion before he's transported into a jar. Tower of Zot complete. And yeah, that's trash compared to what I have right now. But hey, man. Thank you. Man, look at them. Look at them. Look at them heels. I don't care about that shit. Get out of my fucking way. Get out of my way, Jamels. Like I was his friend who got kicked out of the world while playing can't get back on because the world is full. What's the Q status? Man, tomorrow night's gonna be bad. Oh. 4K? Nice. And and Paige was like, why are you getting up so early? I'm like, well. Wow. Wow! Dedication. Honored signs, you're free to enter. Hey, we can explore the city. Woo 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 woo. Woo. Well, I've been here before, this place is a maze. Rather than getting lost, you just should ask for fucking directions. Oh yeah, Stinny and me. Happy as can be. Master Pat, I understand you're here with the Sarah Trap. You want directions? Highest place. Get there. Recommend a route that takes you by the bazaars to the state of alert. Most of the businesses are closed and the eighth right's off. Steps and then go left. I don't care what he's telling me because I'm going to explore it anyway. Is there, mar is there no market for it here? Looks like there's no market for it. I genuinely don't understand why they showed this at all during the live letter, because the version they showed without the finished colors looked like shit, and this looks immaculate. That is literally the canals of Uznair. Leads to nearby Isle, the treasure vault of one of their families. They took the god of luck as their guardian, on account of which they occasionally open up a section of their vault for aspiring treasure hunters to try their own luck, so they say. Their coffers hidden across the land act as portals. Yeah, I know. Something to bear in mind in case you exhaust your funds. Oh, it's closed. Oh. <sighs> 
I wonder what's what we, what's gonna be a um, like natural stopping place. For tonight, I mean. Aether rights disabled. Okay, this is obviously the Yule Moor. Got it. Yeah, this is gonna be all. This is gonna be where you get. Your fucking, your fucking good ass tome gear. Speaking of which, I have t I have four thousand fucking discontinued tomes. His fucking office. Oh no, it's the dance hall. Cool. I'm well aware, I guess, that uh, tonight's, or today's, tonight, I guess, now, today's stream has been a little quieter than normal, but, like, there's just, like, a lot of genuine enjoyment, and just, like, like, look at this. Look at this. This is great. Who the, what? Oh! Expanding the House of Splendors! Well. Lucky for you. I just happen to be. You must be Pat. Rowana told me all about you. Quite a renowned blacksmith. Old Pilona. Mistress has charged me with managing her branch here. Looking forward to doing business. Don't got nothing. I certainly prefer you to do business here than elsewhere else. Keep doing business. I have a rebrand. House is blah, 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 blah. Trying to take it out from under Rowana's nose, huh? And that was the whole thing. Wasn't even a real quest. It's just to tell you, hey, this is where the script exchange is. The tanks get new buttons? Yes. Not that many, though. Oh, look at that Look at that mailman right next to the Aetherite. Ooh. Look at this cool ass shit. I got nothing to say other than look at that cool ass shit. Oops, wrong one. Zangief, are you throwing a sleepy tantrum? If so, fuck off. They got fancy ass alchemy down here. Yeah, this is, uh. You know, there's uh, uh, only a few things about Shadowbringers that I didn't care for, and Yulemore was number one with a bullet. I fucking hate Yulemore. I hate it. Why? It's it's visually ugly. The music isn't very good, except at night. Um, it's confusing to load into to get your gear, and it's really small.
Wait, what? I don't know. You know, see, I thought you'd have more to say. This is the Radiant Host. And not a whole lot going on over here. Almost like as we uh, clean shit up from the end of the world that, uh, even out, uh, even, you know. Whee. I gotta get to a market board, because if I'm planning on actually switching to a bunny rabbit, which I'm seriously considering, if they don't clip, um, I need a new level one glamour that I can equip on every single class. Aside from the earring. Yeah, this is a very chill ass music for the uh what do you call it? Did I finish SMT5, dude? Not even close. Not even close. Are you joking with me right now? Wow, a new earthly star. Holy shit. No getting away from that. Airship landing. Okay, I might as well go back here. What the devil was that? That was Earthly Star. A really cool Astro ability that, uh... A lot of people run away from because they think it's bad. Wait. Oh, oh no. Oh no! I'm so sorry about that, Estinian. I forgot you don't understand, uh, what... I don't, I forgot you don't understand how to do, um, Aethernets. You're scared of Aethernets. Watchful Radiant. Heading to Mega Duda? Yes. Don't tell me what to do. Huh. 
A lot of cool ass shit going on down here, man. Oh, that's a person? That's hilarious. Thav Weave. Hard to imagine more vibrant stuff. I dare say Imeric would be partial to the gold thread. And the blue, of course. He loves his blue. He does love his blue! Never put that much thought on what I wear. A spare set of clothing is usually all I carry, and if that isn't enough, I can always get something locally. Imeric does love his blue. It's true, it's true. Ah, oh, what a stellar location. What a, what a great... Everything in the game so far is, like, visually immaculate. It's really impressive. Airships are still, uh, you know, fucky. Alright. Look at this! Very pretty. Oh, cool! And you get to see this angle on the on the sword from here. I do not use G-Shade, no. I don't use G-Shade. I run it at 4K. Oh, I for- wait. I didn't do that one. Yeah. Oh, I can just come back. No problem. Besides, don't need to have all the Aetherites here. I remember passing by here with Varshan. Situation being as it was, he regretted not being able to show us the sights. Life's not really normal here, but when it does, you either pay another visit. Those days confusing, the food's great. Personal to Hansa and myself, the meat's tender and flavorful. I'm gonna eat you birds. Squeak. Baby sleep now. Cool bow. Wait, what bow is that? Well, that's pretty. Greetings and welcome. Can I inquire? We're members of the Seventh Dawn. His Excellency invited us. We're about to have a cutscene. We're going to talk to a dragon again. We're used to that, but this guy's pretty cool. Good, dude. Are we the last to arrive? I hope we've not kept you waiting. Not at all. Your comrade is feeling better, I trust. Akazu, you didn't uh, you. actually finish your question. Honest remedies are certainly potent in more ways than one. One becomes accustomed to the taste, although I hope you never have cause to do so. Pray, take your ease.
Yeah, there's a lot more voice acting. It makes it a lot easier on me. Genuinely. Full glad I am to see you all unharmed. Valiant silence. For your heroism, you have my boundless gratitude. You cast down that dire tower and set free its hapless captives. You cleanse their souls of its corrupting influence. No words of thanks will suffice. In place of platitudes, I offer a bounty of warding scales. That's a good deal. I like that deal. It's I good. accept your due reward, along with the goodwill of Radzatan. Alchemists throughout the land were put to work in the forging of your talismans. The finished ones have been collected, and now await you at the High Crucible of Alchemia. Present this letter when you are ready to take them into your possession. We are humbled by your generosity. Know that the inventive wisdom of Radzat Han will be vital in restoring serenity to our star. Every single one of those scales came from you, didn't they? You must still be in such pain. He's like, ow. Tis of no moment. A mere annoyance compared to the dreadful suffering inflicted upon this land and its people. You're pretty cool, Vritra. Albeit brief, my involvement in the Dragonsong War afforded me a glimpse of the myriad sorrows which consumed both dragon and man. Though you were half a world away, such tragedies as befell your kin must have affected you deeply. And yet, you chose to live among men. In the age when that conflict first bloomed, my choice had already been made. In some distant place, man slew dragon, and dragon slaughtered man. Yet no hate could I muster for those smiling faces which did look to me for guidance. Not even my brother's righteous rage could rally me to his cause. I huddled here, secret and still, hoping against hope that which I had built would remain untouched by the chaos and carnage. You're pretty cool, dude. It would seem we share the same desire for peace, great Vritra. To that end, I wonder if we might trouble you with another question. The Telophoroi are intent on recreating the final days, an apocalyptic event which we know to predate the sundering of the star. As the longest lived among us, know you aught of this terrible cataclysm. Oh, yeah. Nay. When war and strife drove my sire from oh. his home, he crossed the great expanse with only our unhatched eggs as company. He alighted upon a shattered source, its thirteen reflections long since scattered beyond oh, the Oh, okay. Rift. So they showed up way after. Of events preceding his arrival, he knoweth not. Save that which Hydralin hath deigned to disclose. I see. So again, tis the inscrutable Hydralin I'm, I'm. to whom you must look for answers. Cool. Giving up owns! Seek you to divine the will. 
that. You ever give up and you're like, yeah, well, I, yeah. I have Good. a tale which may afford you some small comfort. Tis a story yeah. from my youth many, many years ago. To my sire, I once posed the question. I want to know that. Of all the stars in the sky, why didst thou settle upon this one? Yeah, tell me that. I want to know that. That seems good. To which Midgard Summer did reply, "Twas the last bastion of hope." He believed so long as Hydaelyn endured, so too might dragon kind. Solemn and portentous were his words. What deeper meaning they held, I could not, dared not pursue. Tis a stone I've left unturned ever since. You should have asked him. Yet take you solace in the knowledge that whatsoever Hydralin does strive towards, tis an ideal which hath earned my sire's conviction. Thank you, Vritra. You've given us warm reassurance in a world gripped by cold uncertainty. While I'm sure we all have a great many questions, I think it's time we collect the talismans and be on our way. Ye. Yeah. Our fight against the Talophoroi is far from finished. Ye. Yeah. We must take our Sir. leave. But please do inform us that? if we can provide any further assistance. Oh, cool. So, my original anticipation was that the, the noise came from inside the planet. But the way that he describes it is that the noise is, like, possibly ever-present everywhere. Who my sire hath judged worthy of honor and respect. The one known to men as Aosia's champion. This hero of renown and rumor. Tis thee. Yeah, I'm pretty cool. Thank you. Yeah, I wish he was here, dude. I know of his clash with the Mega. And the long slumber which was his price. Yet even closed in sleep, my father's eyes are far from blind. He is watching over thee, watching over this world. Twas a revelation most pleasing that thou, a child of man, had gained the Midgard Summer's trust, but alongside my elation runneth a rivulet of dread. Why is that? For upon thy life's reel wind too many threads. Oh of yeah. Fate, power, wheel enmeshed with woe. That is not good. Amidst this tangled knot, thou shalt know no rest. Tis an endless confluence of forces. A struggle with I don't know, after the patches are done, you usually have like a month or two. More terrible still is the attrition wrought upon thy companions, as they are swept up in the storm of thine existence. Come on. Give me a break. Take heart and protect them well. They will be your strength and your salvation. The hope that will need come the end. Even cowering behind my curtain, I know the suffering of the powerful. I have watched my 
siblings driven mad by loss. Thus do I exhort thee to spare no effort to keep thy loved ones safe. Oh my god, they're just screaming at us that people might die. Apologies. We and who walks interrupt. in? It's just that we do have a history of suddenly collapsing, and when you didn't follow us out. Oh yeah, that's true. It is I who must apologize. I have detained your champion over long with idle chatter. Go. At war's end, I pray I welcome thee back into my hall. Where together with thy joyful comrades, you may toast your triumph. What up, dude? No worries, dude. What were we talking about? Don't worry about it. Nothing? High Crucible. Oh, I think I... I think I went there earlier. Oh, what's the weapon that you saw for Sage that's- oh, it's syringes. No, I haven't done anything other than the main story quests. Every- everything I'm doing is just go as fast as possible through the MSQ. Yeah, this looks great, dude. Hey, losers. Yeah, this is way more confusing than Crystarium. Yeah, I saw Josh Man mention it, but I actually feel fairly confident with that last cutscene that we're gonna get everyone back right at the end for just one more. Give us the scales. These are the talismans we were promised. Yes, and I made a quick count. There are far more than we could have hoped for. Enough to outfit an entire company of soldiers, in fact. Considering the involved process, that they were able to manufacture so many in such a short span of time is nothing short of a miracle. Once we have distributed them to our allies in Eorzea and the Far East, we'll have a fighting chance to bring down the other spires, just as we did with the Tower of Zot. Or we could use them to invade Garlemald proper, 
and strike directly at the Telophoroi's base of operations. Of course, we would need to consult with various Alliance leaders before such a drastic measure could even be contemplated. To which end, I could set out forthwith and present the idea to each of our allies in person. Pray allow me to undertake some few of those journeys. I find myself restless and in need of purposeful duties. So who are we gonna go sell it to? I can head eastward. Bosnia and Dalmasca are just a short hop from here. And Doma's Shinobi network should come in handy for passing on the word. We shall share the burden then. Meanwhile, I think it best that you and the others take the talismans back to the Baldur's oh, Sea Annex. We must keep them safe and secure until we've decided upon a course of action. Please, I must speak with you. Oh, hey, girl, what up? First of all, glad to see you're on your feet. Nidana, you're awake. Yes. When I spoke with the carer at my bedside, she told me that one of the scions, a young woman, had cleansed me of the tower's corruption. It seems I've been asleep ever since the treatment. But when I awoke and learned you were all still here, I knew I had to come. As you said, Nidana was captured only recently. Such a brief exposure is swiftly cured, so I tended to her before we gathered at Megaduta. And I am truly grateful that you did. I cannot thank you enough. All of you, for everything you've done. Scion? Destroying rescuing our people, you've saved Havnir from an awful fate. Yet who hath truly saved who? Due in no small part to thine inspirational courage, the alchemists were successful in reproducing warding scales of proven efficacy. Replications of thy work now stand ready to travel. It's fascinating the that after eight the hands years of those who might wield them against this rising. This evil. exact moment. Every single problem is, this true? is solved, except for get those motherfuckers over there. <laughs> we can untemper people, oh, we can so protect people sleep. from primals, Garlem all basically no longer exists. The oh, Astians are almost entirely dealt seas. with. It's literally Xenos, Fandaniel, oh, and the Towers, and that's it. Why am I glowing? Oh, lit! Look at that! Its color is completely changed. What do you have there? Fucking super flower. How unusual. I wonder if the effect is a reaction to Akasha. I'm afraid I'm not familiar with that term. Akasha? It is one of the unseen energies defined by Hanish alchemical theory. Though a gross oversimplification, some describe it as an essence influenced by feeling. You imply that it is distinct from ether. Our foreign scholars often conflate the two, but we see them as separate concepts. Ether is an energy which permeates the land. It exists within animals, objects, even the air we breathe, affecting all through which it flows. 
Akasha, on the other hand, exists in a domain beyond our reach. A gift bestowed huh. from on high or torn from the heavens in some traditions. Akasha can neither be created nor destroyed. It is beyond our power to purposefully alter or manipulate. The only thing observed to influence it is an abundance of Hey, I look, we've just in, we've just cr introduced a mystical force that is completely separate. Surely you've experienced from... moments of desperation or exaltation when you've transcended the usual limits of your capabilities. Breaking your limits like only a true warrior of light that can. Is a manifestation of Akasha, the invisible. Oh, uh, it's called brilliant conviction. Heart, mind, and unyielding spirit. I really must hear more Dude, it was you. totally there all Our the way back from um, Heaven's Word. Fundamental form of all energy. I'm glad my haphazard explanation has piqued your interest. But even for us, Akasha is a somewhat abstract field of study. A lack of practical application lends itself poorly to formalized research. Which is why my analysis of your flower can amount to little more than idle speculation. I am sorry. Nonsense. You have nothing to be sorry for. Your insight is much appreciated. Shall we depart for Charlian then? I will see to it that the talisman so is The in the chat points out that the flower is now the color of the limit break bar. Concluded. I suggest you rest while you can. From here onward, sleep is bound to be in short supply. Which is like... Is the solution to the problem being going to be like a global LB? Like LB one million. somebody here oh hey Kyle good to be back I'm with the fruit of our labor safely in storage for now we have to wait for the others to return from their respective meetings to the Alliance leaders should get some rest oh wrong one yeah sounds like the the noise is is an innate hopelessness and despair and the reason why Heidelin tells us to essentially stay strong in the face of despair is that all of this shit is secondary to literal don't let it set in no seriously all you have to do is not let it set in New and improved lodgings? Yeah. So it's despair the ground state of the universe? Yeah, that would make sense. Flower. Oh man, it's just like when Ardbert used to come hang out with me. 
Take heart and protect them well. You're here. You haven't eaten yet, have you? We've bought quite a spread if you're interested. Only the finest dining from the last stand. Oh. <laughs> James of Anne just blurting out, oh man, everyone in this room is going to die. No. They'll be fine. As somebody who knows a little bit about game dev- Oh my god, this scene is so complicated! <laughs> oh, n wow! Lest you wonder, we invited Astinian as well. But he refused with a rather grim-faced, No, thank you. I suspect Charlian cuisine is not to his liking. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. Perhaps our lone wolf just needed some time apart. What? To perfect his brooding stare? They're actually adding a fucking Next bite time, to Graha's fucking burger every ear, time he does sit it. Sit him down in front of a Charlian feast and see that he eats every last bite. An excellent idea. Of all people, warriors must take proper meals and rest if they are to maintain a healthy constitution. Poor Astinian, beset on all sides. Yeah, we're talking shit. Poor guy. Speaking of one's physical condition, Mistress Quail, I hear you recently played literal host to Heidelin herself. Yeah, shit was nuts. <sighs> And what an experience that was. Tiring, yes, but no lasting harm done. <sighs> if anything, I should have liked to speak with her longer. I've not felt a hint of her presence since. Feels like she's about to bust through the door. Heidelin instructed you to carry that flower, yes? Yeah. will be your guide, test and proof of your conviction. And then something about seeking joy in darkness, was it? Come to think of it, isn't that what happened with Nidana back in Radzat Han? Yeah. Hmm. The flower did seem to radiate a joyful glow, as if reflecting the elation we all felt. The relief of a people with renewed hope. Indeed. And in turn, I felt buoyed by that radiance. It was akin to spotting a beacon and knowing we were on the right path. I know we've not yet triumphed over the Tlofaroi, or learned the full breadth of the Forum's plans. But even within the midst of our struggles, we find small moments of joy to sustain us. Rare and hard won, perhaps, but it is this pursuit of happiness that gives us the strength to carry on day after day. Can I drink my coffee, please? Hey, that's mine. To the swift, the spoils. Though I recall that levitation spell of yours was quick enough. Mm, only barely. And even at my best, I'm still too slow to wield it effectively in battle. May I can't believe they're going to the trouble with this food magic. shit. It's so much work you with their fucking engine the to actually do Numenon, stuff. I presume. I am from a veritable mountain of arcane tomes at that. It was necessary to facilitate my solitary explorations. Or 
To put it simply, you used it to sneak around the Forbidden Archives. Yeah. Uh, I... yes. Well, after a fashion. Shelves, they're too tall for me. And I could hardly move the library's platforms without attracting attention now, could I? Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Mad because small. Mad because small. Jealous of tall. Go until the morning. I'm not that ambitious, but it is pleasant to idle away the hours every once in a while. Did they eat all that fucking bullshit? Even I would need all that fucking bullshit. Let's see the flower. Hey, fuck you, bitch! Ah! Enjoying the bracing cold, I see. Do you not own a warm coat or a cloak? Something in fur? Or fashioned from the skins of your enemies? Or... Well, never mind that. I come to you once more as the bearer of bad news. Our tower in Thavnir has been toppled, and I need not tell you by whom. Given how many we have at our disposal, the loss of a single spire is hardly fatal to our plans. It does, however, Slow the rate at which we siphon ether. Where is it if going? If they continue to preoccupy themselves with the towers, then all will be well. But should our foe prove bold enough to strike at us here, then the timing becomes questionable. Our foe is bold enough of that. I can assure you. Ah, uh, yes. Very well, then. I suppose I must prepare a proper welcome. Honestly, talk of your nemesis is the only thing you seem to enjoy. Does nothing else spark your interest? Hmm. No. All else is... equal. Equally tedious. Equally disappointing. The world is a tepid bog into which we sink, too weak to thrash as the mud clings to our eyes and fills our throats till we blissfully choke. Okay, cool. But then came the light, blinding and pure and hot, so very hot, enough to set my soul aflame. I basked in the afterglow. Oh, come on. The void yawned once more. This is on and purpose. Knew the muck would never claim me again. There was naught for me ahead. This is super on purpose. So I drew the curtain on all that had come before. Burn. Burn. Let the whole star burn. 
I will Is he just down contest. bad? Is that I it? I will reclaim my moment. Is that it? <laughs> How wonderful that the emptiness of death has not dissuaded you from committing your life to its pursuit once more. I don't know whether to envy you or pity you. You question my disinterest, but what of yours? Despite your noisome antics, I sense you take little pleasure in this endeavor. I like how they don't like each other. Mercy, my lord. Such pointed barbs from one who barely acknowledges my existence. Nevertheless, you are mistaken. For I do find this part somewhat enjoyable. You see, when I was mortal, I would always have the same dream. It was a fragmented thing. Disjointed. All the faces incomplete. The setting, too, was unknown to me, so I thought it simply a fantasy of my sleeping mind. Until one day, I realized it was showing me the truth. Much as your dream of the final days enlightened you. And soon... Very soon, I cannot the possibly believe like, how much cutscene there too. is after doing w yes. one. I think a? that is something we can both enjoy. Of the of the like, it's been like forty minutes. <laughs> On wings of hope. There we go. Forgot to have you out, buddy. Sound the bell, school's in. Dimly refreshed, was about to make my way to the studio. Want to speak with Scholar Montechang and thank him for coming to our rescue in the Rasta. It turns out, you come to see us. Only find that we left. Let's go hang out. That's settled, twins are coming too. Hey! Quick! Ugh. You know what? Oh. Oops, wrong way. Asking my pal Vel. Oh, what a good spot to stop it. And Birdie... If you say here's a good spot to stop? Heading out for a stroll. Is, uh, w would you recommend stopping right before the discussion? Scholar was here? In that case, what are we waiting for? I too am eager to see him. Alpha of all people worrying about his reputation. And all, all my modern wonders that I ever see. So you understand soon enough. Just don't just stop 24 hour stream. Ooh, people are posting Reaper shit in the chat. Yup. Hit <laughs> Edge. Yeah, to those of you who know better, what's a good place to stop? Because, uh, I, I am starting to run down. Sent a message? Thanks, man. Right now is a good place to start.
So let's go to dust school. All right, guys. Oh. Where is this? Let's just go ahead and switch controllers. All right, I'm gonna be starting up tomorrow again. Not gonna be at the same time. Um, first impressions? Yeah, it's incredible. What can I say? Um. Uh, I'm gonna wake up when I wake up tomorrow. <sighs> I'm gonna set an alarm for uh, noon, I guess, and then I'm gonna log in. And uh, I will let you know when I plan to stream based on how fucked that is. Um, now, if I can keep my login all night, then we'll start at like uh, one or two. Right. <sighs> wow, this fucking zone and music is absolutely incredible. Isn't it? Normally I don't I normally I switch to the big camera to read donations, but no, fuck that. Let's we're gonna we're gonna fucking just chill here. Oh no! Hold on. Sound settings. Where is it? There we go. All right, let's thank some people. Sorry if I'm hours and hours and hours and hours behind you guys. But, uh, regardless. I want to thank Bailey Gaming for subbing two whole years. Wait, what? Four hours ago was the last time I thanked these people? the hell stream lives definitely didn't thank this didn't thank that didn't thank it uh oh uh oh uh oh stream elements clicked on these didn't thank that or that didn't thank that didn't uh oh uh oh uh oh uh oh, uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh oh. Oh no, how far do I have to go back? Oh man. Oh. How f oopsie doodle. I mean, I'm just gonna roll back in this until I see uh, a subscription I, I do recognize. Last one I recognize is Irish Papaya, seven for 18 months. Curious about 14, played New World for a while, but man, that was rough, hoping it gets better, but in the meantime, here's a coveted Prime sub. Yeah, I remember talking to you about that. Um, yeah, you should just play this, dude. Not right now, though. Janunu subbed, this is 10 hours old, so by the way, uh, apologies. Husband played at five in the morning. Q was over 5,000 on Gilgamesh. Shadows of Pain kicked in 500 bits. Thank you, Shadows of Pain. Hope you have fun with Endwalker. I'll watch as far as I've personally gotten to and watch the rest of Eye of the Vods. Have some bits for the animals. Thank you. And Feezy sub. Thank you. Appreciate it. Wonder Chef sub. Says enjoy Endwalker. Good job. Good luck. Dodging the spoilers. Thank you. Spontaneous Sea kicked in a sub. Still back in Stormblood, but looking forward to become Gundam and Bloodborne Man. Yeah, for real. Cherry Burnout gifted five subs. Thanks, Cherry. 
Thickless Kappa kicked in a sub. Thank you. Isn't this the start of the end X-Pack? More like beginning walker. Go to hell. Sir Halo kicked in five bucks. Hope you're doing well. I wanted to ask what made you able to get into 14. I tried recently and the monotony of the early game really killed my interest in it. Generally hoping to get into it because it does look fun as a viewer. Uh, the version of the game you're playing now in 2.0 is not the same as the version of the game that I played in 2.5. Uh, you used to have a lot more skills in the earlier game. And the way that they've dealt with that is to streamline and speed up that early leveling process. A Realm Reborn, unfortunately, is kind of a worse experience now than it was back in the day. However, you do get through it much faster. Um, all I can really say is that think think of uh, A Realm Reborn as a kind of required reading. Uh, and there is some genuinely great stuff in that. But pretty much the first time that FF14 becomes like truly excellent is... Uh, like the final rush in 2.0 when you hit level 50 and uh, the 2.5 storyline. Uh, Mighty Max T kicked in 33 months. Thank you. Happy End Walker Day, Pat. Not personally into the gameplay of 14, but I have a desire to experience the story one day. I hope you and everyone else have a blast with the expansion. Currently, the reality of it is, is that people who are able to play the expansion are having a great time. People that are not able to play the expansion are not having quite as good a time. It seems. I'm sure if I went to the Final Fantasy XIV Reddit right now, uh, I would see people just uh, becoming frustrated about the Q situation. Like, I really do want to check out bunny stuff and see if I can change myself into a bunny. You know what? Before we leave, there is something I always like to do. Before I leave. Wow, this fucking area is just freaking out. Like, even even G Sync can't deal with it. Wonder how what would happen if I put my fucking graphic setting on fucking shit. Wow, it would run a lot better. But it would look like shit. Here's how I determine what I make my hat, by the way. It's a very simple process. You go to hat, you level one. And then you just roll through this shit and see if there's anything new that a bunny could wear. What would a bunny man wear? Ooh. Thinking about it. This is what I grabbed for my bunny at some point. A ribbon? Oh, still gendered, huh? Flower. flower. A lot of flower. Yeah, not a whole lot of options for bunny rabbits. Yeah, just crunching out of the horrible weight. Back to thanking Peepo. Evil Omega subbed. Hey, Pat, enjoy Ann Walker. I know I will be. Haven't gotten super far. The music is amazing so far. Also, you should play Vagrant Story for Mind Goblin Stream. No, no, no. Fuck. I'm Tree Void YouTube sub, so did Nerve JC, J Josh Board, and I chose Raptor. Thanks, guys. Kiso kicked in a sub. Thanks for the con. Pat, thanks for the content and convincing me indirectly to try this great game. Have fun doing the MSQ. I will. Thank you. Shadows of Pain kicked in a sub. Thank you, Shadow. 
Luftrum also subbed. Iron Vapor Studio subs is helping to make this stream count as work. Keep on keeping on. I really appreciate it, guys. To be quite honest, that Shadowbringer stream was like soul crushing. It really felt like I did it for like. Like, I would have been better off, like, streaming literally anything else. I'm glad to see that my constant, incessant complaining about, one, the Shadowbringer stream, and two, uh, how more people need to get into this game, uh, has literally paid dividends. I know that sounds a little crass, but right, really. It, 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 it helps to, to feel appreciated. And, like, I'm, I'm doing something of value. Which I'm not. This is bullshit. Shadows of Pain gifted a sub. Thank you, Shadows of Pain. Enjoy your sub, Bojangles. Got lost sub. Thank you. Appreciate it. Dante Joestar sub. Hey, Kishin Grek says, good job putting in a 10 hour work day. Do you really think that only the minutes that you guys see me on, ca on camera are my whole work day? Yes? You're wrong. You're super wrong. Set up alone. <laughs> Corey the Coward sub. Says the moon looks weird. Yeah, a little bit. Zundel kicked in a sub. Thank you. Stephanie Sad Girl subs. Thanks, Stephanie. I got a sub as a thanks for shaming me publicly. Thank you, Orb Daddy. Also, please give, please kiss Geef's tummy for me. I will. You know, will. Rancid Ritson sub. Thank you, Rancid. Mr. Pale kicked in a sub. Said, "Howdy, Ginger Mind Goblin Conqueror. I need to say that you have been one of the most helpful things to my whoop. Okay, that was weird. What weird? That you have been one of the most helpful things to my mental state in the past two years. You are a great person, and to me, and I'm sure you have been to many others. I hope you and Peach and the Babies live long and prosper. Oh, thank you. That's very kind. That's very sweet. Knives in the chat says, So I got kicked out before I got to pick up the first quest. And since then, I haven't been able to log in because of server lobby issues. Hope you have fun. I am very lucky. I am, like, legitimately blessed to have had the experience I had today. Even if I can't get in properly until Monday... Like, that's fine. I'm way ahead of the average person now. Like, way ahead. Granted, that won't happen. I will be in way before Monday. I'm, I'm working to do a stream tomorrow. Don't don't worry about it. Two star players sub. Thank you. Eleven months of supporting my favorite orb. Happy Festivus, and may all your fantasies be final. Thank you. Isn't this typical for new content? Um, uh, people. Basically, every MMO or live service game that launches out. Um, people, you, you need to have done them over and over and over and over and over to understand how to handle them. There's a reason why the stream started today at noon. Because, uh, MMO players are either going to be up at four in the morning, logging in and DDoSing the servers hard, or they're going to sleep in. Until two, three, you know, have their breakfast, have lunch, do normal shit. And it was like, it started to get real, real, real bad around three o'clock. Watts kicked in a sub. Probably won't be here to watch the whole thing. But you're the one who got me into this game, Pat. Oh, thank you. Chris plays things. Just sub and said, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Chris. JH1224 says, won't be sticking around because of the time zones, but I enjoyed all your 14 streams. Helpful for the free trial people like myself. Only level 15, so I'll definitely forget every plot point by the time I get around to Endwalker. Probably not, but I mean, you could, it, people could take their time, you never know. Um, let's see, Bailey Gaming kicked in a sub. Two whole years and more before I started to sub. Thanks for everything. Although, FF is my cup of tea. I hope it's everything you want. Much love. Yeah, I'm, I'm thrilled. I'm having a great time. Uh, AKSS421 sub. Thank you. Jonathan LP. Sorry. Jo Jonath LP sub. Thank you. Got my stream minimized and muted because I'm not that far in the MSQ, but keep it the good work. I'll mainline the MSQ overnight tonight and watch the VOD later. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Nope. Bad guy kicked in a sub. Hey, Pat. Just wanted to say I'm really great. Gl grateful. That you decided to stream Endwalker after all, while I wasn't available for a lot of the Shadowbringer stream, I still remember those VODs fondly. Here's hoping you enjoy. I have had a great time today. Thank you. Eve is online, sub. Thank you. 
Hey, Deluke kicked in a sub. Pat, enjoying the 14th stream. Thanks for streaming it for those of us that cannot play it. Yeah, it's weird, huh? Uh, I know Style says those streams are usually your must watch streams. You had 2K watchers at one point. Are you talking about today? Are you serious? I thought I'd been hovering around like 700 today. Or do you mean like the uh, the streams where I'm like, here's how to play Final Fantasy? Get out of town. No way. Oh, I don't want an ad. Yeah, that's one. Yeah, yesterday was 2K. Today's average was around 890. But considering the amount of people that are dodging it because they don't want to get spoiled, 890 is really good. The the Shadowbringers ones were like I think it dipped down to 400 at one point, and I was like, ooh, that's way, that's way smaller than the usual crowd that I would bring in. And by the way, to those of you who go, but I watch the streamer and they get 400 and they're thrilled. Dude, it's like, at, no matter what it is, no matter what the number is, think of it as a percentage. Right? If you, if you, if, if, if you go to work if, for a concert, and you usually sell out and only half the people are in the stands, you're like, oh, am I doing bad today? Like, that's all it is. Rye, trigger sub. Thank you, Rye. Uh, upgrade Scalzo kicked in a sub. Thank you. Should do more stuff like yesterday? I guess I should. I guess I should, Tenor. I was very surprised that many people showed up. Upgrade Scalzo. Did I just read that? Regardless, upgrade Scalzo sub. Thanks a lot, man. Screw that guy kicked in five bucks. Thanks, screw that guy. Good name. Just beat Heavensward? Thanks for motivating me to start again on a character I didn't remember instead of starting over. Oh, yeah, dude. Also bombed an interview at Facebook, but not gonna be sad about it when the recruiter said I wasn't meta material. Wow. Fuck. Ugh. Christ. Spadoinkle kicked in a thousand bits. Thanks, Spadoinkle. Didn't get the job. Gonna stay strong. Thanks for being a solid orb of good times. Have money. Thanks, man. Better luck next time. Monk Monk sub. Thank you. Mother Facker kicked in a sub. Thank you. Kate Tana kicked in a sub. Three years of this staring and I still can't tell exactly what I'm looking at. Eh, you'll figure it out. Serious virus kicked in the sub. 49 months right on Endwalker. Thank you. ID, the ID theft victim subs to say 2,762nd in queue. Ugh. Caps Lock kicked in five bucks. Thanks, Caps Lock. I really appreciate it, man. Even though you didn't snipe very well for me all those years ago, I remember. Cheese Borgor for all and then to the moon. Yeah, I guess that's technically accurate. <laughs> Yakimo Yomi kicked in $5. Thanks, Yomi. The Anti-Nihilist kicked in seven months. Hey, Pat, thanks for doing these streams. I just want to thank you for opening this message. This isn't... A, I, I'm not actually a FF14 watcher. They're all busy playing the game. So you survived the fight on Thessia. You're not as I weak as I thought, but never forget... good that's one of the best in a while because i was i was like almost the whole way through before i realized what was happening that's real good congrats and war wyvern sub thanks war wyvern appreciate it man so you guys say uh plague is uh, streaming right now we can go raid plague then Who else is streaming? 
have game. Ah, let's go right play. Alright guys, you say hi to Eli for me, and uh, I'm going to get out of here. I'll see you tomorrow. I don't have any definite times because login situations are as they are, but let's, let's just uh, assume one o'clock in the afternoon, right? Does that work for you guys? I'll let you know on Twitter if it's going to be way later. Let's hit the button that makes the play grade go. And then I'll see you guys tomorrow. Stay safe, and I hope you guys uh, get in and play as well. But uh, I'm not locking out, so uh, you're not getting my spot. Good night, everybody.